Hey folks, Joe Biden here, along with my friend Donald Trump. We just wanted to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for the incredible support you've shown on our videos. That's right, your comments and likes keep us going, even if Joe can't keep up with me and Wordle. <laughs> well, at least I don't use a gold-plated strategy. Gold is always a winning move, Joe. Anyway, we genuinely appreciate your engagement. Your comments are like a refreshing breeze. Well, most of them. Yeah, some of them are a bit wild, but we love the energy. Keep them coming. And as we're heading into the new year, we thought it would be a great idea to give a quick call to our friend Barack Obama. Let's spread some New Year cheer. Hey, Joe Donald, what's up? Barack, we're just thanking our amazing viewers for all the love. Say hi. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Joe and Donald are quite the pair. You said it, Barack, and we wanted to wish everyone a happy new year. Absolutely. Here's to a fantastic year ahead filled with more laughs, debates, and maybe even some wordle victories for Joe. Ha ha ha. We'll see about that. And to our viewers, get ready for the biggest compilation of our videos. It's going to be a blast. Buckle up, folks. More Trump, Biden, and Obama coming your way. Thanks again for all the support. So this time there is no the president Cadillac bulletproof, waterproof, chemical proof. At least I'm still wearing my bulletproof jacket. Anything could happen. We do something at the drop of a hat. Are you going through such a hard time with Melanie? I wonder why you are nagging like an old grandma. Anyway, I felt like I am facing a storm in teacup with you both. Look, Tweety President, the Cadillac is too flashy. I am potential target for impeachment. As you know, I still want to drill my ass in the White House and bury he thought that he has a method to his madness. Let's get out from here. Hey, Tweety, be careful. You are driving the President of the United States right now. Watch the road, man. Shut up, Sleepy. Doesn't act like a know-it-all. It's X now, not Twitter anymore. You drive like a shit, Tweety. I love that name, and I'll still call you Tweety. Barry, wouldn't it be better for you to drive this car? I doubt we'll be able to complete this mission. Let him lead this mission. Mr. Trump knew it would be a bitterly cold September day ahead of his own plans. Get over yourself. And anyway, Barry, I'm not a wishy-washy kind of type. We now have confirmed that Fleeka Bank is clean. I assured about it. Enjoy this trip and hang on, buddy. The American public is really not prepared for the idea of an attack and robbery on Fleeka by us. It's surrealistic, but at the same time, it's one of the darkest days in America. I think it's uneasy for the people to understand even at this moment, that we are embarking upon a new era in American history, right? After this, we all are willing to go to war as one against. This is yet to be seen enemy that is so far away from us. This is not a State of the Union address, guys. <laughs> Do you miss standing on the podium? I guess so. It showed when you were not attended my inauguration day. Well, you just won the lottery. It won't hurt my ego. I'll tweet on X and whatsoever. I want to let the American people know they have made a mistake not only once, but twice. Hey, we are too close with the cops. Your obtrusiveness has sucked. This is a very sensitive mission. Everything needs to calculate on a good timing, and so is your act. Barry is right. Have you known and learned about the room you were going to enter, Tweety? This is not as simple as you think. Sleepy, I have led this country and never file personal bankruptcy in businesses. How does this become a trust issue? You like gambling, being controversial and taking high risks in any case, because you don't care even if all Americans don't like you. Joe, that's just wishy-washy. You praise him before, yeah, method to his madness, blah, blah, blah. Good golly, Miss Molly, sure like the ball. I have diehard fans that are incredible behind my back. I don't give a damn with what people think about me. Isn't the argument between you both is useless? Sloopy, hang on. Perfect. You just hit and broke the traffic sign pole. Are we going to the hospital? Hurry up! Get closer and cover me. Why are you guys moving slowly? Should I kick your fucking ass? I go upstairs and check it out. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Come upstairs. Sounds someone get jealous with what we have Joe. The once had all the Miss Universes. He is one step ahead of any man in the world to always be in the circle of beautiful women. No time women. for a joke, go, go, but go. But he is still not Shoot sad. Shoot cameras off. Yeah, yeah, follow boy. On the left, Trump, yeah, that one, take it. I'll go to office hallway. How many CCTVs are left? You have to check again inside, and don't forget that there is still one near the banking hall, the big one. Talking is easier than making action. Slow and steady wins the race. Where is the deposit box storage room? Was the information you get accurate? 
I thought I found it. It's still locked and needs someone to open it. Let me check. Look at the pillar on the ceiling. That camera is round. Don't your channel glasses carry over? It turns out that you are not only a maniac driver, but also like to destroy things. Now you know, Joe. Good job, guys. Keep stay here and don't go anywhere. Come out and listen up. Now, do I have your attention as I was going to some dives with some cats? Do it what I say in 30 seconds or die. Come over the side door near hallway. I'll sort you out. What do you want me to do about them while you check the secret storage Tweety? Let's have fun, Joe. As I said, stick to the plan. We're gone in 10 or 15 minutes. I'll get in the vault to the secret storage. 10 seconds left. Hurry up. My patience is gone. Hey, don't worry, man. When we're done here, I am taking care of business my way as long as everything goes smoothly. That was fun, huh? So this is not damn thing you've seen. Trump, should we not leave any witnesses? Trump will handle from here on out. You just wait and see. Put your hands where I can see them, and why the fuck off are you taking so long? Joe Barry, how is coming? Just keep watching. All clear. We are getting chumpy here. Somebody becomes the main actor. Guys, we got this. Did you bachelorette party there? In 35 seconds, we split up and come out. I'm going to drill this vault now. Tweety, I better check the perimeter and see if there is a back way out of here can handle. I don't want to stand here and wait for you back up like I want to be useful. Oh, Sleepy, this keeps getting better, damn it. I and Trump are two sides of the same coin. Of course you are X. The president likes him, but we still thinking how we're going to get out of here without messed up. It took me a little bit long enough to unlock the vault. You need extra vitamin, old man. Maybe that's why Melania escaped from you. I've heard that your relationship has heated up since your selfie at Nelson Mandela's funeral. Is it true? I've been wanting to confirm this with you for sure. At least I never failed the physical because I didn't have asthma. I'll be over soon. So that's what five million looks like. Anything up, Tweety? I got the stuff and time is up. Let's spread out now. We need to go now after we throw a real good party. The cops must be coming. Well, then I suggest you shut the fuck off and let me out of here cause you are blocking my way. When I get your eyes downstairs near the car, it means that I've taken a position to the left of the bank building. So you must turn around and picked up me with Barry there. What is a master criminal doing in a reiki dink dump like this? He should be sitting in his tower. He has been making career ripping by robbing a bank joke. I was shot, luckily I was wearing a bulletproof vest. Get in the car now. Oh, Trump, you're in danger now. Get out from there now. Yeah, getting closer now, and this is still a joint operation. They get away from goddamn street. Aiming for these people. You are fucking crazy Tweety. I'm coming. Let's get out from here before bloodbath on the street. What? You praise yourself too high. It's a piece of cake. I am definitely better in planning particularly. The party just got out of hand. Why don't we split the stuff three ways? It will be pretty good, huh? This is pretty much the worst idea I've ever heard could be. The stuff must be sold first on the black market with the money in hand. It can be split in three ways. Can we focus on here? The police are still chasing and shooting over and over again. That sounds acceptable, but you're the one driving the car, aren't you? Oh, shit. I couldn't control this car. Doing something or we are going to be caught. I am fucking trying now. Oh, that's great. We did it. The great Trump is not to be trusted if you never would have gotten behind that wheel. Do you like surprises? I adore them, but they need to hit me harder for them. Shit. Turn around, Trump. I don't have time for this. I am an advanced driver. I already know how to take care of ourselves. Same with I have done with American people and make American great again, because I was the first American president to set foot on Nako, North Korea. After years of erratic policy decisions under your hand, I aim to bring a state of normalcy to us foreign policy. Rejoin treaties and alliances the previous administration abandoned and restore the counties standing in the world. Shouldn't we hide till it's safe enough to leave Los Santos? Barry. Looks like Trump is getting crazier. Michelle, right about Trump, I am risking my life. It took the plunge and signed my death warrant. Damn it, it's exceptional circumstances. If I was totally desperate, I would probably go by taxi than him, actually. Fuck, I have no idea what are you going to do now. We have to hide, I am not sure if we have enough gasoline. That was I intend to do sleepy. What? We entered the pit stop for some seconds. Like Lincoln said, a house divided against it cannot stand. Wow. Consider the source, what do you think, Barry? We have to face the music and try to get along as well as we can, Joe. I hope I can fly off the handle when I lose patience with two idiots in this car. Joe, we are on the thin ice. Let's see and give him a try if the rally around the flag phenomenon worked for him or not. Yeah, this is gonna be exciting. 
Then Joe Barry, you might want to buckle up, jump from one freeway over to the other freeway and lands on the other side. I'm going to be lucky to live. I want to cut your ball off Tweety. Remember, Trump, they ought to bring back capital punishment for you, mate. If the current American president has been assassinated and you have also been involved in bank robberies. Well, I'm going to have a hiccup, Joe. You can still savage this word in the right ear. Oh, shit! This uphill road made me late seeing that fucking car on the other side of the intersection. And Barry, somehow, it was never made for me because I will spend 20 minutes in jail and pay bail and other conditions to be released on parole. Well done, Tweety. Now you play games with that cop car. Hey, listen. Out of the Fleeca, every step-by-step step we passed is not on the track now. Stop talking the shit things useless and focus how this can be resolved. Trump, I guess you are going against the flow of traffic. You know, for a moment there, I thought I might earn myself a pattern here. You better get used to it. 100 times worse, by the way. Have we established any links with Bayer? Nope. Why not? What's the holdout? We couldn't keep it for long. I am not throwing away all my work. Well, you always spoke very fondly to me, Barry. Although you have to bear in Trump, mind that Michelle what the are fuck waiting the hell you to get doing? home. We are going to sink. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath as long as possible. Let out the air little by little. Focus how to push the car door as hard as you can. Swim and try to get to the surface. The mission accomplishes, yet I am on pins and needles waiting to hear back from my link. Got a pal in chat, Tel Aviv Tower, friend. Hey, buddy, this is not a joke. Show yourself, Joe. Barry? I heard a police car's siren better find a place to hide. I hope them quite as a mouse and safe. We have spent a lot of time driving around and raising cane with incredible journey for America. This cliff is the perfect place to hide. Great, the cop siren's car started to fade away. I think I could sell to keep them happy. And the stuff go overseas. It doesn't matter in the long run. And in a few months' time, when the spotlight of public outrage is shining on something else, Something these will be under control, sometimes not. I just have to get this train on the rails, surely, Joe Barry. So let me play the games and see how it fits. The missing of you both stiffens my resolve to bring this mission accomplished successfully. Nuclear suitcase bombs. Iraq, you've been out of the game for a while, ready for a crash course in how a real leader takes control in this virtual jungle. Wait, wait, wait. Before we dive into today's epic adventure, I've got to give a quick shout out to Thera's Grizz Munlord for their spot on comment on our last video. You said it like it is my friend. Sleepy? What the fuck are you doing? Don't waste viewers' time with your sleepy jokes. Now, let's get into the action and have some fun together. Well, Donald, if your driving is anything like your golf swing, we're in for quite a ride. I've driven the country. How hard can a game be? Besides, if I remember correctly, Weren't you always talking about forward? Let's put that to the test. Just remember, in this game, if you take a wrong turn, there's no Congress to blame it on. Speaking of rules, the city could use a few more, like a dedicated Trump lane on every road. A lane where no one follows international agreements or protocols. It sounds chaotic. These NPCs remind me of the Democrats everywhere and always in the way. Well, if you drove more diplomatically, maybe you wouldn't crash into them. Ever thought of that? Diplomacy. I drive to win Barack, just like I did in 2016. Winning isn't about who gets to the finish line first. It's about how you drive the journey. But then again, we've seen how your journeys usually end. That car deliberately crashed into me. Must be one of yours. It's a game, Donald. Not everything's a conspiracy. And maybe he was just following the rules of the road. The rules, I make the rules, especially on this road. If it were real life, that driver would have a tweet storm coming his way. I have to admit, Donald, it's refreshing to see you finally admit. This isn't real life. And remember, not everything can be solved with a tweet. Uh, the open road feels just like Twitter without the character limit. If only there was a mute button for both. Ignore the chaos. Focus on the freedom. It's like tweeting without any restrictions. I've had enough of this. These drivers need to know who they're dealing with. Donald, remember, it's just a game. No need to make it personal. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. No one disrespects me, virtual world or not. Ouch, that one hurt. Must be a Democrat behind that wheel. Or maybe it's just karma's way of driving its point home. You know, Barack driving around here reminds me of my rallies. Everyone's moving, there's chaos, but there's also energy. There's a difference between energy and mayhem. Donald, this feels more like a press conference gone wrong. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? It's just a bit of fun. 
Well, if by fun you mean narrowly dodging incoming traffic and causing pandemonium, then sure. Look at this ride, Barack. Smooth, powerful, just like my tenure. They don't build them like this anymore. Well, sometimes it's not about the power, but how you handle the curves. Remember, it's about the journey, not just the destination. Ah, uh, a minor slip. Speaking of which, watch this grand grenade throw. Perfect arc. A perfect arc leading to a perfect mess. Always the showman, aren't you? Barack, you see that store over there? Needs a little redecorating, if you know what I mean. Donald, are you suggesting? Sometimes you need to shake things up a bit. Watch and learn. And just like that, another Trump Plaza is born. Although I think those running folks might disagree with your renovation techniques. They're just not used to innovation. It's all about making an impact, you know? There's making an impact and then there's sheer recklessness. Right now, you're bordering on the ladder. Ah, uh, lighten up, Barack. We're in a virtual world. Live a little. It's one thing to have fun, Donald, but you're practically turning this into Grand Theft Trump. That's branding. Maybe I should consider a video game deal after this. The Trump Adventures. You see that group over there, Barack? Looks like they're up to no good. Time for a little surprise. The Donald, maybe we should just... Oh, no. Not another grenade. Oops. I might have angered them a tad too much. Hang tight. Maybe next time. Try diplomacy. Now step on it. We're making this car great again, one dent at a time. How about we make it out alive, rather than making dents? With my driving, always. Just admire the art of this escape. By art, do you mean leaving a trail of chaos and sparks behind? It's all about the thrill, Barack. Ever consider going off script once in a while? Usually my off script doesn't involve getting shot at. But hey, to each his own. Listen to those sirens. They're like my personal soundtrack invigorating. I'd prefer jazz, but again, personal choices. Just keep us alive, all right? Always do. Besides, think of this as a virtual taste of the real world's pressures. Except in the real world. The stakes are much higher, Donald. Remember that. A parking building ahead. Might be a good spot for a quick change. Out with the old and in with the new. As long as the new sea has adult windows and tires intact, I'm in. Look at this, Barack. It's like every vehicle was placed here just for us. I remember the last time you got excited about shiny things? Didn't end so well. Ah, uh, always with the jokes. But right now, I need something fast and flashy. Diplomacy is your thing, remember. I'm all about action. Just try not to shoot the tires, OK? That's our call to action. We're making headlines again. Pretty sure this isn't the kind of attention we need. Right now, Donald? You're holding up all right there, Barack. Not too different from a press briefing, right? Uh, fewer bullets at those. But yeah, familiar chaos. Looks like we've got some fans. How's fans? More like critics. And they're not here for autographs. Uh, the sweet sound of sirens. Reminds me of the good old days when I'd make a controversial tweet. Not exactly the soundtrack I'd choose for a joyride, but to each his own. This car has some fight left in her. Like me after a media backlash? Focus, Donald. And maybe just maybe consider dodging instead of charging head on. What's life without a little risk? See that parking lot ahead? Time for a quick switcheroo. Quick and discreet. Let's not turn it into another spectacle, all right? Where's the fun in that? But all right, for the sake of old times, I'll keep it low key. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. A bit of old school magic, and there we go. The things you remember, yet you forget where you put the nuclear codes. Feel that engine purr, Brock. That's the sound of freedom. It's also the sound alerting everyone in a five mile radius. Subtlety isn't your strong suit, is it? You focus too much on the little details. Embrace the bigger picture. Like how this baby handles the open road. I'm just hoping it handles better than your diplomatic strategies. Time for a big exit. Donald, at least give me a heads up before you light the fuse. Where's the fun in that? That's how you clear traffic. Or cause a traffic jam. But sure, we've got the road to ourselves now. Hold on. We're in for a wild ride. I think we've been on one since you started driving. Sometimes, Barack, you've got to take the road less just traveled, even if it's coming straight at you. Isn't that just a metaphor? Not an actual driving tip, Donald? You ever think politics would be easier than this? Every day, Donald, every, every single day. Let's give them a show they won't forget, shall we? We always had a flair for the dramatic, but this is a bit over the top, even for you. Got that officer on the left? And yeah, I see him. But maybe we can avoid more conflict. I won't go down without a fight, Barack. 
That's evident. But maybe it's time to find a strategy beyond firepower. Well, that's how you stand your ground. Or escalate things unnecessarily. But who's keeping track? They want a chase. I'll give them a chase. Donald, remember when I said we need to find common ground with our adversaries? I didn't mean on the asphalt. These guys are relentless. Feels like my last year in office all over again. At least back then, they weren't armed with patrol cars. Stay focused, Donald. Every bump and crash, it's like they're giving me a standing ovation. Well, if you'd stop treating this car like a bumper car, maybe we'd have fewer applause breaks. There's a parking lot ahead. We can shake them off there. Time to outsmart them. Or at least outdrive them. Just get us there in one piece. Barack, remember the good old days when our biggest concerns were tweets and press briefings? Oh, I remember. And I'd gladly take a press briefing over this chase. This place looks like a gold mine for vehicles. Time for an upgrade. That's not shopping, Donald. Just pick something fast and inconspicuous. This one. It's got style strength, kind of like me. Just hope it has a better fuel efficiency than your last tenure. All right, this one's purring like a kitten. Upwards and onwards. Just keep it under control, OK? We've drawn enough attention already. Going up, higher floors, fewer problems. Let's just hope there's a way out from the top. Barack, over here, behind this car. We need some cover. I never pictured this when they said post-presidential adventures. That sedan over there looks fast and just my style. Let's swap our ride. Got it. Jump in, let's head for the roof. I've got a plan. Oh, the roof? Donald, what are you thinking? Just trust me on this. It's going to be huge. I've heard that one before. Just drive. See that ramp up ahead? It's our ticket out. You're not seriously thinking of jumping that, are you? It's a video game. Barack, we can do anything. I've seen you play golf, Donald. Your idea of anything concerns me. Low blow. But watch and learn, my friend. We're about to fly. I have a feeling this won't end well. Oh, come on. Have a little faith. Ah, did you feel that rush, Barack? Like signing an executive order on a Monday morning? Or like the rush of hoping the parachute deploys. But you stuck the landing, I'll give you that. There's an even bigger ramp up ahead. Time to show you how high we can really go. Donald, maybe we should rethink this. We've already defied gravity once. Rethink? That's not in my playbook. Besides, bigger is always better. All right, here we go. Maximum acceleration. That did not go as planned. Minor setback. The car just needs a little persuasion. Looks like we've been trump by gravity. What's the plan now? Back on the road. We'll find another way to make our mark. Hopefully without any more aerial adventures. My heart can't take much more. Look at that Hummer, Barack. Now that's a vehicle built for a president. Given our current situation, maybe something less conspicuous would be wise? Nonsense. Bigger is always better. Just wait and see. I've seen plenty, Donald. But all right, your show. Are you really going to try that ramp again? In a Hummer, Barack. It's a completely different ball game. Hold on to your seat. Oh boy, here we go again. Ooh, look at us soaring like an eagle. Or like a lead balloon. Hope you've got a plan for the landing, Donald. Just enjoy the view, Barack. This is freedom. Freedom. Feels more like free fall to me. Did you see that? We must have been at least 50 feet in the air. I think I left my stomach back on that rooftop. But Donald, you need to land these things properly. Details, details. It was still spectacular. Spectacularly dangerous. You mean? I don't know how many more of these stunts I can take. That G-Wagon, now that's a ride with style. Be careful, Donald. Looks like it's already occupied. Just a minor inconvenience. Donald, need some assistance? I've got this. Always a scene with you, isn't it? All in a day's work, Barack. All right, let's give this another shot. I've always believed in second chances. Third, actually. But who's counting? Just need the right angle, and here we go. Wait, maybe we should rethink this. No time. Brace yourself. Look at that, Brock. Flying high, soaring above the rest, just like the good old days. More like free falling with style. Let's just hope we stick the landing this time. Huh? Maybe the third time isn't always the charm. I think maybe next time we skip the ramp altogether. Where's the fun in that? Barack, I built skyscrapers. A little ramp won't defeat me. Yes, but those skyscrapers had engineers behind them. This is just you. Just watch. This time it's going to be perfect. Well, that went as expected. 
minor hiccup, all part of the plan. Oh, there's a plan. Since when? Always a plan. Just need to improvise sometimes. What's life without a little excitement? This is just like navigating Congress. So crashing into things head on without a clear path. It's all about pushing through, Barack. Or maybe not getting into such situations to start with. Ever think of that? Shortcut time. This grass has my name on it. More like trouble written all over it. A little off-roading never hurt anyone. Watch this. Those aren't speed bumps, Donald. They're concrete pillars. Maneuvering challenges just have to align the angles right. Or, you know, not crash into them in the first place. That's what brakes are for. And I'm using them selectively. I've noticed. And I think those pillars have too. Aha, uh -huh. a parking lot. Perfect place to blend in and lay low for a moment. You mean a place where we change cars because chaos and jump off a building? Yeah, real low key. Barack, you always have to see the silver lining. Here we have options. And by options, you mean more cars to potentially wreck? You've got to break a few eggs to make an omelet. I just hope we're not the eggs in that analogy. Where's the fun in that? This was memorable. Bumbable. Sure, repeatable. Let's not. Gentlemen, are we set for a presidential drive? I've got the wheel. Just like the good old days, eh? The three of us and an open road. Need some tunes to set the mood. Oh, that's energizing. Reminds me of my younger days. <laughs> you mean last week, Joe? Hey, that was my jam. Driving needs concentration especially with you two on board. Okay, hold on for a sec. Before we go, folks, we've got a special request for you. We're aiming to reach 4,000 subscribers by the end of this month. That's right, Joe and I may not agree on everything, but we both agree that we need your help to make it happen. Hit that subscribe button, or I might have to build a wall around it. And while you're at it, give us a like and leave a comment. Donald, I love hearing your ideas for the next episode, even though his ideas are, well, let's just say unique. Unique, Joe. Well, I've always said Joe's ideas are like a good nap needed, but best in moderation. And by the way, someone thinks I've got a wet mic. I guess that's better than a muted mic, like some people during their debates, right, Donald? Joe, I always come prepared. If I had a wet mic, I'd turn it into a golden opportunity. Okay, whatever. Thanks for your support, and stay tuned for more entertaining moments with Joe, Donald Obama, and all of you. And remember, subscribe, or we'll have to debate on live TV again. Always trying to control things, huh, Obama? Someone has to, especially when you're around. No politics today. Let's just enjoy. All right, let's get this journey started. Let me just pull up the map. We don't want to get lost, do we? Lost? We've been leading a nation. I think we can navigate a road. To be fair, navigating politics can sometimes be easier than these new age GPS systems. Oh, here we go. Obama, keep your eyes on the road. Seems like you're still trying to pass a bill in Congress. But don't worry, I've got this. Always trying to make things exciting, huh? Just like your tenure. You know me. Never a dull moment. Well, I could use a little less excitement right now. Relax, gentlemen. Just taking a quick detour. A detour? Why do I get a feeling this won't end well? Well, as long as we don't end up in another country, I think we'll be fine. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, guys. Oops, my bad. You're bad? I think the owner of that car might have another term for it. Hold on, guys. Looks like it's going to be a bumpy ride. Watch out, Barack. Are you trying to get us into a four-car pileup? I've got it under control. Mostly. Mostly? I think my heart just skipped a beat. And here I thought golf was the only thing you couldn't drive. Very funny, Donald. Whoa, did you see that? Oh, come on, Joe. Live a little. The road's clearing up ahead. Just hang tight, gentlemen. Clear roads. Now, that's something I haven't seen in a while. Let's just hope it stays that way. Agreed. Smooth sailing from here on out. I believe it when I see it. Positive thoughts, Donald. Positive thoughts. Barack, are you trying to get us killed? That's one way you make an entrance. My apologies, gentlemen. Lost my concentration there for a second. A second? That's all it takes. Hold on. Let me check the map. Alpen's the map. All right, turn ahead. Come on, really? Seems like our luck's run out today. Enough is enough. Barack, cool down. Learn to drive. Ever heard of a driving school? Come on, Barack, we don't have time for this. All right, all right, let's get moving. Hey, watch it, you okay, Joe? Yeah, just wasn't expecting that, but I'm good. Sorry, Joe, it's just one of those days. One of those days? Feels more like one of those years. Let's just keep moving. Less talking, more driving. 
on it. Just remember to keep your eyes on the road this time. And maybe let's avoid any more surprise encounters. Got it. Smooth sailing from here, I promise. That was just a slight touch. We're good. Just a touch. Feels more like a love tap. Not the kind of affection we need right now. Taking a right here. Maybe take it a bit slower on those turns. Barack, you seem a bit erratic on the wheel. Everything okay? Just trying to navigate these Los Santos roads. They're not like DC's. Reminds me of the time I tried go-karting. Not my finest moment. We can tell, Joe. Gotta keep this beast on track. Heading to the golf club. Perfect place for a breather and maybe swing a club or two. That's the plan. Could use a little downtime. Maybe this drive isn't such a bad idea. Downtime with Barack's driving feels more like thrill time. All right, here we are. Los Santos Golf Club. Let's see if the club is open today. Maybe it's a holiday. Or perhaps they've heard about your driving today. It seems locked. Must be an off day. Well, maybe they locked it because they saw you coming. All right, back to the car then. I've got another idea. Wait, are you just leaving us here? But Barack, you forgetting something? Or rather someone? Just making sure everything's all right with the car. A bit late for vehicle inspection, don't you think? As long as he doesn't inspect our golf swings. All right, all right, hop in. Time to give this grass a test drive. All right, let's try something a bit more leisurely. The golf cart should do. Leisure. In the middle of our wild ride. I'm with Donald on this. I never thought I'd say that out loud. It'll be a nice break. And hey, we might even get to play a quick hole. Knowing our luck today, we'd probably end up in the sand trap. Or the water hazard. Back to the Jeep then. Where to next? Huggers, hold on. I've got an idea. You guys are going to love it. Or be terrified by it. With you, it's always a toss-up. Driving on this pristine golf course. Bold move, Obama. You only live once, right? And I've always wondered how this would feel. I've got a feeling we're about to be banned from every golf club in the country. Hang on tight. We're off-roading, presidential style. This is better than one of my rallies. Just don't end up in a sand bunker. I'm not digging us out. You guys ever try jumping a pond? And we made it. Good call, Obama. Told you it would be fun. Now for a victory lap up that hill. Wait, what hill? This isn't what I had in mind when I said I wanted to branch out. OK, let's catch our breath for a second. That was intense. I'm just glad the Secret Service isn't around to see this. All right, let's shake things up a bit. You ever played baseball, Donald? I was more into real estate but I'll give it a swing. Guns out, guys, just in case. Catch me if you can. He's always been quick on his feet, you know, for a Democrat. Remember, Donald, we've got his back. Time to head back. Don't want to leave our ride unattended for too long. First smart thing you've said all day, Barack. Let's roll and maybe try to avoid more trees this time. Hold on, gentlemen. This ride is about to get a whole lot bumpier. Steer clear of the sand traps. I've had enough of those in my golfing days. I hope there's a 19th hole after this adventure. I could use a drink. Remember when we thought politics was a rough game? Compared to this, Capitol Hill feels like a walk in the park. All right, pedal to metal. Let's see where this journey takes us next. With you behind the wheel, I've learned to expect the unexpected. Just keep it on the fairway, OK? Now's the time to make a statement. Let's remind them who we are. Barack, remember, this is a game. Let's not get too carried away. Let's make sure we stick together. They can't outnumber us. You? What's your problem? Stay still. Joe, what did you do? He was a threat. And we don't leave threats. Enough. Both of you. All these fancy cars shattered and broken. Just like this city. Brock, we need to regroup and get out of here. And make sure no one follows us. I've made my point. Let's move. Finally some sense. Let's get back to a car. Stay alert. You never know who's lurking around. This car, it'll do. Barack, wrong seat. No time for that now. Hurry. All right, all right. Everyone in? Can't believe we're doing this in a rolls. Talk about style. Riding in luxury while making an exit. Hang on, we're getting out of here fast. Just try not to scratch the paint too much. This thing's got power. Let's just make sure we're not its last ride. Put Barack behind the wheel. Good luck with that. We're out. Just a bit more. Faster, Barack! Faster! He's giving it all he's got. I just love driving on the road. For now, at least. Let's lay low for a while. Agreed. No more surprise appearances for a bit. Let's find somewhere discreet. Lay low, regroup, and plan our next move. Just stay away from any more golf courses, please. Watch yo. What was that? We just went head on with someone. 
Got to keep moving. Hang tight. Try not to hit anything else. Or anyone else. Hold on, breaking through here. Looks like we've attracted some unwanted attention. We need to shake them off and fast. Just another day in politics, right? Drive, Barack, drive. I'm on it. Keep your heads down. I can't shake them off. They're relentless. Just keep going. We'll find a way out. I've got an idea, but it's risky. Just do it before these bullets find us first. All right, let's give them something to think about. That's the spirit, Joe. Keep them off our tail. These guys mean business. Got to get out of this compound. Hang on. They're everywhere. Keep firing and driving. Just keep us in one piece, Barack. Sorry, presidential emergency? You'd think they'd clear the roads for former presidents. These guys don't let up. I've got an idea. It's a bit of a detour, but might shake them off. Anything's better than this hailstorm. Hold tight. I'm making a sharp turn. Cover me, Donald. I need to reload. Heart attack, here I come. Keep it together, Donald. We're not out of the woods yet. I need to find a way out of this traffic. We're sitting ducks. Just keep moving. We'll handle the rest. That's it. Throw them off our trail. A few more turns and we'll lose them for good. Watch out for that car. They're boxing us in. Brace for impact. Here they come. Let's give them a taste of our own medicine. Keep your heads down. Cover me, Barack. Reloading. On it. What now? We're still in the game. Drive. I'll get us out of here. Better fast, we've got a tail. We have to shake them off. I know a shortcut, hold on. Let's just avoid any more trees, okay? No promises. Just keep going. We'll get out of this yet. We're taking a detour back to the course. Again, at least I know the layout. It's like Groundhog Day, but with more police. Avoid the trees and the ninth hole. If only the golfers played as aggressively as these police. Well, that's one way to trim the branches. Hold tight, we're not done yet. Looks like they brought the entire precinct. We faced bigger crowds than this. Should have stayed in the precinct today. Iraq, we need to move. Now? Before this turns into a full-blown war. Let's see how they like a taste of this. That's a bit excessive, don't you think? Darn. Missed. Come on, Barack. Lead your target. Just get that chopper before they get us. OK, OK. I've got it this time. Hurry. They're closing in. Remember when golf courses were relaxing? Gotcha. About time. Now about those cars. Two more for good measure, Barack. Do you have a plan after this? One problem at a time, Donald. You two stay hidden. I'll lure them away. Wait, are you sure about this? Trust me. I always thought the fairway was too calm for me. Time to spice it up a bit. This reminds me of those golfing sessions, minus the chaos. But guess they're not fans of mine. Let's try a waterscape. Oh no, not the best shortcut. Could have used a mulligan on that one. Typical Barack thinking he's on a golf course. I've got a scorecard for this too. Well, I guess it's just me. The car and my presidential driving skills now? I hope the Secret Service budget includes scuba gear. Maybe I should stick to golf from now on. Barack, golfing might be your thing, but this escape plan is even more underwater than your healthcare policy. And here, folks, we have Barack's latest episode of Sink or Swing. I'm starting to feel sleepy just looking at this, Joe. I thought you were the one known for napping. Well, Donald, we can't all tweet our way through a situation. Sometimes you need a nap to recharge, even underwater. You know what, guys? I've had enough of this underwater comedy show. I'm going to find a golf course with a mini golf section and play the strangest game I can find. Good luck, Donald. We'll stay right here and continue critiquing Barack's adventures. Well, Joe, it seems Donald has left the Discord. <laughs> well, in that case, Barack, let's relax. Watch some TikToks and finally get some well-deserved rest. Quick talks, Joe. Really? Well, okay then. Goodbye, my friend. Until next time. Today we have to act quickly, play the surprise. Hunted for months, they were on their guard. Cops aren't been paid to protect them. After two years of investigations, of shadowing, of eavesdropping, shit. Get in the car. The target is leaving the airport now. Well, they probably ready for anything, even end up as a martyr. What is the cost of telling me? You both are in fucking cahoots. Let me guess, Joe, we were finally going to perhaps today reach the goal. Am I right? Donnie, I could add a narcotics ring attack, hold up arms trafficking, currency trafficking, receiving stolen goods and money laundry. This is the case we are handling now. Martin Madrezo, the founder of the group. What do you think, Tweety? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hey, Donald, did you see that comment on our last video? Nurtoka23224 wants a shout out. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Joe is a Giga Chat gamer. 
I'm not sure what that means, but I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> and Nurito Kid says you're the best businessman. Of course I am. What can I say? I make deals like no one else. And it seems like Obama is the best at something, too. According to the comment, Obama is the best at bomber. Well, Joe, I think they might have meant best at banter. Maybe, but no matter what they meant, we appreciate all our viewers' comments and support. So, Naruto Kid 2324, this one's for you. Thanks for watching and for the rest of you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Absolutely. Keep those comments coming and let us know what you'd like to see next. Yeah. Now let's move to video. What a fuck sleepy. How can you not notice that we have passed 4,000 subscribers? Where is your thank you? Yeah, I thought we have already celebrated that, but don't remember when. Uh, anyway, guys, we are very grateful for your support. Now we can move on. Wow. We are soldier at war against mafia that collects many illegal activities. Sounds interesting job to do, pal. The time had arrived to neutralize the leaders of organization and finally cut off the monster head. He is a luckiest son of bitch, conglomerate of manufacturers. What amazed hot Tweety. I was just starting to get interested in them screw with what he has. I want him just as bad as you'll tell Barry. Gentlemen, I present to you the hardcore of direct action. So boys, fasten your seatbelt because I had a Beretta 7.65. You are batshit crazy Joe. Do your goddamn driving right, boys. This time you must be efficient and discreet. Little comrades are waiting for us around the corner. What do you know about the organization, Sleepy? What's wrong with this car? Oh. As the former president of the United States of America, I had sworn to stop them, and I will have to shoot down anyone who opposed to our law. That's weird. It doesn't look like you. I knew very well that you are an opportunistic and selfish beside. We are not in the middle of an election campaign. I don't give a shit with your mouth because I will show you how this fucking thing works. Oh, shut up. We will not go in anywhere. Look, Donnie. Let me tell you from beginning what the fuck just happened. Oak back again. Overrun by crime and poverty ruled by an organization that use pain and fear to control. They keep their promises far beyond our fears, but we will make a stand against them. Wow. Mr. Former President, your vulgar tongue should be ripped out. Oh, not again. Now the question is, do you have the ball to take it? Oh, do you? You think you watered me of champagne to keep me quiet, but it will take a little more. Where did you get the information? The Secret Service, I hope you have a reliable source otherwise. This is gonna be our last day. Fucking baptism of fire. By the way, happy anniversary, Barry, on this October. Wow, that was close. You know what a loving marriage that is. Working partnership is one of the great sustaining joys in life. The love just comes off you both. You both are lucky to call a couple goal. When men build lives from honest toil, the courage never fails. I go along with that Joe. I am lucky to call Michelle mine. She is brilliant, kind, funny, and beautiful. And Michelle have been in the pink since we retired from White House. We have a lot of time to spend with. Look out, you almost get out of hand, Joe. You're both full of shit. This small talk is bloody boring. I can fly off the handle without warning. You are here to gloat on woman. I just need to flick my hand if I want. Donnie, I'm bored with your chatty. Do you know that I'm a professional drifter? You act like an ass, a common thug. How often in life do we ignore crucial issues or admit something emergency instead get sidetracked by trivia? Simply rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic instead of focusing on what is truly important. As additional, I got message from my informant. Martin has Natalie as his mistress. That's why he likes to mistreats and cheats on his wife, Patricia, and he was also a bad role of dad for his son, Miguel. Hey, you. Can you get the shit out of me? All of you are blocking my way. I'm in a hurry, you know? There we go. Stop the car. I got it. Get rid of them. Reload my bullets. Everything is proceeding as we planned. I was already in their line of sight, but I want to check this area for sure. Is it confirmed that Martin is dead? We're closing in on Barry. I shoot it up. He got nowhere to go shit. He got no chance. We got a couple minutes to get down there. You have no idea how to get information about this stuff, but I had contact Jurgen Stock, Secretary General of Interpol. Get in the car. My new baby, we got everything we need. You never been tied up in red tape, didn't you? I can imagine that sleepy. But of course there should be exchange information in dealing with it. I got used to it. Fucking amazing show, Joe. Let's fucking do this, boys. Boys, this time I got information about Martin. He is the puppet of El Chapo, a leader of the Sinaloa cartel one of the largest and most powerful drug syndicates in the world. 
You're right, Donnie. What we are doing now is capturing evidence of drugs sent from Mexico with Martin addressed. The stuff has crossed the border. We missed it, but it's not too late because we can still get the stuff. Jurgen informed me the stuff will pass here via freight train delivery. A Mexican Sinaloa cartel who was defecting told and got protection from him. Who tipped you off? Holy shit. My stubbornness is always paid off. Oh, hey, you abandoned official reception for a tryst with us today. How is Jill? And Joe, I just found out that you are a maniac too. Watch your shit steering wheel, buddy. Well, I maintain order, whatever it takes particular. If there is something that endangers the American people, hey, get out from my way. And Jill is fine if I'm with you. I'll endeavor to avoid that question. But why? Wow, I was so scared and I knew you're not a holly roller. Donnie, I thought Joe run a tight ship. I supposed to say that for emergency, what fuck just happened? Why did you stop this car? I don't need your compliments, Barry. Oh, boys have some fun for my show, cause I want to give them the good stuff and make sure El Chapo receives my message. The train's supposed to go this way. Step back the railway tunnel, something wrong. I wasn't surprised this is bullshit and fucking trap. We should get the hell out of here. How'd they find out that we will catch them red-handed? I'm gonna call the phone dealing the life joke out of- What's your point? Run. If you want to stick around for another shoot it up, that's fine with me, Joe. But I am getting the hell out of it. Eat this. Oh, that's a nasty look, buddy. Oh yeah, dude, you- Yeah, you don't know that I am man of God never loses a fight getting the car. Can we go any faster? I don't want to attract any attention too much. The cops will be coming after the gunfire here up. The El Chapo used railway moving through smuggling the goods across the border to here, damn it. That's the operating pattern he carries out. But now we got nothing here. Hey, that's the train turnaround. You sure you know that's the right one, Joe? The perfect guy for the job comes along at exactly the right time, Barry. This freight train delivery is something I can't ignore. Looks like we got caught. They're after us now. I hold them off. We're in business now. I hope you're not gonna ruin everything sleepy. Yeah, you'll jinx shut up, Tweety. You just do what I said. So let's focus on them now. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. You made that rule up for yourself. Are you kidding me, Joe? You are not playing with the full deck, aren't you? See, Barry? That bloody bastard drive a car like shit. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. Just because you have your head in the clouds, Joe. We can go down in flames. Okay, I'm really sorry about this. Honestly, I'm not used to my new baby yet. Someone commented that this car is great. Oh God, that's great. You are suck. You must be heard something straight from the horse's mouth, and you believe that. You already know which way the wind is blowing. Perfect. Pull yourself together, man. You can say that again. Every cloud has a silver lining. Trust me, Donnie. What can you do with that train? It can't be stopped. I hope you have brilliant ideas because I don't like this. I still working on, here's the plan. We're not gonna make it by chasing the train. Bloody hell, this train will stop somewhere and we'll move the goods via another route. What do you think, Barry? Your guess is as good as mine. Do you have a map of this area? I got map in my cell. There is railway line in it. Joe, you're such an asshole. I felt like a few seasick rich folks swaying high above 57th Street. At this point, you get to use it because our life at stake here, Donnie. Do you copy that? We are still in one piece. Show me what you got. What types of goods in that freight train El Chapo must have heard the news of Martin shooting last night? The news was up in the newsroom in just an hour. Cocaine, heroin, marijuana, methamphetamine, or possibly humans for trafficking. He managed business behind bars with El Rayton and makes his dad's operation running well. Could be he was already preparing for a change of plans, and you have no idea who you are dealing with boys. Maybe you've heard rumors about how El Chapo beheaded a victim with a saw, skinned someone's face, and sewed it onto a ball or soaked the victim's body in acid. Melanie and Jill regret letting you go. If only they knew. I feel sorry for you, Donnie, because no one cried for you. Money isn't everything. Can you get the shit out of me? Yet God knows if I swore to have your skin. Listen, I checked the map. After a few tens of meters, it's possible that the goods will be sent via the river. Oh shit, what the fuck you were doing? Forgive me, I'm in a bit trouble to control my new baby. It's just a matter of time before I get used to it. I guess this is the place. Sleepy, this is the worst ride I have ever had in my fucking life. Even Barry is better driver than you. Anyway, enough of heart attack for today. Agree, Joe, next time, you'll be sitting behind for sure. See you tomorrow, guys. Michelle is calling, I have to go. Uh, no one will understand me, but it's okay. I'm gonna call Vin Diesel to improve my drift skills with this baby. Can you stop pacing around and tell us why you called us here again? Shut up, sleepy Joe. Get in the car or you'll risk missing out on today's Juicy.
Okay, really, Trump, what are you up to today? This guy's face looks familiar. Have we met before? Anyways, guys, let's do this. What are we doing? Shut up, you pieces of shit. At least make me catch some breath. Okay, so, so as always, guys, before we start, I want to show my new homie that talks truth about Donnie. Well, Dehaven Halton, you think I'm mean to Joe. You know, we've had our differences. Joe has been in politics for decades. I think he even had a typewriter when he started. Oh, come on, Trump. You talk about politics, but I bet you still have a MySpace page hidden somewhere on the internet. MySpace, really, Joe? I heard your favorite movie is in black and white. Well, at least I can stay awake through an entire meeting. Maybe you need a Twitter timeout, Donald? Uh, uh, whatever, guys. Just don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'm just here to have a good time and a few laughs on these clowns. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Too late, Sleepy Joe. Moving on right now. We aren't the cause of your misfortune. Blame it on your big fat head choking you to death. Did you miss your meds today or something? Shit, you are almost making me forget my way already. Okay, okay, I've got this. But so back to what I was saying, today we've got two missions. First, there is a suicide bomber in town waiting to put the Metro Center up in flames. We need to take him down. We'll get back to that. Oof, see those baddies, Joe. You Never just missed them. That. Hop in the trunk of the truck, ladies. Oh, Barrick, did you hear that? After this mission, I should visit a studio to show how great an artist I am. I wonder how Jill has been coping with listening to your voice every night before going to bed. Anyway. Shit. What just happened? Did you feed these ladies with your white powder while we weren't looking, Joe? All right, this is about to be a longer day than I thought. Let's get out of here before the feds get on your tail again, Trump. Stop telling me what to do. Hey guys, who's that running towards us? Is that the suicide bomber? Oh goodness, I didn't bide Michelle farewell before I left home this morning. Hell guys, I asked you to stay in the truck. You would have been dead by now. If not for my quick intervention, you should say thank you. I, Biden, did you sleep off or you were hit? Anyways, be careful, we still have a big task ahead. Up in the car, guys, we are running against time already. How much longer do we have? I don't know, you slow piece of crap. Hop in before I leave you behind, fighting with the crowd approaching. Because of the mess, the ladies you couldn't take your eyes off caused. I should report you to your wife. I just cannot stand her bad breath. Stop talking about my wife like... Trump, you are going to drive us to our death. If you continue this way, you'll kill more people than you are trying to save at the Metro Center. Keep up with the drifts, Trump. I'm loving it. Ho ho. No wonder you keep funding various war cases. Can't you just love and appreciate peace and order at least once? I will fall off this truck if you don't stop this minute. Aha! I will be glad if you do. Then I can have Michelle all to myself without feeling guilty. I've always known you have an eye for Michelle. Sadly, she doesn't do people who weigh more than an elephant. Shut up, Obama. Nobody wants to have Michelle apart from you, blind bat. All right, guys, we are just about here. A little word for us as we begin the search for the one who only grumpy Trump knows. While in old Joe, simply follow behind because we appear betrothed to do whatever Trump says. We don't have time for your motivational speech this time, Obama-rama, maybe in our next mission. Moreover, your words no longer count shit. We are no longer in 2010, moron. We don't have time anymore. We have to run if we really want to be the hero saving the people of the United States of America from untimely death. Everyone leave. Your lives are in danger if you stay here. Run, guys. Run. I'll be 81 in no time, Trump. There is just so much I can do. Respectfully, Joe, stop blaming your age. Blame it on the excessive doses of Colombian white powder you choked on when you were much younger. You should thank the heavens for keeping you alive this far. You both should shut your trap and just run. Do you have brains, you dim-witted old men thinking like a toddler? No one is here apart from these gossiping ladies. Are you sure you got the right tip off from your sources? What can I say? I trust my source. They gave me the exact location and description of what he looked like. How sure we he's not lurking around? Or could this be a setup? We are presidents of the United States. Who dares set us up? Leave sleepy coward Joe Obama. I guess I'll wait for the next train to arrive. It should be here in a minute. Oh, here it is. You both stay here while I search the train. Be safe, Trump. This place looks empty. What's happening? Say something, Trump. Nothing yet. See, the train is leaving. Shit, Ar. Be careful. We've lost the bomber. We shouldn't lose you too. Let's get the hell out here before it goes off in flames. It's all right to be coward, but it's criminal to be dumb at the same time, Sleepy Joe. It's called a suicide bomber for a reason. 
Yes, I'm afraid Trump is right this time. The Metro is safe if the bomber isn't here. So what do you think? I think he's around. I can feel it. Let's keep checking around. I don't know why I feel this is a failed mission already. How do we find who we don't know what he looks like? I know what he looks like, you cunt. Stop being a pussy. Get out of my way. Good one, boys. We did it. We did it. <laughs> you both called me a coward, but it's my bullet that hit him. I deserve an apology. Do you think I'd have that high school argument with you? We are done here, boys. Off to the next, and we call it a day. It feels good that Trump calls us boys. Makes me feel really good about my body. I think it should stay that way. I hope he doesn't mean we are his boys. Aha, he's not even the president anymore. I doubt that's what he meant. Anyway, it feels good to feel like a 20-year-old boy again. Now everyone is running from us. Can someone tell these idiots we just saved them from becoming roasted pizza? Leave that innocent snack out of your fucking mouth, you dung-eating moron. Obama-rama. I honestly didn't mean to take a swipe at your family's favorite snack. But hell yeah, it feels really good to have done that. <laughs> so, what's the second task, Trump? I think it's almost time for Joe's nap, or he might just fall over face flat over the steering. Thank goodness he isn't the one driving. Get in the truck, buddies. I think I love boys over buddies. All right, enough of the boys buddies shenanigans. Our focus should be on the next mission. Actually, there are no more missions for today. <laughs> Let's just go play some lawn tennis. Tennis? I want to go home to kiss my wife and maybe bury my face in some white powder. Okay, Trump, I get that you want us to play tennis, but how does that explain this reckless driving? Do you want us to lose our lives after saving others? Here we go again. At least now there are no baddies to lie against. I'm not you, Joe. I'm not a puppet who needs to lie to save his face. I say it the way it is. I say this repeatedly. I cannot afford to get into more trouble with the FBI. This kind of driving and damage to public property will only put us into more trouble. It's tennis, for goodness sake. Ho oh, ho, this is fun. I'm falling off. Grab something, you pussy. I'm trying, I'm really trying. Oh my goodness, Michelle, I love you. Because I doubt we are going to scale through this. Trump, what's your plan? Trust me guys, I've got this. I promised a juicy adventure today. Isn't this juicy? Absolutely nothing is juicy about this rumble racing. It tastes like your, your pee few. Finally, I'm on the floor. Jesus, I'm never staying at that trunk again. Never. I can feel your pain, Obama. I really do. I don't need your Fox sympathy. You weren't the one kissing hot asphalt on the highway. We are here, guys. Let's play some tennis. I've lost interest, to be honest. That road experience has given me some flashbacks. Catch me at the rooftop, guys. This looks like I'm being held hostage. But Joe, are you asleep already, or you'll say something? Wait, guys, I, I sense a bigger trouble. I can hear the sirens. Aha! Uh -huh. Game time is over, boys. A new adventure just found us. I think I love this one more. I can't wait to take down some bloody cops. I promise never to sit at the trunk anymore. Well, I'm not going against that, but guys, a little word before we get heads on with the cops. But we're listening. Be quick about it anyway. Remember, we are the presidents of the United States. Whatever we do shouldn't be questioned. We can only win this fight when we stay united as one. We are born for this task and we'll see it through no matter how many they are or how many would be against us. That line is becoming cliche already, Obama, but thank you anyway. Now, we don't have much time left. I don't think we can continue running. This truck isn't bulletproof like the ones we use in other missions. Let's hop out and face them head on. This time y'all won't escape. It's already embarrassing that you have to chase us around the entire city while we are burning our asses off to save the fucking Metro Center. Target down. Target down. Good aim, Trump. I was born for this. Fight one, but surely not the battle. Shit, I'm here on the trunk again. Faster, Trump. They are closer than ever. Out of gas. Out of gas. We need to change the vehicle. Shit. Hop off, Obama. Get in here. How much longer are we going to do this? I'm sick to my stomach already, too. Not, this is the wrong car to choose. It's slower than Joe's thinking faculty. Still have the guts to throw shades after putting us in this mess. Watch your front. All right. No more running, guys. I think we should surrender. We are the presidents of the United States. There's little to nothing they can do to us, even if we surrender. There's room for dialogue. Surrender my foot. Stop being a pussy, respectfully. Follow me, guys. It's showtime. Showtime, indeed. So what are we doing here? We cannot keep running, like you said, but we cannot surrender. We just need to keep them off our trail while we take cover. That doesn't sound like an intelligent plan. You know, I am more intelligent than you are. You cunt. 
Show me your private achievements, apart from running for the office of the president. I want you to remember. Again, can we just focus on the escape plan before you two start acting like babies left in the drain to drown? I need you both to trust me. Follow me quietly. I bet they cannot see us. You sure they can? See one of those vehicles over there? There are just two guards watching over it. They'll escape when they see us, and we take off from there. Enough of the talks. Let's swing into action, then. Sure. Keep up with the shots, guys. I'll drive us to safety soon. These cops aren't looking to relent anytime soon. We just saved a fucking metro center, for goodness sake. Joe, call your guys to cease fire. Obama, you really think Joe is the president? Oh my, he's a fucking puppet. Nothing more. No words, just drive. I've always known today wouldn't be as good as expected, and I trusted you, Trump. I trusted this motherfucker, too. Can you two shut your traps already? Sail with the moment. Keep shooting. Driving on water? This is a whole new level. I've got this. Really, you have? Don't cease fire, Barrick. Obama's fine, Sleepy Joe. Be careful not to fall off the window, by the way. You are too old to fight against the tides of this river, or is it an ocean? See, whatever. Focus. Trump, turn the boat. Sorry, the car. We are at the end of the road. Stop telling me what to do, dummy. The sirens are going lower. Victory, victory. I told you to trust me. Jumping over this bridge to celebrate the victory. Oh, goodness. Oh, wait, what? Shit, we are sinking. Swim to the shore, guys, swim to shore. Wow, I didn't know you were such a good swimmer. Great skill you have there. Aha, learned it back in high school. Oh, you cannot relate. You were probably cultivating a plantation in Hawaii at that time. So guys, what's the plan? At this point, I only think we are fucked. Oof, what am I up to today? Air? Not sure. Not sure. Let's just see as the day goes. <laughs> How do I operate this machine? I'm the president, for fuck's sake. I shouldn't be pushing this godforsaken car disguised as a vehicle around the street of the United States. Oh, but let's just do this. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, this feels so good. Damn. Well, well, Kai Lockett knows what's up. I appreciate the support. You know, Joe, people love me, they really do. It's just a fact. Well, we all know you have a unique way of stating things, Trump. Speaking of comments, there's one that caught my eye. Yo, Joe, is it true about what they found in the White House? Uh, that's a good one. I can definitely say that, yes, that is true. That's why our old Joe seems to be alien when appearing near normal people. Oh, come on, Trump. Do you know how these rumors get started? It's all just baseless gossip. There's no truth to any of it. Oh, shut up. Let's move on. That's absolutely not true. You're just spreading more of your alternative facts, Donald. Shut up. Uh, let's move on. Please subscribe and like, guys. And to my true fans, please show me your support and comments. I used to wonder how the fuck Donald does these things, driving through the crazy street of L.A. like a mafia. But right now, I really feel on top of the world. These are experiences being the president rubs you off. But honestly, fuck them. I'm just going to live the rest of my life, stay happy for myself and Jill, and leave the rest to the hands of history. This adrenaline rush is killing me. I didn't sniff any Colombian white powder this morning. Or did I? Oh goodness, fuck me, fuck me. I'm never letting Donald handle the driving for all of our other missions again. He's having all the fun while we face the bullets. No way, no fucking way. This feels good. Okay, okay, I think I need to calm my nerves before I get pushed off this vehicle and shown the way to the grave. I don't wanna die yet. Oh, I lied. This vehicle won't stop. God damn it, somebody help. Somebody fucking help. Your beloved president is about to crash. Okay. Okay, I've got this. Finally, the brakes are coming to their senses. Oof. See me drifting like a true roadster? First, I need to find Trump. I bet he's living the life at the villa. <phone rings> hey, moron, where the fuck are you this sunny afternoon? Joe, stop looking for me. I'm having fun here at the villa. Haha, uh -huh. that's all I need to know, grumpy Trumpy. See you soon. But no, no, I, I... Donald, you just made me crash my vehicle. Fuck off and see you soon. Real soon. <laughs> I never miss. See you soon, Barrack, too. The villa, here I come. All right, holy shit. I hope coming here is worth the thrill because the day cannot be more boring. Let's see if Donald has something in store for us. Now, I know how important these missions are to making our day. Damn. Welcome to the villa, Joe. 
Holy shit, see those baddies? I think they are approaching me. <laughs> hey, ladies, do you mind hanging out with the President of the United States? I'm Biden, but my friends call me Old Joe. Wait, what? Can't these ladies see me? Am I dead? What happened in the car? Old Joe, over here. Oh, fuck, I almost lost it. Fuck you bitches. Jill must be ashamed of me for approaching you smelly scallywags in the first place. I'm right with you, Donald. I hope you have something for old Joe anyway. Nothing for you, cocaine sleepy Joe. Why are you not dead in bed by now? What are you doing out here all alone? But look over there, Joey. I stepped out from those heavenly dick-sucking angels to come to be with you. You are such a kill, Joy. Fuck you, orange fat ass. Where is Obama? Maybe under Michelle's legs gulping down some pussy juice? Barrack is at the other end of the villa. Let's go pick him up and find somewhere else to have fun. I might be sending drone strikes to bring this place down in a minute. Why, moron, don't you enjoy the beauty of these grasses? Catch me in the car before I zoom off. You hand me the keys anyway? I can't sit and allow a patented idiot to drive me to my early grave. Will you meet me or stay here while I dial Thor to send down those strikes? Say hello to my grandma in hell anyway. Fuck you, dementia-stricken fuckface. I'm right behind you. I'd rather die in a motor crash than burn to hell. Ever wondered what burning your fat orange ass will look like? Hmm, barbecue. Speaking of barbecue, I think I've got a mission for us. How about we smoke some mafia guys out of their hiding? Sounds like a plan. I love the sound of that. Phone Obama. We'll pick him up soon. Obama Rama, fun time is over. It's time to fuck shit up. I'm ready when you are, Donald. Seam five. Greg really loves the sound of war. I wonder if the FBI will ever get off his tail. I wonder if you will ever stop being a pedophile. You have no evidence to back your claims up. But I have evidence to prove that I won that presidential election. Can you ever stop being a crybaby and face reality? My tenure is almost over. I can't wait to spit on your face at the next polls. That's if you are still alive by then. Old moron. I wonder why you and Bush haven't crossed to the other side yet. Enough of the death talk. So what about the mafia guys? Today's becoming too boring. I'm sure the viewers are as bored as I am. Not too good to see you guys, but here we are again. So what's the plan? Grumpy Trumpy? Like I used to say, I trust dry sources. And although I was a bit skeptical about carrying out this task, what to do? Let's get on our way already. That's skeptical. Is there anything we need to know? Er, not exactly. The less you know, the better. Just some low-life mafia gang planning to attack the city. Joe, will you lead us on this one? You seem to have an unusually high level of adrenaline. Or are you under the influence of some Colombian white powder? I swear I didn't take nothing. It's just exciting to huh? behind the wheel while you two surrender your lives to me to cater to. Anyways, are we shooting on sight? Definitely. Anyone who isn't Barrick, Joe, or me, we are taking them down, leaving no stone unturned. What about the cops? I still have my name under the FBI's watch. We are the presidents of the United States of America. No one, not even the FBI, should intimidate us from saving this country. Well, that's true. If only we were truly saving the country and not doing it for selfish gains. How is stealing cocaine, stealing classified documents, and assassinating Kim a part of protecting the United States? How is killing Gaddafi and hunting down Osama a part of saving the United States? Trumpy, you are spilling more than you should. I wonder where you got those details from. Old Joe, it's foolish that Barrack loves to pull the holier-than-thou personality when he is deep-soaked in equal mess. I guess we should focus on the road. Before sleeping, Joe drives us crazy. There's only one person driving me crazy here, and it is you. I wonder how Michelle survives every night sleeping with a robot who thinks being hypocritical equals being smart. Watching you both argue it out will be the highlight of my day. For once, I feel out of Grumpy Trump's radar. Shut up, you ass liking, never reasoning puppet disguising as president. <laughs> hey, 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 this is fun. No one is spared from Trump's sharp, two-edged tongue. My condolences to Melania. My condolences to Michelle, too. Because once we are done taking down the bus mafias, I will make sure my last bullet finds home in your body. But don't worry, Michael won't miss you. She'll be busier than you made her in the bedroom. OK, guys, from the map, I think we've gotten closer. Remember, we are shooting on sight and taking everyone down. We are also leaving before the cops find their way there. That's right. Over to you, Joe. I wish you well on the first mission you will be anchoring. I wonder when Barrack will have the balls to do so, too. I don't care what you say, but as usual, a word of motivation for you guys. 
And remember, again, we are the presidents of the United States and we are born for this task, no matter whether we are prepared better than this or it is impromptu. We will not give up whatever it takes and whatever we may need to give. That's right, Obama. Thank you for your nice but cliche words. Are we ready for the showdown? We are ready when you are. Then let's do this. Holy fuck. We'll be needing new rides when we are done, by the way. This one doesn't have brakes. Wait, what you mean we've been riding on devil's horns for the last several minutes? I wonder why Joe is hyper today, but I'll never believe he made us ride a brakeless car. Anyway, we are here. Let's get a real business. I'll be at the rear, ensuring we all are safe. Old Joe looking more to clear everyone you find. Careful, Joe. I'm right behind you. This place looks deserted. Trump, you're sure this is the right. Oh, never mind. I found these sons and daughters of godforsaken mothers. Hey, cover, guys. We need to be quicker, too. The police are getting closer. Focus on these Mafias for now. We'll handle those sirens later. No one escapes Joe. Check your right. I'm holding on. These guys are really low lifers. Real Mafia gangs should be harder to take down. I'm having fun doing this anyway. Trump, how did you know these guys? True. Humpty Dumpty surely deserves some questioning. Can you both please shut your trap and let's focus on the job at hand? By the way, if you must know, I'm returning a favor. How many more people do you owe Donald? And how many more mafias would you need us to help bring down for you to repay your favors? I didn't want to do this one. It is all Joe's idea. Grumpy Trump really sounds like a little high school boy caught playing cards during school hours. I love to see it. Uh-huh. I will deal with you both after we leave here. I have no words for now. I hate it when you team up against me. I always say it, yet you always do it. Who? what a space we've got here. Trumpy, you've seen this place before? Care to show us around? Barrick stopped the teasing before Trumpy tears up. You know he doesn't know how to handle rejections. Remember, he is still contesting the results of an election that happened almost four years ago. Here are you two again teaming up against me. I guess leaving the villa to do this with you guys is a huge mistake. I really need better Republicans to play this game with, or maybe a stray bullet blows your grain head off and leave the United States without a president. Let's pretend Trump doesn't know he cannot find anyone better than us. Or maybe he knows but keeps lying to himself. This has to be the easiest mission we've ever attempted. Why well, hope life can be this easy? To mine is you should ask Michelle why yours isn't, or some of those men who don't fail to supply you with ice cream. I don't know what you were talking about. By the way, fuck you for bringing Michelle into this conversation again. Fuck you. Enough of the hiding. These guys at the entrance shouldn't be more than we can handle. I believe they're the only ones left for us to take down. True. So what's the plan, Captain Joe? You have some more grenades with you? That should help wipe them clean in seconds. Oh, what an idea. Remind me why I call you the robotic Obama again. Ha! Shut up, you dumb pussy-grabbing son of a thousand fathers. I'm not a robot. And I'm saying this for the 1,000th time. Hmm, that was mean, really mean. Anyways, catch that, Obama-rama. Okay, it's time to set these guys on beautiful flames. The cops are finally here, which means we have absolutely no time anymore. Watch me take them out single-handedly. Do it quicker, Joe. The quicker, the sleeker, the sleeker, the better. That sounds good, yeah? Really good. It's time to have some barbecue scattered on the streets of Oof. That was a good one, old Joe. You can say that again. I'm glad to see you defying your age. I hope it lasts anyway. One last one, guys. This one is for having a base as big as this, but with no Colombian white powder. Bastards. I guess the coast is now clear. How do we return? I'm not riding a brakeless vehicle back home with you guys. That's right. Melania is waiting in bed for me tonight. Look at the brighter side, guys. These are power bikes. Our trip just got crazier, but before then, I have a feeling some mafias are still lurking around, hiding and waiting for us to leave. Hmm, that may be true. Joe has that nose for sniffing around. Let's double check the corridors again to be sure. Stop telling us what to do. Unlike you, we are not robots and can think with our heads. I cannot wait for this to be over. And I return to my home, I can no longer pretend we are friends. Trump is obviously an enemy. No one asked you to pretend, Barrack. Kudos to those who organized this game and brought us together. Only they can end the age-long war between Israel and Palestine, I believe. Okay, guys, while you two morons did the talking, I did the shooting. I can now confirm that there is no one else in this building. Time to zoom out. Take Obama with you. I'll be riding the second bike. I could knock him off if he rides with me. Today's not as exciting as I thought. These ones were too easy to take down. I bet the comment section is mad at how fake this mafia gang is. 
That's right, more like a waste of, oh goodness. I thought you said we've taken them all down. Time for another showdown, boys. We're being ambushed. I'll continue with the riding. Barrack, do the shooting this time, or we all are dead meats. Don't worry, I will be here to support. Ride as fast as you can to a safe place. We cannot run forever, guys. Let's show these people we are the president of the United States. And, and I am the best president they ever had. There is no time for this fooling. I don't think it's safe to wait yet. Keep riding and shooting, guys. I wish I were Vin Diesel right now, because this shit doesn't look different from Fast and Furious. So what's the plan? You are the youngest among us. You should be our thinking cap. Well, in that case, I think we should stop fleeing and take these guys head on. We've dealt with bigger issues than this. I have no worries. I believe we will fuck them up. Pull over. Donald is closer. He's no longer far behind. Right behind you guys. Let's do this. Happy to offload these magazines on this motherfuckers. Haha, <laughs> this is more like what we signed up. You boys are feeling the heat? 100%. These guys won't get off our tail. Joe, would you call Thor to crush them off? You have his hotline? I bet Biden won't do that, and I never understand why. It may be time to get off, boys, and let's face our fears. We only die once. Offloads those godforsaken magazines. You only die once? I thought it was you only live once. YOLO? Whatever, Barrack, you get the point. Keep up with the fire, boys. We are winning this battle, plus the war, too. I love your spirit, Biden. This is the moment I question your age again. Watch out. Uh, <laughs> Joe, are you okay? Shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right, buddies. Not too bad, just a slight rune over. That's the spirit, old Joe. But with that, I think it is game over. Let's return home. Or maybe we return to the villa on the laps of those heavenly dick-sucking baddies. I need to return to Michelle. She must be worried. Old Joe, what do you have for us today? Unlike the last mission, today promises real fun. And we are starting immediately. Riding on these bikes brings unpleasant memories, but I guess it is what it is. You guys see that supermarket? We are clearing everyone in, apparently. This supermarket is a front for their other shady businesses. It feels good to ask, but do you trust your source? More than I trust my sniping skills, grumpy Trump, doubting dummy. Our second mission with them, and both has been precisely as they described. Mm. First shot fired. Let's get to action, guys. OK, OK. That was faster than I ever imagined. Today would be really fun. Where else do we head to when we are done here? Because this supermarket doesn't look all that big. We should be done here in minutes. Definitely. A few rounds of magazines, a quick check around to be sure there is no one else here. Probably set this place on fire. Then we can say our business here is done. OK, old Joe, so what do we do next? There are nothing too much than the usual expectations of the cops on our trail. And of course, I trust us to take every one of them that crosses our path down. Biden, doesn't that sound too much of a work for you? I hope you don't sleep off while driving us around town this sunny afternoon. <laughs> Joe definitely hasn't had any Colombian white powder today. Or Joe, have you? I don't have any words for you two. I'll rather just focus on this task, get my shits done, and go meet Jill waiting in bed for me. We all here have wives waiting for us in bed, too. There's absolutely no point rubbing yours on our faces. I am not even trying. It is just what it is. I will pretend I didn't hear Biden praise his wife. You should be praising the men who fill your ass up with enough cream. OK, this is getting PG rated. Donald switched to a new topic. While switching, remember the cops are here and we need to get our asses out of here in a jiffy. I'm not going nowhere yet, guys. We shouldn't be a coward running around from these bastards. Let's face them head on. Not a bad idea. We are the presidents of the United States. We shouldn't be running from anyone. The reverse should be the case. Well, remember, guys, I am the best president the United States of America has ever had. Did anyone ask who the best president is? Poof. I almost forgot that robots don't really have thinking autonomy. Who is your programmer, Obama-rama? These guys are getting more than expected. Do we lure them around town for a while? Grab the bike, Joe. We'll cover you from behind. I guess I'll hop on the second bike, just as we came. All right. Is escaping on this bike really a great idea? We are exposed more than ever. One bullet to Biden's head, and I bet it's a goodbye never to meet again. Why chose me out of the three of us? Keep up with the fire, guys. They are gradually retreating. No one is retreating Obama-rama. If anyone is, we should be the one, and it must be right now. Staying at the crime scene with this volume of cops doesn't always end well. God damn it, how did I not think of this earlier? What do you think of the car? 
if we want to successfully go off their trail. At least we have to do it well. No one is as confused as Joe right now, and I really do not know why. Biden is acting like this is his first mission, and all that is happening isn't expected. In true Obama-rama, but his fears aren't unfounded. The cops are getting more and more. Someone must have tipped them off about our presence and what we have done. What were you thinking hopping on that bike again? And you grumpy lumpty dumpty Trumpy, why did you join him? What was your plan? Escape on that rickety jalopy disguised as a bike. Okay, this time we are going with the white van. But before then, let's take off these blackheads first. The more clustered they are, the sweeter. Sure, let's do this as we have always done. But remember guys, again, we are a terror as a team, but divided, the enemy can easily put us to the sword. This isn't our first task, and I'm certain we'll have many more missions to accomplish for our fans on this channel. So I charge you to get your chins up, grab your firearms tight, and fire away. May the best man always win. Wow, that is a lot. It's refreshing to see you have changed your cliche motivational statement. This one right here is better, much better. And yes, we are the best men, and we are winning. Ho, ho, catch us if you can, you bastards. Joe, did you take any driving lessons from Trump? You both now drive alike. I'm the youngest here and still too young to die. My eldest child isn't even 30 yet. Oh my goodness, you have skidded off the road. Fire away and stop being a pussy. I had to do that, Obama. Put your mind to rest. I've got this. The goal is to connect to the next track so we can go off their radar. And now we are here. Sounds wise enough. Focus on the road, Biden, while we do justice with our guns. I'm glad I am not on the trunk this time. It would have been my worst nightmare. So anyway, what's the United States plan for the Israel-Palestine war? A bird told me the U.S. is secretly funding Israel. Joe, is that... I do not know what you're talking about, and I'm not in that thinking space yet. Maybe when I go off the road and settle back home, we can have that conversation. Bold of you to think Grumpy Trumpy really wants to have a conversation with you, Biden. He is just putting his nose around searching for cheap points to score ahead of next year's election. I hope you don't fall for it. Okay, okay, guys, where do we go from here? This map seems to be misleading. The map is misleading, or your eyes are getting dizzy. Cocaine sleeping, Joe. Now that we are back on the road, I'll focus on the map bearings from there until we reach a safe place. Correct the Messiah. <laughs> Not funny. Focus on the road before we head for the bush again. I wonder what you can do on your own. Not even the president's seat you stole from me. I have said this time and time again, but you refuse to stop being a crybaby. I'm sure the viewers' ears must be tired of you saying that line in almost all our missions. You get used to it. You aren't the president anymore and may not even get close to that seat anytime soon. Get used to it, Trump. Back to you, Barrick. You sound like a broken record already. Just let it go. I wonder when being a patriotic citizen catering to the welfare of my nation becomes looking for cheap points to score. I wish you could hear yourself while you speak, so you will know how much you struggle to defend yourself, but I understand so many ailments come with old age. Yours must be hearing. I hope your doctor prescribes a hearing aid for you as soon as possible. I said a lot of nonsense and ended it with the most random thing. The most mentally disturbing person should have said. I could have recommended speaking to Michelle about it, but birds of the same feather flock together. We aren't halfway done, but you guys' focus has drifted off, focusing on what doesn't exactly matter. Not to sound like a high school kid reporting his mate, but Donald started the drift. I hate to do that with him, but he always seems to enjoy it. That guy is the real bully. I can count on one hand how many people I have bullied in my lifetime. Can you do the same? We'll begin with the bloodshed in the Middle East that got the FBI on your back. Hmm. I think that's a checkmate. Donald is winning this round. <laughs> he, he, he. I, I always win. You all know it. By the way, brilliant face off back there. Now it's left to you, Biden, to show how much a roadster you are. I hate to team up with you, but yeah, you can trust me with that. Don't forget to keep shooting. We've won the war, but not the battle. These cops won't relent. They never do. But I'm sure Biden, the president, can turn them back with the click of one button. But guess who loves the rumble race now? Look up in the air, guys. We are being followed by helicopters. This is my favorite part. Who remembers how I brought down those Mafian helicopters the other day? I don't remember anything. By the way, I cannot do anything, too. And no, I'm not going down that lane with you. We've been there too many times than I can remember. I owe you no respect because I am the bigger one here, but respectfully, I am not puppet president. I hope we are clear now. Oh my goodness, another fallacious statement aimed at deceiving the public. We know what you are, and you two know exactly what you are, but let's leave it at that. You guys are unbelievable. 
Of course, how will a dementia-stricken, cocaine-sniffing, and shaking Biden remember anything? Followed in the air, chased on the ground, looks like a fucking orgy. So guys, that's exactly how to deal with stray cops. No mercies. You take them out just as they came. It's been great effort since we left the supermarket, but this is beginning to appear like a fairy tale. The doubt is abandoning a vehicle to run on foot, or being trailed by multiple police vans, makes sense to any correct thinking adult. I share the same bias with you, Donald, but let's see what Biden has up his sleeves. There is a river ahead and rocks around us. I bet this old man is moving on pure vibes. There is nothing up his sleeves or brains. Second mission in charge, and it looks like we are truly fucked and won't be able to make videos for our fans on YouTube after this one. The puzzle isn't too hard only if you can think harder. Humpty Dumpty, clumsy Trump. The task is easy, run and shoot. They will tire out. Donald, we've been in worse situations before, and we always find a way around the curve. This one will be no different. I'm optimistic as you are, but sometimes we need to be careful. Joe might be acting under the influence of overdosing on cocaine. Or maybe missing his meds. <laughs> you guys hear that? The sirens are getting faded. That's the plan. They will tire out. Well, well, I should give that to you. You've been a little brilliant all day. Hmm. Hypersize he at its peak again. But what else would you expect from a man who goes around town grabbing women by their pussies? Guys, I see a road ahead. Finally, we are getting closer to the end. Hoof! What a day. What a fucking messed up, exciting and breathtaking day. But Biden, Trump, we can't move by foot forever. Again, where do we go from here? We can hijack a car. We are the presidents. Everyone must obey us, isn't it? Any more hijacking today and trust the police sirens to be behind us in no time. And I'm sure this time they won't tire quickly. It's doomed for us. Biden is right. We need another plan. There is a filling station ahead. I know this route too well. We can rent maybe a scooter to get us home safely. Phew, bikes again. Joe, why do you always love to end your missions with bikes? Is there something you aren't telling us? Hey, bikes again? Or do you have any ideas for us, Donald? Well, let's just get the hell out of here to rep and prepare better for the next mission. I just don't like how chaotic our recent videos have been with the constant police disturbances. You are right. Perhaps we need to be more careful. That's the word. Hmm. Nice sound, better than the previous ones. But before then, I think I deserve a salute or maybe a victory dance. Ha <laughs> ha. I told you both to trust me and see here we are, safe and free again. Sure, well done. But of course, not too long. The police may be here in no time. We think they have tired out, but trust me, those guys are real bastards. We faced them too many times to believe they are truly off our tails today. In that case, let's get out of here already. Not before I get my victory dance. <laughs> Stop dancing like a headless chicken. Let's get on the bikes already. There is a joint down the road. We can take a moment there to cool off the tedious day. It's a happy day, guys. Subscribe. I am bored. Are we going to be a coward of the country? We have saved America, and anyhow, with bend the rules a little bit. Wow, I'm afraid of my own shadow. Look like I might not to kill someone just to hang out today. Ha ha. Let's hit the road and going to uncover my new hidden speakeasy club. You're going to love this club, Joe, and seem a bit nervous there, Barry. I am fucking excited that someone will perform at the Hostess Club's all-nighter. This is going to be home run. Let's find out, Tweety. I have my own opinion about your taste, particularly related to your hairstyle. It's really, really made me mad as vision. So you won't be leaving Barry. Of necessity, I'd go along with that. In the lead up, Trump amped up the drama of the choice. Yeah, when I was younger, I thought would be sexy dancing with stripper on stage all night long, but Michelle changes my mind about it. Okay, so before we start, I want to thank for these big support that you are, are showing to my content, guys. What, Donnie? What do you mean by my content? Oh, shut up, little Joe. And also, I want to mention that over 90% of people who are watching my videos are not subscribed. Oh yeah, that's a right mention. Really? What the fuck are you doing, guys? Yeah, what the fuck? So it's your last chance to join my army, if not... Enough Donnie, guys. Please subscribe and like, and let's finally roll to our video. And there you go again, Barry. I am not even surprised. It's really suck. Sound like a broken record over and over again. Hey, girls, hurry up. Get in the car. Hi, hot guys. I hope I don't miss the boat. Good things come to those who wait, Claudia. You lit a fuse, and now this handsome devil is ticking away like a bomb. Lady Luck gets on my side now. Ouch, thanks, but I just sat in the back. Consider the source. Do not trust him. You won't even be able to hold its tail. What? 
I have no idea about it. <laughs> Look, Barry, seriously, this blind subservience uh, to your judging is definitely the last nail in the coffin with respect to my belief about free of speech. Your expertise at ruining my mood. What a chessy joke. You better come up with a better one, mate. I mean it. Let's fill some dark hole in your fragile ego. Oh, great, you have hangover. Nope, I never had a drink in my life because my brother was a serious alcoholic and begged him to never drink. Well, citing my own experience as a kid with marijuana, I am trying to say that it isn't more dangerous than alcohol or different from cigarettes. Alcoholics can fly off the handle due to how they drive the fucking car. Like an idiot bougie with Lambo. He had At least I still prefer the Lambo Diablo to Joe's cheap Ford. A little bit strange for a kid who his father owns several car dialers. Oh shit. I am sure his joint pain and stiffness disappeared. Not for long though, what a gloomy day. You are full of shit. Oh yeah, I heard you claimed it, T-Teller. I am thinking about something right now. Does Melania know about it? Jill and I have some agreement on some things in our marriage. Oops, I wonder someone said your problematic guide could be agree more that you are the only person who can raise Cain and get away with it. Melania is busy with beef best program. Listen, Sleepy, I don't make money from China, you do. I don't make money from Ukraine, you do. I don't make money from Russia, you made $35 million. I am coming right now. They even have statement we have to give 10 to the big man. You're big man. I think you might hate for saying this, but Donald Trump was a good thing for world peace when he was president, was having historic peace talk with Middle East country. Russia and Ukraine, a China. North Korea didn't finish yet. And now the story goes on Israel and Palestine. Donald Trump's leader leadership was good for world peace, and now without him, the entire world order is coming undone. Actually, I came here because I received reports that gangsters in this area started extorting. They asked my bartender for money and harassed our strippers while they were on stage, or tried to make living for somebody else. It's so fucking annoying as they have been stepping over the line. It's time to read their boss, the Riot Act. Maybe. But I heard the rumor about the most memorable example was your hour-long call with Georgia's Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger when you harangued the GOP official to find just enough votes to nullify Biden's narrow victory in that state. You tried to use the rally round the flag effect to stir up support your action by incited a large gathering of supporters in Washington to attack of us Capitol while the electoral votes were being counted. Damn it, damn it, can you shut up, Barry? And you, you better go to UK watching drama or you can have your next anniversary at Abbey Hall. It's perfect place for finger pie. I am pissed of you. Just check all the rooms, all clear. Hey, Dumpy Trumpy, don't treat me like a doormat. Go fuck yourself. Sleepy, this club smells like strawberry gum. I can't stand with this fucking smell. Don't fuck with me, bitch. Hold on a second. British slang, cool, I impressed. Ouch, that's really hurt, Barry. I did not know you were into this kind, you are a perv. And Tweety, my source told that you unlawfully withheld nearly $400 million in much needed military aid from Ukraine, even though Congress appropriated the funds with bipartisan support. You don't even care about Ukraine. And Barry, you got wrong. This club reeks of pot Trump's tripping balls. We can have hobnob here. Seemed like Donnie was downright creepy while he got drunk. Getting ready to go on stage. I learned about the sexuality of the women strippers and the way the men perceived them. Nobody deserved more an Oscar than me, nor Demi Moore for this scene. A man with an eye for adventure who wasn't afraid to risk it all true. Oh man, this is cool, I'm in the zone. Only question, can you do those tricks on that pole, buddy? Yes, I can dance just like that. Yeah, I admitted you are like a real stripper and purely a show that screams look at me. Total narcissistic self-indulgence Hollywood style. Oh great, there he is, the scumbugs. He is among of guests I have beef to handle with. I'll go there and teach them a little lesson. Eat this bloody moron. Who else wants to challenge me? Come here and let me beat you up, motherfucker. Another one. This is not your lucky day, buddy. Hey, you leave her alone, got punch you asshole. All right, Claudia. Cool, let the good time roll. It's show time. Wow, Donnie, what a surprise. You are being closely guarded by a lady? You're lucky bastard? Oh no, Claudia. That must be really hurt. I hope nothing bad happens to her. Sleepy Joe, absolutely not. Have your head in the clouds. I couldn't even find yuppie or even white collar here. You can say that again, Barry. I guess Trump would like to give the red carpet treatment to this gangster as the king of Saudi Arabia roll out the red carpet to him when he visited Middle East 2017. Couldn't agree more, Paul. Holy shit, hotch poor Joe. 
I beat the shit out of you loser sleepy ass. Now, you know when your fucking mouth should be sealed. Fuck you, Donnie. Don't give up your day job. Get taste of your own medicine. Let's get out from here. Or you like being interrogated? I don't. Hurry up. Get in the car now. I managed to knock out them very easy. It ain't over till the fat lady sing. And on the other hand, it shows loose cannon Donnie, continuing brutally to beat them alone one by one. Sleepy, I thought you touched the wrong button. You always find a way to hurt his pride. I guess so, but I have calendar meeting with Netanyahu through Zoom. Can you drive Donnie? Because I need to reaffirm to U.S. support for Israel and then continues for second use. You summit in next couple hours in White House. Where are the others? I mean, Karen and the friends. Hey, Barry vibe check. I didn't see them yet. As we are go down in flames at Take Two Tango, I'm supposed to listen to Michelle. You can't make omelet without breaking some eggs. Be aware, Donnie. You'll have to face the music and see how it goes. <laughs> Damn it. He was thrown out of the car. What an ass. Go oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my head, my back, it's really hurt like hell. Donnie and Donnie should look your back. Oh my God, Karen, why did they kill her? I felt like I am losing brain cells cause it's bolt from the blue. Sleepy, I swear I didn't expect this could be happened. Ah. I actually almost threw up all over table. I almost projectile vomit all over the bar. But I'll make sure you'll have your meeting or sunbathing on the beach with Jill. Fuck you. I don't give a shit with any rumors. It takes one to know one. Now you open up Pandora's box. The roads are pretty awful, Joe. Karen Trump's sugar baby was shot dead. Good take the coach. The ball is in Donnie's court. Barack, your foreign policy was an absolute fucking disaster. And I'm not mincing words. Look at the chaos you left behind in Israel and Gaza. It's a damn disgrace. Hold on, guys. So before you will listen, these motherfuckers arguing with each other, I'm going to ask you to subscribe and like this video as over 90% of you, yes, you, are not subscribed to this channel and are just watching videos and passing away. This is not how we do business, guys. I will share my lovely white powder with you guys if you need, but please subscribe. And also, I need to give a shout out to my fellow Shady Vic 9984. Thanks for your honest comment, my little bro. Now, let's move over. Oh, fuck you, Donald. Your foreign policy was a catastrophe in itself. You cozied up to dictators, undermined our allies, and gave rise to North Korean aggression. The catastrophe. You have no idea how to make a deal. I brought historic peace deals to the Middle East. They called it a Trump triumph. Guys, we're in a life or death car chase. Can we please focus on escaping the cops? And your LGBTQ agenda, Barack. It's like you were shoving it down our throats. This wasn't about equality. It was political correctness gone mad. Political correctness. It's about ensuring everyone has a fair shot at life, which you consistently disregarded. Your divisive rhetoric is toxic. Fair shot. Look at the economy, Barack. It was soaring under my watch. You couldn't manage that if your life depended on it. Your economy only benefited the rich folks, while the rest struggled to make ends meet. You had no plans for those who needed it most. For the love of God, we're being chased by the police. Focus on getting us out of this situation. Relax, Donald. I faced these motherfuckers before. They couldn't catch me then, and they won't know. Wait, what's the plan again? And where did I put my aviator sunglasses? Ah, uh, here they are. Enough chit chat, folks. Let's move and fast. Guys, this situation just got crazier. We've got the Mexican mafia boss hot on our tail. Fuck, we're in deep shit now. He's not someone you mess with. Thanks, Donald. First it's the cops, now the fucking mafia. Your legacy of chaos knows no bounds. I'll make you fucking pay for crossing the gringos. You can't escape my wrath. <laughs> Barack, your decisions on foreign policy have consequences. It's time you face the music. Guys, let's save the blame game for later. We need a plan to get out of this alive. All right, we've got a bigger problem now, and it's not the time for your fucking ego, Donald. Don't pin this on me, Barack. You're as responsible for this mess as I am with your weak leadership. Guys, please, let's get out of this alive. I've got my Sicarios with me. We'll rip you apart if you don't stop. Hold on, everyone. I've got an idea. I'm listening, Donald, but make it quick. Please, let's get out of this alive. We can't outrun the Mafia and the cops together. We need a plan. Fast. I agree. Let's pull over and confront these fuckers head on. It's about time we showed them who they're fucking with. You can't hide from me, gringos. I'll put you six feet under. Let's do this, guys. Lock and load. Just stay low and keep firing. We've got to take these cocksuckers out. Those damn Sicarios won't know what hit them. You fucking politicians think you can escape the cartel. Not a chance. 
We've got them on the run. Finish them off. These damn cartel members won't harm anyone else. We're politicians, but we're survivors. We did it, guys. They won't mess with us again. Stop the vehicle or we will open fire. Go for it, Donald. We're not going down today. Hold on, everyone. We're getting out of this one way or another. God damn it. We're getting shot at from all angles. This is madness, like a fucking war zone out here. Hold on, guys. Been through my share of war, but this takes a lot of cake. You're surrounded. No way out. Surrender now. Surrender. No chance. Find a fucking way out. I didn't become president for this shit. Holy shit. Hmm. Plan. Plan. Huh. Past. Any ideas, folks? Final warning. Head for tunnels. They won't follow. Final warning, my ass. Head for the fucking tunnels? Watch out for roadblocks and traps. We're not out yet. Last chance. Surrender now. <laughs> Surrender? We're just getting started, my friends. Hold on, everyone. We're going underground. Get ready, folks. We're stepping out, and we mean business. Time to show these cops who they're fucking with. Keep your heads down, and let's take these cunts down one by one. Surrender now, or face the consequences. No fucking way. We're surrendering. We're going down, fighting. You think you can take on three presidents? Think again. We're not going quietly into the night. Let's make our stand. Requesting immediate backup. These suspects are heavily armed. Backup won't save, you know, you motherfuckers. We're taking you all down one by one, like the cocksuckers you are. Hold the line, folks. We've got this. Retreat. Fall back. We can't handle this. But damn right you can't handle us. We're not done yet. Quick. Let's get the fuck out of here. We've shown them who's boss, but we need a fucking plan now. Barack, you were never great at foreign policy. The Middle East was a mess under your watch. Give it a goddamn rest. Donald, your foreign policy decisions weren't exactly a fucking masterpiece either. Oh, bullshit, not again. Can't we just agree on something for once? Agree on something. You're in for a rough ride, Joe. Gentlemen, let's put our political shit aside for now, or we're fucked. Barack, I agree, but can we not forget under my administration, we made progress on health care and climate change. Brass, you mean more government control and regulations? That's not what America needs. Guys, we need a plan like yesterday to get out of this hell. Absolutely, Barack. We'll figure out our differences later. For now, let's stay safe and hidden. Escaping to Mexico may be our best fucking bet, but we need a real plan. A real plan, huh? Like your plan for the economy, which is basically tax and spend. You're both acting like children. This isn't the time for your fucking grudges. Joe, you've been in politics forever, but what have you really achieved? And you, Barack, you're just a smooth talker who did nothing but divide our country. You think you were so fucking amazing, Donald? You're a reality TV star turned president. You're just a fucking con man who played to the lowest common denominator. You were weak, Barack, the pushover on the world stage. This is fucking useless. We need to focus on surviving, not fighting amongst ourselves. Uh-huh. Enough with the freaking name calling. Barack, you always were thin-skinned. Can't take a little ribbing. Hey, guys, can we save the comedy show for later? Oh, sure, Joe. We'll focus on your sparkling wood instead. <laughs> Don't worry, Joe's always got a punchline ready. Well, laughter's the best medicine, right? How about we sort out this situation we're in by getting into more trouble? Let's hit the road again. This is what I'm talking about, boys. Let's make some memories they won't forget. <laughs> Irresponsible as fuck, but it sure feels liberating. Hold on tight. I can't believe we're doing this. We're criminals now, Donald. Criminals? Meet Joe? It's just a little fun and a taste of the wild side. <laughs> And we've got the cops chasing us. Reminds me of the good old days. I'm not as young as I used to be, Barack. We're pushing our fucking luck here. Ah ha ha, age is just a number, Joe. We still got a few tricks up our sleeves. I can't believe we're getting a thrill out of this. It's like we're fucking kids again. Exactly, Barack. They can't catch us and it feels freaking amazing. You guys are insane, but I have to admit, it's a rush I haven't felt in years. We face plenty of tough challenges. This is just another wild ride. Let's keep them chasing. We're not going down without a fucking fight. All right, let's give them hell, boys. This is the adventure we didn't see coming. <laughs> you know, guys causing chaos on the road is a lot like the chaos we created in the world when we were leaders. Fuck yeah, Barack, we were never ones to play it safe. We shook things up. <laughs> and the world couldn't ignore us. We made our mark, for better or worse. We were polarizing figures. It's like this wild chase. People either loved us or hated us. And the thrill of it all whether it's in the White House or on this highway, 
as something we'll never forget. We might have had our differences, but we sure knew how to stir things up. <laughs> Hell, we did it, boys. We outboxed those damn cops. It's like a damn action movie. We just pulled off a citywide car chase. And it feels like the good old days when we were running the show. We were kings, causing chaos and making headlines. But today, it's like we're living on the wild side for real. And it's a fucking blast. We're like the Avengers of getaway drivers. You had no chance. We've still got the moves, just like our glory days. Let's hope we can keep out of trouble yeah. from now on. We've had enough excitement for today. You know, this adventure could be a hit show. Subscribe to our channel for more wild rides. <laughs> and don't forget to hit that like button, folks. We'll catch you next time. It is almost nighttime. Donald, what is the reason for this emergency call? That's right. I was preparing a special dinner time with Michelle when your call came in. To be honest, I didn't want to respond, but I felt I might be the final piece to the missing puzzle in this sort of emergency. You both are absolutely correct. I share the same bias, but my source seems to be running out of time and cannot wait until tomorrow. I apologize and at the same time promise you both an incredible adventure. Okay, okay, that sounded really much like a father taking his kids for a ride. That isn't your objective, right, Donald? <laughs> I wasn't even thinking in that direction. Obama-rama, let's focus on today's task. But before then, let's settle some scores here in a minute. Yeah, but before then, I want to remind guys that I'm going to share my white stuff with you. If you support me to change this fucking analytics from 90% non-subscribed to 90 subscribed. Yeah, I agree with old Joe, but I'm not sure about white stuff. Joe, what the fuck you mean by, I am going to share my white stuff? Hmm, white stuff. I didn't say anything about white stuff, Orange Donnie. Whatever, guys, please subscribe and let's hit fucking 6,000 subscribers milestone because I see how you love my videos. Oh, here we go again. Shut up, you old alien. Subscribe, guys, and finally, let's move on. A quick stop over here and there. And guess what? We would miss out on our primary target. Apologies, Biden. I've just been hoping to move in this direction for a long while. And now that I am here, let's just get it done with. I still wait for the day Grumpy Trump desists from using us as accomplices and settling his personal scores. Humpty Dumpty Trumpy. That was an accident, right? You didn't intentionally run those guys over with this Highlander. I bet that wasn't an accident. You hear him say settle some scores. Definitely that was part of his script of revenge. I wonder how dreadful dying under the tires of a Highlander would feel like. They deserve that, trust me. They are all messed up motherfuckers. So what do we do about the police irons? that are here already despite not even starting with the original task yet. Having the cops on our trail is normal. We always find a way around them, don't we? That's right, sleeping Joe. Don't mind Obama. He's being a pussy as he used to again. I was going to commend you for being apologetic when we first met this evening, but now I'm afraid the real Trump, who likes to savage everyone, including the viewers, is gradually returning. I hope you don't scare away our new viewers with your hateful bans. I know who you are and what you are doing. Anyone watching me for the first time, I promise I am not any of what Obama-rama has said. He is playing the reverse psychology game, I swear. I was away for a minute. What did I miss? This is a safe space, Biden. Did you sleep off on this call again, or did you take time out to snort some more Colombian white powder? I don't know what you're talking about, Obama. You are a hypocritical, dung-eating liar. You definitely know what Obama is talking about. Come to think of it, Joe, at this point, I think we need to be careful and extremely nice to Donald. Our lives are literally in his hands. One wrong footing, and we will all find ourselves at the foot of this hill. Dad, I don't even know whether to call this a hill or a mountain, but you get the point. Donald doesn't want to die yet. He still has the ambition of becoming the United States president for the second time. He won't gamble with his life. Obama-rama, can you please walk me through the fuck process? I mean, how did you drift from talking about Biden's white powders to thinking about finding yourself at the bottom of a mountain? Are not going to lie. The higher we climb, the scarier it is becoming. I think my fears of heights didn't completely go away. I'm literally grabbing onto the seat right now. Easy Obama-rama. We are back on the highway. You can open your eyes again. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny, but come to think of it, we aren't entirely aware of what we have to do this evening. That's some sound thinking, Barrack. Donald, where are we headed and what is the plan? Grab your seat belts, gentlemen. We are ascending the biggest hill of our lives. <laughs> I understand how lives are in double danger, but I really wish I were the one behind the wheels right now, driving up a mountain surely on my bucket list. Well, maybe you save ticking this out of the list for another day. My life feels safer when Donald is driving than when you do, especially in a situation as risky as this one. Well, 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 
That doesn't sound respectful, but it's fine. I promise I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, Biden. I was just protecting my best interest. We are a team, aren't we? Speaking about teams, what do you think of the recent Balloon Door Award? Do you think Lionel Messi deserved the award over Erling Haaland? Donald, when did you become so interested and updated about football? You didn't promote the American Football League when you were president. So what's about this sudden interest in the Balloon Door Award? Barrick has a point, and thank you for pointing that out. I think my administration would also channel our focus towards sports before the next elections. Are you too exceedingly dumb, or did you just choose to switch the conversation? What are you talking about? I asked a fucking simple question, and you two made a stupid scenario off it. How does that even make sense to you? We have a long way ahead of us up this hill, and I was making a conversation I think the three of us could connect with. But Obama began with his joke, and you, Joe, continued with him. You are supposed to be the older person. I'm completely surprised you're already in your emotions. I think you need to catch your breath and focus on the road. Your fat orange head may survive at the foot of this rock but my skinny old self stands absolutely no chance. We almost fell off this cliff just now, didn't we? Honestly, I'm beginning to reconsider this whole mission. Looks like a scary storyline where things get significantly harder and riskier the longer you play. We missed our road, guys. We were headed in the wrong direction before. What is this long wall? Reminds me of the wall of China. Or are we in China already? The buddy, please wake cocaine sleeping Joe up. Biden. Did you zone out in the middle of the conversation? As you asked me in our last two missions, do you actually trust your sources? Like you responded, yes, I trust them more than you trust your snipping skills. Did you two write that down somewhere or something? Unlike the two of you, I am not a dullard. It reminds me of my high school days when I used to lead the whole class grades. That's a lie, Donald. Another lie spotted. And I'm sure the viewers can see that too. You were nothing but a bully, thanks to your fat orange head and dick calling ass. No one even wanted to get close to you because you look like a fuck face. Mind your words, Biden. Sometimes kids watch this channel too. Don't make YouTube ban us. I think the dumbest thing I've done today is picking that fucking call. I'm regretting every minute of it. First, it was helping you settle a personal score, and now we are stuck on a fucking rock and preparing for a reverse free fall. And in the middle of all these, none of our primary targets are even in sight yet. Ah. Do you even have an idea of what we are here for? the less you know, the better. But trust me, we are closer than ever. Look over there. That's a spy right there. Give me a minute to take him out. We are right behind you, too. <laughs> okay, that was some sleek hand and leg movements. That first punch felt like a falling rock. Flattery or commendations? I guess both. Since we are closer than ever, can we discuss what the task is about and what our plan is? So guys, we are here to wipe clean a secret cabal at the extreme top of this mountain. There is a scheduled attack on one of my sources, and it will be carried out early tomorrow morning. Our mission here is to stop them before they stop our sources. Remember, if our sources get stopped, we might be left with no other task and unable to create more exciting videos on this channel. So technically, the decision is ours. Stop them today or leave them to stop us tomorrow. Mm. Sounds like some really fucked up scenario. There is no backing out anymore. We have done riskier tasks than this and completed them. Do you know what the best part about this project is? No matter how catastrophic things get, the cops can rarely track us and get on our trail. So, we are safe from post-war disturbances. Once we are done clearing the camp, we can conveniently return to our homes into the bosoms of our wives without the risks of getting chased by those bloody members of the cops. Yippee. Whoa. Got some good news. I know, right? Now, Let's return our focus to the present, not what may happen in the future. Some words of motivation, everyone. Again, remember, we are the presidents of the United States of America. No one can intimidate us or run us to the ground. Whoever we crush will remain crushed, and whoever we hold hostage can never be set free until we choose to set them free. But we can achieve all of these only when we stand together as a solid force against all odds. This isn't our first task, and I'm certain we'll have many more missions to accomplish for our fans on this channel. So I charge you to get your chins up, Grab your firearms tight and fire away. Not tomorrow, but this evening. Let's show these dumbass guys why people call us the best presidents in the whole world. I think I've heard all of these somewhere else. Shut up, cunt. I literally said a part of it in our last mission. We will get back to your repeated speeches. But guys, I think we're here already. And as you can see, we have been spotted. So, there's not much time to waste unless we do not like our lives. Let the operation wipe them clean begin. We know the drill, guys. 
Every breathing object gets a bullet or fire, any one of the two, we are good to go. Trump is taking the lead. That's right. Always ahead, unlike the two of you who must rig your way to the top. Here we go again. Donald will never pass up an opportunity to cry over an election he lost more than three years ago. The same way you never get tired of wielding power that doesn't belong to you. Are we still focused on what we are here for? Or are we busy with something else? I'm literally still leading the battle line, and I'm about to burn these motherfuckers down. Unlike you, I can multitask, and trust me, I do it well. But Donald, why did you park the vehicle far away and cause us to walk this long distance? Are we any different from the biblical Israelites? Given the current war in Israel, but Biden, I think that is a rather sensitive remark to make. I hope no one cancels us. Anyway, you are right about the distance. I wonder what Grumpy Trump's plan is. I have just one plan. Wipe this place clean without sustaining any casualties. And trust me, we need to catch them unaware. Going in with that vehicle would make us vulnerable to their attacks. Well, Trump has a point with that, too. I always have a point. You two are just too dull to catch up with my thinking process, especially old Joe, who is already suffering from chronic dementia. Have you been talking with my family, doctor? I don't need to. The symptoms are written all over you. If care is not taken, you can drop face first to the floor in the middle of this mission. Another example, do you remember the last name of Jill before you married her? Here, hold on, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Seems Trump is winning this one. I swear I know it. Trump must have jinxed me with some voodoo to make a point or something. I need to call Jill to confirm if my answer is correct. Pick up your damn phone and you will lose concentration. You know what happens to soldiers who lose their concentration on the battlefield? Don't worry, I will purchase the choicest coffin for you from my pocket. Guys, today is special day. Greatest hits in one video. Last 10 episodes of Trump and his elves playing GTA 5. Enjoy it. Wow. Well, this video is going to be our most viewed, I think, as our last adventures were crazy as fuck. Hey, Sleepy, they say laughter is the best medicine, so get ready for a dose of Trump humor. Yeah, but you know, your jokes are like your casinos, a gamble that rarely pays off Trumpy. Happy Joe, I've mastered the art of the deal, and this compilation is a deal you won't want to miss. But before video, I want to thank our viewers for amazing support and comments. Guys, thank you for every like and comment you leave on our videos. I can only say one thing for now. Grab your ice creams and let's watch this compilation from last 10 GTA 5 episodes together. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. Ha 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 ha. Melania, darling, get ready for a surprise adventure today. We're going on a little outing. Trump, a surprise adventure. Where are we going? Oh, uh, come on, darling. You know, I love keeping things mysterious. But here's the deal. We're meeting up with the gang for something thrilling and off the charts exciting. Trump, you know, I like to be prepared. Is it something dangerous? Dangerous. Nah, just a bit of off-road racing fun. Picture this rugged terrain, stunning scenery, and a whole lot of adrenaline. It's going to be an absolute blast. Off-road racing? Trevor, you're kidding, right? You promised no more crazy stuff. Oh, sweetheart, this is different. Besides, it's not just us guys this time. Obama and Biden will be there with their wives. Michelle and Jill are joining in too. Michelle and Jill, they're joining in this madness? Yep, it'll be like a big family adventure. We will have the time of our lives. I hope you're not planning anything too wild, Trevor. Remember what happened last time? Deal. I'll make sure everyone stays safe. This is going to be epic, trust me. Now I just got to call Obama and Biden to make sure they're already. I don't want to waste any time. Today's a special day. Donald, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Michelle and Jill. It's been a while. Yeah, that'd be good catch. I miss the boys already. We had so much fun last week. I miss spending time with the girls. Michelle and I always had these interesting conversations. Well, you know, they did have a certain chemistry. Always good for the cameras. It's more than that, Donald. Michelle and Jill are intelligent and engaging. I admire their strength. Michelle's strength? Yeah, I admire it too. Dude's fucking strong as an ox doing CrossFit while balancing the weight of the world on its shoulder. I bet no wonder Obama never goes home late. Why did you say that? It's not acceptable. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. But no kidding, she got some serious guns. Looks like she's been sculpting those arms since birth. Well, I think they are lovely, maybe. I've been considering it. I wouldn't mind having arms like hers, just a bit of plastic surgery. You know, I have a better idea. Melania, hit the fucking gym. We have a personal gym, for heaven's sake, make use of it. That's a lot of work. I want something quick and effective. Women, those plastic surgeries are stupid. Look at your face, Melania. You can't even take a smile. Hey, you are the one who might want to consider hitting the gym, you know. Uh-huh. Well, let's just say your body could use a bit of reduction and some sexy abs if you catch my drift.
Are you saying I'm fat? No, not fat, just uh, generously proportioned. But seriously, working out can do wonders. Get you all toned and fit, like these guys on this GQ magazine. Ooh, they are so hot. Trust me, it's worth it. You feel better, look better, and maybe avoid becoming a human beach ball. Shut up, woman. Don't embarrass me. What is? Well, hello, lady and gentlemen. Fuck you. Can't blame me, Michelle. Nice arms, by the way. Trump, cut it. Can you tell us why the fuck you assembled us in the middle of the night, Donald? I was just having a good nap. Yes, and I like watching Joe sleep. I knew it. Hey, watch it. What now, grumpy Trumpy? Not only are you sleepy Joe, but you even married to sleepy Jill. Don't talk like that to my husband. Everyone needs to sleep, Donald. The thing is, Trump is an embryo that hasn't left the fetus stage, and he doesn't know how to live. Ouch. Blah, blah, blah. I need to find a perfect car for today. Yeah. This is a perfect one. It's got to handle the rough roads without any hiccups. But I don't think it's going to fit us all. Whatever, I don't care. What were you saying about me, Biden? Would an embryo do this? Holy shit. Fuck out. Yeah, that's right. Next time, you should think before mumbling a single word, Sleepy Joe. That applies same to you, Sleepy Jill. Are you sick in the head or something? Donald. Did I hear you talk, Manel? That's what I thought so. And what's this guard doing here? Hey, bro, can't you see this is a family meeting? Get the fuck out of here. You should tell your mama to teach you some manners. Donny, can you please stop the constant feuding and try to avoid unnecessary conflicts? It's not worth all this trouble. All right for you, but if anyone messes with me again. So, Trump, you haven't told us where you're taking us. A little bit of an off-road adventure. Off-road adventure. Yes, Michelle. Biden and Jill, are you comfortable back there? <laughs> yeah, well, don't be. What the heck, Trump, you bitch. I know you did that on purpose. Are you Oconee? I never intended any of this to happen to you, baby. Really, Trump, stop embarrassing us. Do you know who you are carrying? I don't care, Obama. If you feel embarrassed, feel free to jump the fuck out like Jill and Joe. Oh, please. You think you can rattle me that easily? I've been through worse situations, you put us- You sure about that, Joe? You two nearly flew out like a bird escaping its cage. Let's not make a habit of it. I've got a country to run, you know? So, how are Malaya and Sasha doing, Michelle? I hope they're doing well. They're thriving, Jill. Malia's navigating college life like a pro, and Sasha's a master at juggling high school drama and academics. They're both doing great, Jill. How about Bo and Hunter? Ashley's diving into the world of fashion, creating her style statements, and Hunter has been quite the go-getter. He's had his hands in various endeavors, exploring different avenues Watch in Trump. his career. Oh, Joe, taking credit for everything now, are we? Next, you'll say you taught them both to tie their shoes. Well, if the shoe fits... Hold up, wait, wait. Did Joe say his kids take after his athleticism? That must be a joke, right? Sleepy Joe can't attempt a two-stair climb without turning into a human kazoo. Well, for Hunter, what's he go? Getting another grade of the Colombian white stuff. Donald Trump, you are the most, most corrupt human being I've ever seen. Me, have you seen yourself? And Ivanka is almost a carbon copy of her father. Only her voice is softer. Keep my beautiful daughter out of this sleepy Joe. Our beautiful. Joining daddy on trips and acting like she belonged there. It was sort of like taking your fucking secretary to a fucking convention in Vegas while the wives at home with the kids. That's fucked up. Behaving like she belonged, especially when she was obviously snubbed, was a pathetic thing to watch. Shut the fuck up, you old geezer. Ivanka can be a bitch sometimes, but you don't get to talk about her that way. Why don't you come and quiet me down? Uh, Joe, Jill is with you there. She should quiet you down. Yeah, Joe, did you remember to carry your dementia pills? Oh, wait, you never remember anything? You know, Joe, I've been thinking. Uh, whenever you start a conversation like that, I know I'm in for it. What's on your mind, Jill? Well, it's about you. Me? Should I be worried? No, no, nothing like that. I just wanted to say how much I love you. Phew, for a moment there, I thought I was in trouble. Oh, you're always in trouble, but it's the kind of trouble I love. Your big heart, your goofy jokes, they're all a part of why I fell for you. Ah, uh, the power of my jokes. They won you over, didn't they? Bad timing, Jill. You should say this kind of stuff when you're all alone or in the, in the bedroom or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And anyway, look, we have arrived at our destination. Donald, uh, are you sure this is just a regular off-road tour? Absolutely, Michelle. We're just going to explore some rough terrain and enjoy the great outdoors. It looks more like a race to me, Donald. Oh, don't you worry, Jill. 
It's just a scenic route with a bit of speed, nothing too extreme. I don't think this is what we signed up for, Donald. Are you sure it's safe? Trust me, Melania, it's going to be tremendous. You'll love it. Besides, a little bit of friendly competition never hurt anybody. Donald, slow down a bit, please. Don't worry, Melania. I've got this. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, shit. What just happened? Everyone all right? Anyone hurt? We're OK, just a bit shaken up. Well, that was too close for comfort. OK, let's get back to the race. I don't think any of our first ladies signed up for extreme cliff diving today. Hey, hey, where is Joe and Jill? Maybe they decided to stay in the bushes for some hanky-panky. Oh, dear. All right, folks, the others have left us, and now we are in the last position. But we're gearing up for a stunning comeback. Yes, Donald, because the view from the back was just so scenic. We want an encore. Absolutely. We're aiming for a dramatic entrance at the finish line this time like slow motion heroes. That's right. We'll show them the art, patience, and precision driving. Oh, yes, because taking the scenic route is clearly our specialty. We're strategizing, assholes. Letting others take the lead is just our way of keeping them on their toes. Of course, Donald, they won't know what hit them when they see us approaching at a snail space. Remember, it's not about speed. It's about the suspense we're creating for everyone else. We're the masters of suspense, making the others wonder if we're even in the race. Absolutely, Trump. We'll make the grand finale so dramatic. They'll be talking about it for years. Mark my words. Next time, we'll strategically position ourselves to lead from the rear. Yes, Donald, because being the dark horses is our winning strategy. Let's make a pact to savor every moment of the race and give others the thrill of overtaking us. That's the spirit, Barack. Let's be the one setting the pace from the rear view mirror. Now it's a look for Jill and Joe. Where could those fuckwits be? Found them. Jill is everything. All right, you seem a bit disoriented. Oh, Barack. Thank goodness you're here. Joe and I came here for a romantic stroll, but he got carried away trying to find the perfect spot. Lost in the pursuit of a picturesque spot, huh? So Jill, how's everything been going lately? Oh, you know, keeping busy. But sometimes I just need moments like this amidst nature. So I completely understand. Finding solace in these quiet moments is important. It's always refreshing to take a break from the hustle and bustle. Sure, Obama. What the fuck is wrong with this fuckwit? Doesn't this bitch know the fucking road rules? Let that fool gain up some weight by carrying all those bullets. This guy just wouldn't let up. He was asking for it. Donald violence isn't the solution. Donald, honey, getting into altercations won't solve anything. Exactly. Uh, Melania, sometimes the best response is no response. Reacting only escalates the situation. That's right, Donald, whatever they said. Reacting impulsively can create more problems. It's crucial to stay composed and not let anger... I know, I know. I'm not a friggin' kid, guys, so leave me the fuck alone. Are you blind, you damn orange head? Shut up, you 510 silverback gorilla. What did you just call Michelle? Well, fuck you, Trump lazy ass motherfucker. Do you know when the next Avengers movie drops by any chance, Michelle? I, s I don't know. Why would I know that? Oh, I thought the Hulk would know when the next movie drops. Damn. Hey, I'm not the Hulk. You bit like him. Hey, ladies, come on. Let's stop. Yeah. Let's slow down for a second. It's only one lady. Biden, you have been getting on my nerves this whole trip. Can you stop talking so that I can focus on evading these damn cops? And you, Obama, that's a whole stupid mag you have wasted on those damn police. Really, how bad is your aim? That we should ask Michelle. Isn't that right, Tasty Food? I knew you would say that fat ass. Biden, please get your hands of Michelle. What's happening there, Joe? Obama, you are so shitty. Were you just on top of my wife? Don't blame me. Blame Trump for driving on rocks. Hey, Melania, how's Ivanka? Oh, Ivanka is doing well. She's been keeping busy with her projects and spending time with her family. Thank you for asking, Joe. That's good to hear. She's quite accomplished and has been involved in various initiatives. How does she find managing it all? Does she need a man to take care of her? Not your average guy? A force of nature, a whirlwind of charisma, and raw talent? You are too old for Ivanka Biden. All right, Biden. That's the last straw. I can't believe I have to deal with you for hours on end. You are being so annoying right now. Why are you even talking about my daughter? She's so hot. We well, better stop talking before I see your wife tonight. Joe Biden, what is a Biden? Your name holds zero weight, Biden, so can you be quiet for once? I get that you might cheat on your wife, but no need to do it with my daughter. She is a married woman and will beat you up swiftly. I know for a fact you aren't talking Trump. You are an old man with a nice wife. She doesn't even deserve you. She deserves someone like Obama, young, charming, but instead she got a hothead. Shut up. 
How am I younger than both of you and I? Can keep my words to myself. You guys have zero filter, especially you Biden. Ah. Yes, eat that dust, Obama, for saying such words. Holy fuck. Trump, you are a maniac. I don't think even we can handle it. What do you mean, we? I am the best United States president in this car. Don't associate me with you guys. I understand you guys are both criminals who do some crazy thing. What have I done? Nothing. You just gave me a perfect response. Hussein, what have you done as a president? Nothing I've built a wall, I've made America. Great again, what have you or Biden done? I guess I created 11 million jobs, even though I think I'm the best president in this car. I can't lie, Donald. Joe has done nothing for this country. Those stimulus checks you handed out to the people were busy. Be quiet, Barack Hussein Obama. Your time has come and gone. It feels nice actually being on a road again. No bumpy rocks, and it's nice and warm in here. I can just fall asleep. I know who you remind me of, Biden. You remind me of Herbert from Family Guy? I know you watched that show. Can you guys shut up and let's ask the ladies who is the best president? Oh, Donald, you know that's a tricky question. Yes, Donald, it's like trying to pick the best flavor of ice cream. That everyone has their product. Did someone say ice cream? Absolutely, Michelle. Some prefer vanilla, others like a bit more excitement. That's right. Some might like Rocky Road over plain old vanilla. Come on, you must have a favorite, right? Well, Donald, the best president is clearly George Washington. Uh, the classic choice. The founding father always gets the nod in these conversations. Can't argue with the OG president. OK, OK, I see where this is going. But hey, you all have to admit, um, the best president. Donald, that's quite a bold statement. Well, the results speak for themselves. I did more in four years than most presidents did in two terms. Each presidency had its own set of accomplishments and challenges, Donald. Fuck the accomplishments and challenges. I don't care, I'm the big daddy Trump. You know, I'm proud of my time in office. We achieved some significant milestones, like passing the American Rescue Plan Act, the largest economic relief package in history. How do you even remember all of that? Don't you have dementia and Alzheimer kicked in? What a nice view we have of Los Santos from here. You're sure, Jill, unlike your face. I don't know how to tell you, but you'll have to walk home. What else can I say? It was great meeting all, and um, yeah, I hope, I hope you guys had some fun. Strap in, guys. I'm about to make driving great again. I hope you drive better than you tweet, Donald. And hopefully this ride has a better plan than your health care policy. Hey, is that the sound of your approval ratings? Folks, before we start, I want to ask you to tell us what else you want to see on the channel. Daily videos are tough, and our creativity is in high demand. What crazy adventures or showdowns do you want from the trio? Yeah, Dumpty is right. Your ideas could save us from more embarrassing moments. Drop your suggestions below. Now, I want to shout out to the person that knows the dark truth about Obama-rama. It's my boy Rags Muses 8765. He says, hey, Barack, if you're reading this, I want to say stop acting like you are the most sane, normal person in the gang. Joe and Trump are legit. You are a fake. Even if Barack read this, he won't agree, my friend. But we agree with you, he is shitty ass. Also, guys, please subscribe and help us to improve our analytics, as YouTube loves it. Yeah, Gumpty, you are right now. Let's move on, guys. He uh... Driving with you is like your presidency, Donald. Unpredictable and full of surprises. I've seen more controlled driving in bumper cars. Relax. I'm in the driver's seat, both in this car and, well, you know the rest. This is scarier than a press conference without a teleprompter. I guess this is what you call executive order on the road, huh? Donald, this isn't a political debate. Stay in your lane. If this ride had a slogan, it'd be make brakes great again. But don't worry, I've got the best driving. The best. At this point, I miss the calmness of the situation room. Next time, I'm taking the train or a horse. Anything else, really? At this rate, we'll need a presidential pardon for a joyride. Who needs roads when you have a Trump at the wheel? If I knew we were going off-road, I'd have brought my aviators. Who needs a runway when you've got Trump-style shortcuts? I hope this isn't how you bypass political protocols. They probably think it's Air Force One gone rogue. More like Air Force none, given your driving skills. Remember when the biggest thrill was a state dinner? You're grounded. I'm flying. Sorry, he thinks no entry signs are just suggestions. This is like that time you used Twitter. No plan, just action. Let's see if I can make helicopters great again, too. I thought my days of handling crises were over. Next time, I'm definitely calling shotgun. Or better yet, staying home. Who knew helicopters were easier to start than negotiations? 
Looks like your escape plan is about as solid as your foreign policy. They're shooting at us. This is worse than a press briefing gone wrong. I faced tough negotiations, but this is something else. I said I'd shake things up, didn't I? Yeah, with gunfire, apparently. How hard can this be? It's just like a golf swing, right? If this is like your golf, we're in for a rough ride. Feels like I'm back in the action movie business. I prefer diplomacy over diehard simulations. See, I told you I could make it fly. Let's just hope we land better than your casino ventures. Next time, let's just stick to motorcades. Flying is just like running a country. A little turbulence is expected. This is more nerve wracking than an election night. At least in the Oval Office, the only thing spinning out of control was your Twitter feed. Hold on, I've almost got the hang of this. I think I preferred your boardroom firings to this. Never thought I'd miss the calm of a G7 summit. Look, competition, let's show them who's boss. This isn't The Apprentice, don't. It's real life. I hope they're friendlier than your debate opponents. Was that us or them? Hard to tell, but let's assume it's not a welcome party. I thought my Secret Service days were behind me. They can't handle Trump at the controls. Right now, I'm not sure any of us can. Just when I thought retirement would be peaceful. See, even in the air, they can't escape the Trump effect. This isn't a reality show, it's real life. And we're in midair. I'd say, yes, we can. But right now, I'm thinking, no, we shouldn't. They're just like the media. Can't handle the truth or my flying. Looks like your administration isn't the only thing going up in smoke. I always wanted to leave a mark, but not as a skywriting smoke trail. Let's give them a closer look at Trump's art of the deal. How about we don't and say we did? I'm all for reaching across the aisle, but this is a bit too literal. They think they can outfly Trump? Watch this. I've seen better ideas in a room full of interns. Remember when the biggest risk was a hot mic? Hold on, this is gonna be huge. I'm starting to miss the days of policy debates. Next time, I'll take the bus, or walk. Brace yourselves, gentlemen. We're about to make a presidential landing. Is it too late to call for an air rescue? Maybe a nice safe drone? I'm starting to miss the days when my biggest worry was the national debt ceiling, not the actual ceiling. Just like in business, it's all about the landing. And I always land on my feet. Feet, sure. But what about the rest of us? Here's hoping this landing is smoother than your transition team. And that, gentlemen, is how you make an entrance. Or an exit. Depends on your perspective. Next time, let's stick to something less. Airborne. I've had State of the Union addresses that were less nerve-wracking than this. I think we've just redefined executive travel. I'll take the train next time. Or maybe a nice leisurely walk. I think the Secret Service is going to have a field day with this one. But you can't keep a good pilot down. Time for round two. I must have missed the part where we signed up for a sequel. Let's hope this flight is less reality TVs and more documentary. It's like a game of aerial chess, and I'm always a few moves ahead. Feels more like checkers or Russian roulette. Let's just aim for no. Checkmate scenarios, OK? They thought they saw the last of us. Surprise. The only surprise I want right now is a safe landing. You know, I prefer diplomatic negotiations to mid-air dogfights. Enough cat and mouse. Let's chart our own course. I was hoping that course led back to solid ground. Uncharted territory, huh? Feels like deja vu. See? Sometimes you just have to fly straight to get where you're going. I'm all for straight paths, especially when they lead home. Straight paths are great, as long as they don't lead to impeachment hearings. This is how you make a statement. By air, land, or Twitter. Let's stick to Twitter for the next statement, OK? Or maybe a press release. Those are nice and grounded. Let's give them a closer look at Trump Airlines. I don't think this is what they mean by friendly skies. Maybe we should stick to diplomatic airspace. It's all about the element of surprise, and I'm full of surprises. Surprises are for birthdays, not mid-air maneuvers. Looks like they can't handle the heat. I was hoping for a quiet retirement, not action movie stunts. Let's not add aerial combat to our resumes just yet. I think we've made our point, Donald. And hopefully not international headlines. They say the third time's the charm. I think the first time was charm enough. I'm starting to miss the simplicity of vetoing bills. You can run, but you can't hide from Trump. I'm not sure this is covered by the presidential oath. Definitely not covered by the Secret Service protocol. Time for a little game of aerial tag. You're it. I preferred tag on the ground. Much safer. This isn't quite the high road I was accustomed to. Looks like they're not fans of close encounters. Can't say I blame them. I'm not a fan of this one either. Close encounters of the Trump kind. Always unpredictable. That's how you make a pass in politics and in the air. I'm starting to miss the days of debate passes. Fast passes are for theme parks, not helicopters. Never let it be said that Trump retreats. 
I think a strategic retreat might be wise about now. In diplomacy, sometimes the retreat is as important as the advance. Just adding my personal touch. I preferred your personal touch on Twitter, less airborne. I'm all for leaving a mark, but preferably not in midair. Just another day in the life of Trump. High flying and headline making. How about we make today's headline? Safe landing achieved. Four retired presidents survive aerial adventures works too. Let's show them some real Trump turbulence. I thought turbulence was a bad thing. And air travel and politics, it usually is. Ever heard of Trump's razor sharp tactics? Time for a demonstration. I thought razor sharp referred to wits, not helicopter blades. Wits would certainly be safer right now. That's cutting it close. Trump style. Too close. Can we vote on these maneuvers? I don't recall this being on the ballot. Looks like they're going down. Another Trump victory. Can we declare victory from the ground next time? Preferably from a secure conference room. At least he's safe. Small mercies. Let's make sure our exit is less dramatic. Just a little Trump detour. Next time, let's stick to the highway rules. Any rules, really. Smooth landing despite a few hiccups. Next time, I'm voting for a no-fly zone. Let's check the other helicopter. Hasta la vista, baby. Watch out, Donald. Learn to drive, you stupid ass. Says the man who just flew a helicopter like a rodeo bull. Joe, let's finish this shit already. Look out. <laughs> uh, not again. My back, I think I've been cursed by tagging with you, Trump. Time to take charge, as usual. Let's just make sure we beat the crap out of them before taking any more charge. That sure is some mess. Time to run away from this shit. What a day. It's like a scene from an action movie. The time to fly the friendly skies. Trump style. No one dies here, Donald. We will only sustain casualties if we turn against ourselves. And I don't see that happening. Despite having our differences, I think we make a rock solid team. Oh my goodness, this place is so big. I'm dying to know who controls this place and what it is all about. Are they smuggling cocaine? Oh, maybe ammunition. This looks like a fucking city. You cannot be more correct. Looks like the headquarters of a cult group. But again, the less we know, the better. I care less what it is about. It should be your worry, Biden. As the president of the United States, it's shocking to find this undiscovered gem in the center of the biggest city you govern. Well, we are serving justice ourselves already then. Plus, don't play the blame game, Obama-rama. These guys didn't get there yesterday. With the look of things, they've been here for decades, most likely since when you too were the president. You know, you cannot say that about me. I dare you to mention the best president the United States of America has ever had if you won't mention my name. You two seem to be absent-minded and leaving me to do all the shooting. I'm beginning to reconsider the benefits I derive from working with you guys. Liabilities are assets. Look behind you and see how many rebels I and Obama have taken down. You mentioned something about multitasking earlier. Exactly, that's what we were doing. Moreover, the conversation is an exciting one. Not sure if you want to weigh in. Navigating this place without a map makes it more challenging. I'm not sure if you both noticed, but I have entered a particular hut more than twice. I have the same issue too, but I guess it is what it is. We just have to forge ahead, check around thoroughly, and be sure we've done the right thing. It's right, I think we should split so we can cover more distance very quickly. I don't think that is an intelligent idea. Our strength lies in being together. Let's take it a step at a time. Biden is right, there is no need for a rush. More importantly, we can only hear the sirens of the cops, but they cannot locate us. That alone is good news. I thought as much, these guys definitely have an escape route. More work, guys. None of them must escape. Otherwise, our sources are still in danger. We must wipe them clean. Taking better positions, shit just got tougher. I hope you don't sleep off in that position, Biden. To be honest, my eyes are heavy already. I guess I'm not just used to staying out this late anymore. Don't be understand, Joe. Old age syndrome can be really devastating. I wasn't even thinking in that direction. Safe to say I was thinking on your behalf then. What do you think about putting this whole place on fire? Doing that will prevent anyone from escaping. The flames will attract the cops and they will locate us in no time. Let's continue with bringing the huts down one after the other. That way the flames won't be so thick and attention grabbing in the skies. I've seen multiple church-like structures here. Do criminals worship too? Do you go to church every Sunday, Joe? Yeah, once in a while. What does that have to do with what I said? It is as clear as glass. Barrick says you are a criminal, but you still go to church. So why should these guys be any different? Fuck you, Vama Rama. How do you mean I am equally a criminal? Can we talk about your money laundry scandals? <laughs> that is definitely a blow below the belt for Biden. 
you are knocking him out really badly and making him look helpless in front of the camera. Biden, the point is we all are criminals one way or the other. That doesn't restrict us from visiting our religious centers to worship. In the end, we all will return six feet below the soil and bait our loved ones. And those who survived our evil's goodbye. No one is a saint. Mm -hmm. That's why I call you the breathing robot. Those are some brilliant nuggets right there. I hope cocaine sleeping Joe understands anyway. But above that, come look over here, guys. I have a brain, and yes, I completely understand. I guess we may never be able to wipe these guys out thoroughly. This place is bigger than the imagination of the three of us combined. I'm beginning to think so too, but surely our attack today would delay them from any operation they've scheduled tomorrow. So yeah, that sounds like a win-win situation for us. We just have to try our maximum best and hope it leaves your sources happy. But this task right here isn't only risky, but also looks bigger than our capacity. Having a helicopter would have been our best bet. Imagine dropping endless rounds of magazines up from the sky and watching them scamper for safety haphazardly. I will call that a rain of bullets. <laughs> What's up with that psychopathic laughter, Biden? I think we need to be more careful around you. The more we kill, the more rebels we see. Let's just burn them as much as we can. To hell with whatever the cops want to do with the information. We can always prepare for them, or can't we? Yes, we can. We can continue shooting until tomorrow and we won't be done with these guys. In the end, we will have our bullets to suffer for it. The only thing that would happen is our confirmed victory. We need to be optimistic more than ever at this point. Count me in. Let us make a final tour around this place to confirm everything is just as we want it. Be careful not to get yourselves burnt anyway. And with that, I guess we are rounding off for today. But as we predicted, the cops are right at the entrance waiting for us. I guess the flames tipped them off just as grumpy Trump predicted. To hell with them. Let them chase us and catch us if they can. Onward always. Wait, I think there are some unfinished businesses trooping out ahead. I bet they wanted to catch us unaware. These guys are really looking like aliens. Again, I wonder what their activities are up on this mountain. I haven't seen any landing space for helicopters. I would have concluded they are smuggling ammunition or trafficking kids. From all indications, this looks like a war preparation zone. It doesn't belong to the government or any private security organization I know of. So it is definitely an illegal site. That begs the question, what business does your source have with these rebels? Does that imply your sources are into illegal activities too? Are we here legally? One more question, Barrack. Did you invade the Middle East legally? Oh, maybe killing Gaddafi invading Libya was legal. False allegations, but here is definitely not the best place to debunk it. Don't be surprised if I file a legal action against you in the near future anyway. You cannot scare me with the law. I've been here more than once. Now we are heading back to where it all began. How do we go past that parked vehicle? Hijacking shouldn't be a bad idea. We pretend we are cops too until we get to a safe place. That's a death penalty, you know, right? This isn't the Second World War era. Moreover, no one would find out. That's our best shot at going down this hill safely. Hop into the car, guys. We need to think smarter now than ever. Look ahead. There is a helicopter roaming to one more minute here and we are fucked. I don't think there are any other motorable exits apart from where we came in from Donald. Reverse and let's face our fears instead of running from it. Keep your heads low, guys. I will speed off and jump off the cliff to connect to the next bridge ahead. You may want to say your last prayers too anyway. Melania, I love you so much. I'm not saying no last prayers. I wonder what has come over you that's turning you into a frightened coward. Come over me. Nah, I'm as strong as ever. I was just looking out for the both of you. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Holy shit. That was some scary roller coaster. I wonder why this car isn't in flames yet. That crash was heavy. And we were almost connecting to the bridge. Just a little more acceleration and we could have been safer. Let's get the hell out of here before those bastards find us beside their ruined vehicle. I just want to get home. You know, sometimes I wonder if my shell millennia and Jill also execute missions like this when we aren't around them. What about we invite them to one of our episodes? Will that not be too much of a risk to take? Closing Michelle to so many bullets at a time is a no-no for me. Count me out is a- Let's see what the viewers think of that idea. I think it would be more fun. Guys, let us know in the comment section if you want to see Michelle, Melania, and Jill join us on our next episode. Fred Biden, I promise you 20 kilograms of Colombian white powder and 2,000 bucks if our viewers agree to this idea. You can take out the money. Stake 50 kilograms, and we will have a bet. No one is gifting any cocaine, and neither is any bet taking place. You two are just irredeemable adults. I bet the comment section is on fire already. So there we have it. 
a major road. Not as challenging as I thought descending this hill would be. Same here, silently, I thought at least one of us wouldn't make it. But as the older one here, I had to be brave for us all. I'll be driving us all home this time. I bet you all wives would be surprised to see me. Maybe this would be my little way of apologizing to both of them for ruining their evenings. Doing this again with you guys is really fun. I cannot wait for the next mission. Who is anchoring next, Biden or Donald? Anyone is fine with me. What matters is grand success. The driving this slow is boring and tiring. What about we switch it up a bit? Being a responsible citizen for once shouldn't be that challenging. Or is it? Being slow is normal, and truly normal is boring. Don't worry, you are safe on the trunk. It's been an eventful day, guys. Subscribe. Hey, fellas. Move out of the way. I'm going to get us a car. We're going on an adventure. Do you just say an adventure? What kind of adventure? Yes, Donald. An adventure. A fun-filled and amazingly dangerous one. You in? If this adventure won't get us killed, I'm in, fellas. Come on, Trump. Don't be a buzzkill. Even the old man wants an adventure. Well, far be it from me to ruin all the fun. Let's do it, fellas. Great. I will talk to this lady. Hey, lady, my fellow comrades and I need a car for a national project. Nah, I'm not giving you my car. If I will, you have to do five sit-ups, and that's for implanting policies that affected Americans negatively. What the hell is this man doing to get a car? He could have threatened her or applied a little force. Violence is not always the answer. A little diplomacy has its magic. I don't expect a Republican to know that anyway. You can have the car now, and please do not wreck the car. Hey, fellas, get into the car. Let's go have some fun. I will never understand why you humiliate yourself to get a car. Trump lost at the poll because he could not take the win by force. He loses whatever he can have by force. Shut up, old man, and get into the back seat. Are you sure you can drive this thing, or should I take over? This is my show, Trump. You ain't stealing this from me. Yes, and taking things by force. He would have been an armed robber if he was not a president. Barack, you were driving too slow. Can you step on the gas a little more? Can you spare me your cheap limericks? You talk too damn much, Donald. Get the hell out of the way. This is a matter of urgency, you idiot. I knew it. You can't be trusted with important things, as we could not trust you with America's economy. Enough bickering. Can we focus on the adventure? Sure, we can do that as soon as everyone knows their place. I don't like going on missions when Barack is in charge. Why did you take this turn? There is a route here. It is an adventure, remember? Can you stop or reverse? It seems we are short of road. Damn, you are going to get us killed. Trust me, guys, I know what I am doing. Not like I do not trust you, but I doubt if my back will heal from this fracture. I'm way too old for this kind of adventure. I suppose this is the plan you have. Like, this is the best you can do. Wow, isn't that awesome? You're still breathing. Told you I know what I'm doing. Your incompetence could have us killed, you idiot. I'm not gonna fight you, Trump. Come, guys, we have to destroy this car. Make it look worse, like no one could have survived the crash. Stay alert, enemies could be anywhere. I'm going to scout the place. Hope your legs are not as weak as your brain, old man. My legs and brain are more reliable than your hair, dickhead. Concentrate on this mission and do your best not to ruin it, because that's what you know how to do best. Hey guys, we have to use the tractor. I will go in now and set things up. I thought you said we have to be discreet. What part of using a tractor is discreet? So like I said earlier, you guys have to trust me. No worries, use your legs, I will go with this. See you guys on payday. Can't we find an alternative? Don't worry guys, I will lead. You guys follow the tractor as an escort. What the hell are you doing, Barack? Driving a tractor like you are in a Formula One competition. I thought you said we were going to use it as a shield. Common guys, can't you see the road is sloppy? Run faster, I can't stop here. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna hijack a car from one of these unsuspecting civilians. I got you guys. So sorry, man. I'm going to be needing one of your cars. Hey, you get out of that car now. Who are you to tell me what to do? This is America, dude. You can't tell me what to do. Hey guys, I need a little help down here. This guy must be an MMA or UFC fighter. Come on guys, let's use this up VI. It will be very good for our little adventure. Fish it, there is no gas in this car. We have to take another one. Can we just ask politely the same way you asked from the lady at the store? The mission is getting intense, old man. We need to apply force. People only comply when there is a show of force. Barack, you are a perfect definition of failure. You have not done anything right since morning, yet you are the one leading us on an adventure. You're a narcissist bastard. That serves you, right? Burning fire of flames, loser. Hey, Barack, are your legs still fit to walk or do you need help standing up? Because it seemed that man got you pretty bad. I'm a civil man. I didn't want to go ballistic with him. Do you have an eye injury or brain damage? It is me, Trump. You just ran into me like you were trying to kill me, you fool. Sorry, I mistook you for another person because of your hair. 
Do you mind cutting your hair or changing the style? Just get us out of here, you idiot. And next time, don't ever invite me on an adventure like this. That's all right, Trump, I'm on it. Yeah, guys, hop in and let's get out of here. This vehicle isn't good enough. I will go look for another vehicle that won't give us a problem. I have an idea, guys. For the love of God, why are we stopping again? I need to make a statement that you don't mess with Barack. I have to destroy all these cars. Get back in the car, guys, let's get out of here. Finally, let's leave this hellhole. It is making me sick in the stomach. And why is this car moving like Biden's development, plan for America? We need to get off this road, but not so fast. Let's take a chill pill till the cars on the road have exploded. So, this is your grand plan. How do we leave this place without leaving a mark behind? Leaving a mark behind is my plan. These suckers need to know they messed with the wrong person. This is the guy who got his ass whooped by civilians multiple times. I can't believe you ruled America twice. No wonder I inherited a mess. Hey man, what on earth are you doing on the road? Joe, please do something before Barack gets beaten the third time. Who said, I can't handle this one. Come on guys, we have to keep moving. I think I will buy the idea of ransacking a store for relief materials. This adventure is more difficult th than I thought. If we are gonna die here, let's not die on empty stomach. This is a store, not a charity home. You have to pay, man. That serves you right, bastard. All right, guys, let's pick a few things and get out of here. I need to destroy that alarming system. The guys, prepare to engage. There is a situation outside already. The more cycle freaks are outside. No worries, I say, we show them how we do it. Don't worry, Joe. I'm giving you massive support from here. I will cover you. Step out, Joe. Nah, man, I can't risk it. There are a lot of these freaks here already, and it's raining bullets everywhere. Let's shoot and take cover until we are able to go out. Forget that. I will step out. Hey, Trump, can you cover me? I will look for a way to get us out of here. Joe, I thought you said there are a lot of them out here. Your sight is as blurry as your vision, your America. Shut up, idiot. There were a lot of them earlier. I think Trump got most of them. Yes, man. Like always, you can trust me to do the greater evil for the greater good of all. Hey, guys, I think we are clear. You both can come out. I will cover you. Biden, how are your legs doing? Do you need help working? There is a car here. I will get to it. We can use it to get out of here now. Come on, fellas. Are your shoes heavy? I'm in, Brack. Let's get out of here. Finally, Barack is stepping up his game. Biden, can you do us all a favor since you are at the front? Do not spare any of those freaks. Make it rain bullets on them. You two can't dine the fact that I have a better aim despite my old age. Yeah, take some bullets. It's Republican payday. Hey, Barack, you are driving off the radar again. Are you trying to get us killed? Pretty sure your two daughters know how terrible their father's driving skill is. Barack, what's wrong today? You take two steps towards and 10 steps backward. Hope all is well between you and Michelle. I will appreciate it if you two can leave my wife's name out of your mouth. Thank you. She is not here on this mission and she has nothing to do with the bad roads. Your wife or husband? RJAS, the bad road is not an excuse for your reckless driving skill. Wow. This car is sturdy and more reliable than Barack's promises. After that reckless flying and landing, the car is still standing firm. I told you all that I got you covered, but you guys don't have any faith in me. I think you have enough faith for us all, just like you believe so much in your administration, yet you produce two terms of failure. I did better as a president than you and Trump, but what's an argument for another day? We need to get back to the paved road so we can have a smooth drive. It is really amazing. Now you can brag about your 10 years of failure in government right on pilot. We are with you on this one. Are you sure Barack is not on crack? Why are you driving so recklessly like we are mortals? We have a very old man on this team. Have you been paid to assassinate the president of the United States? First of all, guys, I'm still here and I can hear you both perfectly. Oh, really? I thought you dozed off already. Old age sucks. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Finally, he's able to get something done correctly. I almost thought the guy would whooping his ass like the first two civilians did. Come on, guys. It is not the time for bickering. This is a dangerous war zone. Get into the car. Let's get out of this car and show them who we truly are. Trump, channel all your hatred for the Republican into your rifle and shoot these motherfuckers like they are members of Al-Qaeda. This is the part I love most in our adventure. When everything descends into chaos, don't forget who you are. Barack, don't just shoot aimlessly. Shoot with precision. I wonder how you shoot your shot with Michelle. Come on, guys. Let's keep moving. The more we kill them, the more they reinforce. We have to get out of here. Follow my lead. We must take cover, Joe. I need you to just hang in there a little more. This is almost over. I hate it when you say that statement. It means that we are up for doom. I've gotten us through the day. 
I can get us through the night. If we stick together, we will get out of this. We should get out of here now and fast. Finally, we are leaving this shithole. What a relief in my heart. Last time I felt this was the day Trump was voted out of office. Keep shut, old man. I'm still coming for the mandate you stole. Barack, if there was any time you needed to drive like a maniac, now is the time. Step on the gas like Michelle's tithies. Uh, shut your dirty mouth up, have some character, dickhead, that's my wife, and you will respect her. These bastards won't let us get out of here in one piece. They're still shooting at us from behind. Trump, can you do something to help from the front? You know, Biden, there is nothing I can do. We just have to trust our pilot's maniac driving skills to get us out of here. Hopefully, he won't fail us like he failed America. Can you be quiet for a moment? I didn't fail Americans. I did what I had to do. Your driving skill is as worse as your leadership skill. You suck at both. It's a miracle. We are still alive. Joe, are you still breathing back there? I'm just trying to get us out of this hostile territory. I'm going to bring down this thing with explosives. Happy Independence Day, America. Joe, are you doing OK there? You need help? You look tired already. And you've been unexpectedly silent. What's going on with you? Come, guys, we have to keep moving before we are overwhelmed. Here we go again. We are up for another nasty situation. Let's get out of here, guys. We have to disengage some of them before we move. So we will not be hindered, Joe. Can you still shoot? You have to do it like your life depends on it, because it actually does. So let's make it rain a little then. You both can serve them the bullets while I drive us out of here. Whatever you do, don't stop shooting. And don't just shoot old man, shoot with precision. It's the only way to ensure we get out of this alive. Madra that. I'm still the best shooter today. No one has come closer to my record today. Not even the redhead man, Trump. But guys, be prepared. Seems a car is trying to catch up with us. It might be the enemies. If they come any closer again, we make it rain, fire, and dust on them. We should get off the road. We can be easily tracked if we keep going that route. Whatever we do, let's remain in this car. Barack, please do not wreck this car, at least not here. Let's get out of here before you completely damage the car. Treasure that, man. Don't worry. I won't let you guys down. Your promise and failure seem like a broken record already. Just do your best without promising us. Is this place better than the road? There seems to be no difference to me. And on the road, we have a better chance of escaping. I have a plan. We are all getting out of here alive, including you, Biden. Unlike others, I don't abandon the weak soldier. Oh, are you referring to the Republican man? I thought you don't like night missions. What has changed, Barack? Yes, I do. But I can't make excuses for not saving America when I have the chance to do so. And Michelle is fine. She is in agreement with me on this mission. Amazing. Someone is finally taking responsibility. That's a good change. This is the kind of change America needs, not the one they have got. Congrat, guys. We have a legion of police fans on our trail. My guess is they are not police officers, but enemies. I say we open fire once they come close. Yes, guys. Let's take care of them once and for all. I will get my rifle and make it rain. We should take their vehicle. It should be faster. That's a nice idea. They won't recognize it anymore once Barack is done with it. I'm going to launch this big rifle on the course. You want some, take it. Right on, Barack. Unleash hell on them all. Let them regret the day they took this job. Let them curse the day their mothers birthed them into this world. Let's take their car and get out of here. Damn it, Barack. We are used to your reckless driving style. Just get us out of here intact. I still have an office to resume, people to govern. I need to be in good shape once I'm out of here. Hold on tight, guys. We are in the hills. Once we get out of here, we will have a smooth ride. You don't need to pacify us, man. We are adapting to your style. What an adventurous day. You promised us an adventure, and you delivered it through this mission. Man, why not get out of here live first before you give appraisal? Regardless, it has been a while since we had this kind of adventure. Thank you, Joe, for the compliment. It means a lot. I'm not giving you a compliment, you magnanimous fool. Get us home alive. I have got an- I thought I was the sarcastic one. Who is more sarcastic now? Nice to see two Democrats turning against one another. Hey man, this is a bridge, one bad drive, and we are swimming in the ocean. Whatever you do, drive with caution on this bridge. We do not have life jackets here. Iraq inside the water. I can't swim, man. And to think I told you before now, you may qualify to be the dumbest president the US ever had. Stop talking and get out of the car, old man. Thank goodness it is not a deep river. Just follow the flow of the water. You won't have a problem doing that. Don't ever invite me to this kind of adventure again, ever. I would rather suck out the Mississippi with a straw than join on a mission like this next time. Just say less, old man. We are almost out of the water. You should thank God you are still alive. It was almost like you were the target today. 
Come on, guys, we have to keep moving. There should be another vehicle around here. Let's get it and get out here. You have wrecked more vehicles than you wrecked America's economy. Hey, old man, get into the back of the vehicle. I need to keep an eye on the road for Barack. I don't trust him with the wheels. Get into the back or we leave without you. Barack, start the engine. Screw you too. After all we have been through together, are you gonna leave me here? I have said it over and over again. I do not like undertaking missions at night, but you two seem to be the weapon fashioned against me and my loving wife, Michelle. Emergencies are inevitable. Obama-rama, let's hear what Biden has to say. Why are we out here at this ungodly hour? Old sleeping Joe? Baraki, trust me, we are out here tonight for undiluted fun. Fun? Hop in the car, buddies. We'll discuss better on the road. Away from the reason we are out here. Like teenagers looking for the next clubhouse to gate crash, this is me informing you that I wouldn't hesitate to dial the lap if you drive like a drunken fool tonight. I know you are the current president, but do not underestimate the amount of weight. I can still pull. Obama looks a little touchy tonight. You are good, man. Perfectly all right. I'm just sounding a note of warning to the one who loves to drive like a rabid dog. I was at the doctor's earlier today, and he advised against such acrobatics. I do not want to be escorted to an early grave. <laughs> now, your anger and fear make more sense. Away from the rumble racing kind of driving. What are we out here tonight for? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we are out here for fun. You know, a little break from all of these missions we undertake every day. Can you make it make more sense, Biden? Something along the age-long proverb that says, all work and no play makes Jack a dull kid. Touchy. Grumpy Trump had just put in the most perfect expressions I could think of. Well, you can say that, you know, unlike you, the people of the United States of America voted me as their president because they know how intelligent and smart I am and could still be. Biden, I am still trying to get a clearer picture of the supposed fun. As I mentioned earlier, I hope we aren't crashing a party or something similar. Barrick, there are no parties, so there's a car racing event downtown that I caught a wave of this evening, and I think it would be really cool to unwind with that, away from family shenanigans or the call of our respective sources. Not a bad idea if you ask me. What do you think, Obama? The last mission ruined my dinner with Michelle, but we rescheduled it for tonight, and again, we had to postpone it. Whether joining the race is a bad or good idea doesn't make sense anymore at this point. Let's just get there already, so we can at least catch some sleep before daybreak. It's a two-lap race. It shouldn't take much time, I guess. But if I may ask, why is the police on our trail again tonight? Biden, did you do something before you summoned us? Wait, how the fuck did you get this police van? How did I not notice for a minute? The reason isn't far-fetched, Donald. And no, I don't think Joe Biden did anything before we met tonight. The police are chasing, because this cocaine-snorting old demented moron chose to shoot at a innocent pedestrians, waiting for the traffic sign to turn green so they could cross to the other side of the road. On our way to an alleged fun event, you choose to prove how bloodthirsty you are. Obama, if there is anyone who is bloodthirsty among the three of us, it is you. I bet you haven't forgotten your impact on the Middle East while you were president. Well, you too, Biden. You almost started the Third World War. Both of you are Jim irredeemable war apologist. Being a peace advocate isn't that hard, or is it at least use me as an example? No one uses an overbloated hippopotamus as a good example, Donald. And stop with your far righteousness. So back to my question. Joe, how and why did you get this police van? If we are truly going for a racing event, picking a police van to race would doesn't make any sense to me. Or does it, Obama? Guys, how about we take advantage of the night to the best possible limit? These two ladies aren't that bad. What do you think? Talk about ladies and watch behind you. You will surely find me there. I do not miss any of such opportunities. Hello, beautiful baddies. What are you all up to tonight? This isn't looking nice, Biden. These ladies are beyond disrespectful. You two brought this upon yourself. Biden, you mentioned how we are running out of time and risk missing the race. But surprisingly, you have a minute or two to spare talking to women on the street who do not even recognize your presence. Fuck it. Let's go. I'm excited that Punch landed rightly on her ugly face. That should serve as a robust lesson for her not to disrespect men anymore. I do not support their rude attitude, too. But I find it disgusting that you can abuse a woman because they refuse to talk to you. What happened to consent? How did consent manage to find its way into this conversation? I pray and hope this doesn't cost us many of our fans and viewers. Sexual harassment is currently a big thing. And trust me, we do not want to cross the lines. I think people watching us and enjoying our channel deserve an apology. Barrick, I think you're exaggerating the whole thing. I do not know how to weigh in on this, thanks to my alleged history of grabbing women by the pussy. But. Truthfully, I think Obama's right. We all are waiting for your apology, Biden. Well, I am sorry for my irrational attitude a minute ago. I do not intend to harass the ladies sexually. On behalf of Joe Biden, 
we sincerely apologize too. Neither of us are sexual harassment nor rape apologists. Please don't cancel this channel. You both are putting me in a really tight position, but it's fine. So back to whether Biden is hiding something about the event or not. Away from that, we really still have a long distance to cover. Why are we going back and forth at the same spot, Biden? Don't tell us again that you have lost your way. That is a complete facade, and I'm not interested in listening. You know how much distance we have to cover, but you chose to fool around for a minute. I bet we could have covered up to 10 kilometers with the minutes spent with those ladies that almost got us canceled. Well, I hate to announce it, but it seems we have been traveling in the wrong direction all along. I rechecked the location just now to reconfirm, and we should have made a right turn instead of traveling straight down. I take the blame nonetheless. At this point, I think we need to significantly minimize our conversations whenever Joe Biden is behind the wheel. No. It's not a big deal for people like me who understand what is happening. Dementia can be really catastrophic. Let's leave it at that. Left to me, old Joe isn't even safe to drive around town anymore. But it is what it is. Biden, when last did you snort some Colombian white powder? Let me tell you a story, or maybe a revelation. I'm not sure if I've said this before. It's time for another string of incoherent speeches that can comfortably pass as lies. When I assumed power, of course, I renovated my office but I didn't revamp or change the work table because of one major reason. There were two buttons on the right and left-hand side of the table. This tale is becoming boring. Where are you driving at, Joe? <laughs> I know the narrative you are trying to spin, Biden. Apparently, you are not only a vote thief, you are also an unbelievable storyteller come liar. These two buttons serve like room services. The button on the right requests cocaine, while the one on the left is for coffee. Apart from the crumbling economy, this table was another piece I inherited from Donald's administration. Now, guess what? This is becoming interesting. <laughs> History says Donald John Trump had pressed the button on the right at least 20 times more than the button on the left. So what are you saying? It is written in black and white for intelligent people to decipher. <laughs> Maybe he should answer why he presses the button on the right hand of his work desk more. Biden, if this is your defense for calling you cocaine sleeping Joe, then I really need to question your sanity and the creativity of your PR team. This is a failed attempt, old man. There is always room to try again anyway. I'm sure by now you know when Donald is trying to avoid questioning. Trust me, he isn't sounding like a broken record by coincidence. He is shocked I could say this on live TV. I mean, who would believe Trump is equally a cocaine sniffing president. Away from that, can someone explain to me why Biden is trying to jump off a cliff? We need to get the cops off our trail so we can arrive at our destination unpressured and well prepared. Only Biden understands his logic. Maybe inviting someone older to play with us could help us understand his thought process better. Someone like Bushy Wushy would be a great idea. I think, trust me, the cops cannot find us here. We simply lay low for a minute or two here for them to disperse, and we can continue our journey. That last statement doesn't sound appealing. What do you mean by journey? How many more kilometers do we still have to cover? Not going to lie. Traveling this far for a race of two laps doesn't make sense to me. But it is Biden. I do not expect better. Nah, we should be at the racing ground in the next five minutes. You have my word. Well, 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 this isn't the first time we are having your word. So save that talk for another day. Follow me, guys. Our racing vehicle is just after this fence. What do you mean by racing vehicle? I didn't know you have now joined Donald in the contest for who has the lowest last memory capacity. I literally mentioned earlier that the police vehicle is a mere camouflage to prevent the cops from stopping us. Brilliant plan, but it turned out utterly stupid in the long run because we eventually got chased by the cops. So what's the point? Well, the point is we are now a few minutes away from the start line. Let's all hop in and buckle our seat belts. Wait, what? I thought we would be racing in different vehicles. I had the same thought too. Definitely not. We are always united as a team and I registered the three of us as one. Hop in already, guys. This is hilarious. So technically it is the three of us against other racers. How many other racers are we competing against? Maybe six. Not too sure about the number. Who registers for a competition without knowing the intricacies of the contest, of course, no other person than cocaine sleeping demented Joe Biden. Left to me, I and Donald do not have any business whatsoever here. Or can you explain like you are explaining to a five-year-old why the two of us are here? You would do all the driving while the two of us simply sit behind, watching the skies or maybe other racers trying to leave you behind. Beyond our importance here, I also struggled to identify the fun part in all of these. <laughs> you both should shut your trap and let's concentrate. The race begins in three, two, one, one, let's go, boys, hoo ho. Just as I have predicted, have all the fun while we sit here screaming our lungs out because you are driving like a drunk pilot. Obama-rama, why not let's move behind the past and live in the moment. 
the tempo of this race is fierce and looks like the real deal. But to be honest, I'm envious of Joe right now. I wish I were behind the wheel for real. Nice spirit, Donald. Now, let's turn our focus to the road unitedly. In that same spirit, some motivation for the president turn racer. At any point, should you forget that we are solidly behind you? You have gotten to a good start and all left for you to claim the top spot is to keep up with your momentum and have an optimistic mindset. No one wins us because we are the men of the moment. Now it is time to make us proud and show them who the President of the United States is. Nice motivation, Baraki, but your speech left a question in my mind. We have asked a lot of questions but forgot to ask what the reward is. How did we miss that? I was hoping none of you asked, but since we are here, the price is $5 million. This is ridiculously unbelievable. Sounds so much like money laundry. Joe, what are you doing? You definitely have a hand in this. A $5 million reward, and the entire United States isn't on fire anticipating who the winner would be. Joe, it is either you are lying or there is more we need to know. Okay, okay, I was pulling your legs earlier. It is a recreational activity, so there is no actual reward. However, I placed a bet with one of the ladies at the starting point. So what is the bet? A year's supply of Colombian white powder. Don't be a moron. Winning this race means you two are going home without me. A one night stand? Well, something like it. Poor Jill. Poor Melania. Fuck you. <laughs> I have no words for the two of you. I'm only pained that I'm going through all of this so Biden could cheat on innocent Jill. That woman deserves better. The same way you deserve better than Michelle, who won't miss a chance to gulp my ice cream down her throat. Don't you dare speak about my wife that way. Michelle would never cheat on me. This is a simp. Biden, I hope you are focused. This victory must not slip from your hands. Hoo hoo. I'm loving this. I hate that I motivated you to do this. I, I look like a fool right now, but I guess the deed is done. You are winning this race by a mile. What? Well, just a note of warning. Don't invite me to anything similar in the future. I am not an advocate for extramarital affairs. Therefore, I shouldn't be found where it is being discussed or worked towards. I cannot wait for tonight's ordeal to be over. Stop sounding our righteous Baraki. We know who you are and what you are doing. But come to think of it, how did you learn about this race? Definitely not on the news. Well, I got a proposal to sponsor them. So instead of sponsoring, I decided to participate. Not too old a race, you know? And we are right on time at the finish line. I deserve my flowers as the best racer in the whole of the United States of America. Save me from this noise, please. Biden, you raced a bunch of beginners who can't even differentiate between a break an accelerator yet, and you are already claiming to be the best racer in town. I blame the organizers for allowing you to participate anyway. Obama-rama has a point, Joe. Stop gloating for winning a beginner racing contest. These guys are fucking mid. <laughs> anyway, don't hesitate to let me know if there are any upcoming similar events. I deserve a night out without Melania, too. Well, I do not care. So, is this the lady getting your cream tonight? You know the rest. <laughs> you two really need to see yourself in the fucking mirror right now. This whole arrangement sounds more like sex for grade level of shit. Hey, Batty, the race is over, and I won. What is the plan? Where are we headed from here? I guess Obama and I need to step aside for the two of you to discuss more intimately. There is really no need. I'm only wondering why she doesn't want to talk to me. Hey, we had an agreement. Remember? You asked me to win, and I did. You are next to fulfill your part of the plan. Fuck it. Let's return home, guys. A fun-filled night ruined by a kid who doesn't know how to play to the rules. Shit, here we go again. I hope the audience doesn't finally cancel us because Biden doesn't know how to keep his hands in his pocket. I have no words, really. Let's just say it's hard to accept things not going our way. We are the President of the United States, remember? Let's all look forward to the next mission. Sad to end on this note. Biden would be back, surely. Subscribe, guys. Hey, Sleepy Joe, watch and learn. I'm about to negotiate with these bullets. Trump, he's up on the diplomacy. You're more off target than your tweets. Well, screw you, Biden. It's a cold world. Well, look up, Biden. Show him the fireworks. Consider it done. Seriously, Joe, you're aiming like you're... Biden, what's your genius plan to save the world? Allow freedom for all. Let people be who they want. No harm, no foul. Really? That's not bad at all. Sounds good. You mean his plan for rainbow-colored chaos and other violations? Give me a break. Hey, lady move. We're saving the world here. Yeah, next time, skip asking nicely. I was about to give her a lesson in democracy my way. Stop right there and do not make any further attempt for it. You are not allowed to come in here unless you are an authorized individual. This shit, this can't be happening. What do we do? We can only do one thing. And what's that? We do what he says. I'll just reverse and head back to where we are coming from. Move now or I am shooting. Okay, Mr. Bastard. Oh, guys, unfortunately, we have to go back. <laughs> The show is just beginning. Show? What show, Donnie? I have to get ice cream and snacky snacks for show. 
Put your seatbelts, dear passengers. Our vehicle will be inside this base. In three, two, now. Wow, Trump, that was crazy, man. Security says no entry. What do we do, reverse, accelerate, and boom, where VIP is crashing the party? I told them we had a reservation. Technically, we did for chaos. And I don't understand now why we entered here. We were just moving to market for ice creams. Oh, gosh. We were going to dinner with our wives, Joe. And now I think we will be in headlines. Shut up, you two motherfuckers. I have a plan now. And what is the plan, orange juice? We will get a helicopter now and move away from here. That's it. Easy. Wow. Donnie, I've never seen you being so smart. Let's see if we can handle this mission. Now, run, bitches. I will solve the problem with these army now with my helicopter skills. Ooh, why well, need to run overtime I am with you guys? Because we let our best president, Trump, to drive a car. And here we are. Pepper time. Get in, losers. We're going to safety. Obama's doing an air ballot. Biden's yelling about democracy. Class. Trump, wait up. Your ideas are as scattered as your helicopter flying. Just like your campaign promises, Biden. All talk, no liftoff. Typical Trump. Your leadership's up in smoke. Sounds like your health care plan. Trump, warning bells everywhere. Hold on, boys. Crashing like your approval ratings. Not part of my agenda. This is a disaster. Your administration, Trump, is on a downward spiral. Uh, crash landing. Just like your policies, Trump, haphazard and disastrous. Out of my way, losers. I'm not getting caught in your bureaucratic mess. Jackpot. Time to show you amateurs some real firepower. Bang, bang, and goodbye. You guys should stick to flying kites. That's how it's done, folks. Ouch, couldn't handle my policies. So you had to resort to running me over, huh? Pitch black, just like your foreign policy, Trump. Unclear and dangerous. We can't let them catch us. Keep firing, boys. Just like your approval ratings, Trump. It's plummeting. Scaling mountains like I scale policies. Who's next? Biden. Watch out. I'm not sure you're cut out for this old man. Had enough? I call this your justice, sir, taste of your own medicine. Time to show some real firepower. You call this pursuit, Trump? I've faced worse in Congress. Can't keep up, can you? Unlike your legislation, I'm making progress. Typical, going down like your approval ratings, Trump. I've got something for these law-abiding officers. Come on, Trump, where are your tweets now? Need some support here. Your policies are as empty as these clips. Here's to fighting your battles. Alone, uh, a free ride. Trump, bet you wish your policies had this kind of momentum. Back up, huh? Not surprised, cops always need more support. Just like your bills, Trump. Come and get me if you can. Dodging bullets feels like dealing with your scandals, Trump. A, a daily routine, time to switch lanes. Opposite direction, just like our ideologies, Trump. Let's take a detour into nature. Here we go. Downhill drive, Trump style, chaotic and out of control. Enough of your bullshit, Biden. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking? Is he sleeping, Barry? They should shoot a movie about Donnie the excellent driver. Donnie the excellent little dickhead? Can you just look on a road and drive carefully? No, I can't, Barry. Enough of your pussy texts. Get out and start the real fight. They will get what they deserve. Let me sniff this, oh. Now they will get the real shit. Oh my god. My lovely Michelle, why the hell I am hanging with these two? Shut the fuck up the N-word, pussy. Okay, guys, so why over time police has to chase us? Because our country has a president that only thinks about ice cream and of sleeping on oval table. Shit. That happened only one time. And by the way, guys, it is damn comfy. You should have tried that. Please, let's focus on our mission, guys. And Donnie, please tell us where are we going so fast right now? My source texted me that the things are really fucked up as tanks are moving to our direction. So I have a plan as always. As always. It's a first time, man. By the way, what is the plan, buddy? Gosh, Biden, is there any chance that your brain will work in future? <laughs> to funny done. Uh, 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 I am so damn good at driving. And this is amazing. Let me just quickly check. Where is this fucking armored vehicle? What do you mean? We will grab the armored van now. That will help us to get home safely, Barry. Good idea, but I don't want to go home. I sniffed all powder for today, now I Rambo. Shut up, you are the useless Rambo. America needs brave and smart leader, like the man who is driving this car. And who is that motherfucker, huh? Guys, I think we will get caught now and go to jail. If you continue this conversation, 
Don will just get us to that armored van and tell us what we have to do. Great. So I will get driver's seat and you guys will have to fight against them. I want to get home. How are we going to get home by fighting them? Don't cry, little Joe. This is a very serious situation. Yeah, Barry, you are right. These clowns won't go away without a good punishment. I got the powder in me. I got the weapons. And I will show them who is the boss here. Wow, that's a positive side of Colombian powder. Joe is like Chinese version of Tony Montana. <laughs> I would say sleepy version. <laughs> Feel the Colombian vibe with Mr. Joe. Man, is everything oak with Joe? I think he took too much, and I think he continues this path. We will have to go to elections after this mission. Wow, what a brilliant idea, President Kenya. Joe, you are the boss. Sniff more and show them your power. Yeah, even Trump fears me now. The monster inside me woke up and will fight till the end. Yeah, Joey, just do it, man. Yeah, come here, bitches. Wow, this is wild as fuck. Trump, you better watch the road. Seems like you don't know where you're going. Barry, remember, I know everything. I know everything. Can you understand me? I even know all your dark secrets. Donnie, I think his all secrets are dark. Shut the fuck up, sleepy psycho. <laughs> I didn't think about it, little Joe. Fuck. How many helicopters do we have in our country? Dozens, my friend. Dozens? They are way too much, guys. They come from every angle. What the fuck? I will get all of them. They don't know me. I think they know Joe. No, they don't. I have glasses on me. How the hell it must make them think you are not Joe Biden and different person? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Drive Donald. Just hit that pedal. So we can't get arrested. I want to be with my lovely family on this Christmas. These new era of Joe's police works terrible. They even can't close a road. <laughs> Guys, I can't hold them too much. You have to boss. I believe in you. <laughs> He plays on your emotions, Biden. What? Barack Donald is my best friend. Hmm. How can you say that about this brilliant person, huh? Wow. Completely other person. Shut up, chocolate president. You better watch me breaking these bastards well from cars. <laughs> Too easy, man. I think I will have to get some tattoos about this day. I'm going to write how many headshots I made in this short period of time. Biden, it's not a game. This is a serious problem. Yeah, boss, unfortunately, Obama's right. It's a damn serious problem. I think I must start to my offered skills with this beast. Beast? Where's Mr. Beast? I want to get photo with him. Gosh, look, Donald, what you did. This man's brain is totally gone. <laughs> and that's fun. Next target is you know that, bro. What? 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 <laughs> Just kidding. Trump, any genius plans besides shooting? Feels like a carnival ride, but with bullets Hold tight. I've seen smoother rides at a demolition derby. They're ramming us like a game of bumper cars. Can this van withstand more hits than your tweets, Trump? This van's tougher than your argument. Hang in there, guys. Pull out with them, just like we do in politics. They can't handle us. Onward, van of champions. I've seen better drivers at a go-kart track, Trump. We're hooked. Ideas, anyone? How about a speed boost, Trump? Or is that too flashy for you? Full speed ahead. Let's show them we mean business. What's happening? This ride's more unstable than one of Obama's speeches. Obama, you jinxed us with your open to changey vibes. Hold on, we're going off road again. Hills, hills, and more hills. I'm getting motion sickness. We're taking the scenic route, folks. Hope you brought your swimsuits. River ahead, brace yourselves, because if you don't, all your efforts since morning will count for nothing. Oh no, not another refreshing dip. I thought we will never have to do this again. Van stuck, anyone have a boat handy? Looks like we're swimming, boys. Time to bail out. Out of the van, into the water. Swim for it, guys. Keep moving. Bullets raining down like Obama's scandals. Enough. Swim faster, man. I'm drowning. The cold water is closing in around me like a relentless adversary wanting to swallow me. Stay low. Keep your heads down. Or you risk being hit by a bullet. So help me God I'm not waiting behind to carry a wounded or dead soldier. I'm out of the water. Can't keep me down. Come on, cops, let's dance. Looks like it's just me now. Come and get it. Guys, today I'm fucking ecstatic. I bet you don't what that even means. Well, Obama, I'm not in the mood today. And guess who's in the driver's seat tweets? Yeah, I was wondering where the problem was. Bro, you are in my spot. Joe, that's not even how you hold a steering wheel. Shut up, Obama. 
As I was saying, today I want us to try something new. In my new car. Where did you get the mullah, Biden? You are a broken old motherfucker. Did you sell cocaine to Hunter again? Fuck Donald. If you don't keep quiet, I'm going to shove you out from my sweet ride and fuck you up. You are one of them, Biden, aren't you? You go fucking dudes around like Obama. What the fuck? What did you just say? Whatever. Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah, so today I want us to go for a jet ski water race. But Joe, a jet ski water race. That's a bold choice. I didn't know you were into extreme water sports. Well, Barack, I figure if I can navigate the political waters, I can handle a few waves. Joe, are you sure your old ass wants to challenge these guys to a water race? <laughs> I mean, I've seen your coordination. Oh, calm Obama. I've been practicing. They say it's all about the hips. Oh, oh, Biden, you've been practicing. That's cute. Now is it taking you so far? I bet on my fucking ass you can't even see the road ahead. Do you need a pair of glasses, Mr. President Biden, sir? Speaking of the road, Donald, I also want to show off my driving skills. <laughs> that was a joke, right? Cause hey. it sounded like one. Hey, Stacy. I'm talking to you, fucking slut. Want to see my driving skills? Why don't you get your pussy a bow? Nobody wants to see your shitty driving style of asshole. Can you just leave that lady alone? Look at her, guys. Isn't she fabulous? She got some sweet cheeks. I would leave Jill for that. What the fuck is wrong with you, sick, perverted old man? With that big forehead, you can't pull no hoes, Sleepy Joe. Fuck you, you orange piece of shit. I have already fallen in love. Talk about love at first sight. I think I should call Jill now. All right, all right, cut the crap. So let me see where we are heading to. A uh, hi, yes, today we are doing something fun. We are not going to commit organized crimes that put the safety of the entire world in jeopardy. Ooh, wait, I that almost forgot. That isn't a surprise. Obama, as we went to prepare for the cult canage, you said you feel safer when Donald is driving. Well, today, look who's behind the wheel. Well, today we are fucked. Oh, ooh, sweet Jesus, I'm gonna meet you today. Don't worry, Donnie. Today, the whole of Los Santos will appreciate my driving. They're gonna bow down to me as the king of driving, and everyone will serve me ice cream and buy me a box of Legos. Oh, oh. Trump, can you give a pinch to Biden? I think he's zoned out again. On a scale of one through 10, how aware are you of what is happening around you? Stop doing trial tests of what Hunter receives from those Colombian guys and take your pills. Hobo. Distinct this right hook from the left one bitch and leave my pretty ass alone, bro, with all that scientific with imagination and reality. I just want to do something fun. Did you just, your pretty ass, I knew something was off about you in the 2020 United States presidential election. Hey, out, motherfucker. Why did you just knock off three motorcyclists? Do you want us to appear in the news that the presidents of America are murders? Yes, the mo motorcyclists, shouldn't they be on their own highway for two wheelers? Can't you see this is a car with four wheels, Obama? They are the one with a problem. Jesus Christ, you should probably win a Guinness World Record for dumbest USA president in history. Shut your black ass, Obama. You're so black, the difference between you and midnight is 11.59 p.m. You have to wear white gloves before you eat chocolate so you don't bite off your fucking fingers. <laughs> uh, my head. Enough, bro. That was pretty dark, Maha. No offense, Obama Rama. That was Salty Joe. I'm going to have to roll cool with this one. Why don't you roll your ass back to Kenya? And if I may ask Joe, why are you going for water skiing at night? Mm -hmm. Cause it's fun. And I love fun stuff, yeah. <laughs> when I thought of this bright idea, I wanted to do it before I forget it. So, Biden, what's the plan? Thanks to you, we have the fucking police on our tails. I know hiding spot, it's just here ahead. Hiding spot? Is that where you sneak to snort cocaine with Hunter? Sick drift, by the way. Great. You led us straight to the cops, Biden. What you gonna do next, huh? Go and rat us out for robbing banks. What the, whose banks and when did we rob him? Somebody hold me, or I'm gonna come there in front. And I'm gonna whoop this old fucker's ass like nobody's business. I'm not with it. You need to learn to shut up Joe and to maybe double the dose. You take daily to keep you sane enough to remember your name. Guys, guys, I need you to come down. With all your shouting, I'm not able to evade these cops. That's why I keep bumping into their flashy cars. Try thinking of Coke-flavored ice cream, Biden. It will help you concentrate. Here, Sleepy Joe, are we still going into that jet ski water race? It's been two hours, and all we have done is driven around like mad men with no sense of direction. What the hell, Biden, are you blind? I'm freaking out, bro. I can't shake off these pigs. Why don't you pull over? Come out from the car and tell them who you are. And guess what? They will really be excited to see you, Joe, and they will give you some candy and a popsicle. Yeah, and a life in... 
What the fuck is wrong with you, Joe? You just 360 Ed's car into the air. Just so you know, you're never driving me again. Shh. Mm. Keep it down, Trump. The cops are going to hear us. Let's stall in this secret hideout till the heat cools down. Guys, what's that funny smell? Nice, bro. No, you distracted me. We have just overturned and now I need a change of pants. Oh, cool. So that's where the smell comes from. Well, yeah, that and this leftover string cheese from last week I have in my... Well, look, Sleepy Joe, none of this would have happened if you wouldn't turn out to be a crackhead. Damn it, you didn't put crystals in my coffee earlier, did you, Don? I saw you chewing on some early morning. Are you on some meths, bro? Are you oblivious, dumbass? I can assure you I am not because if I do dunk, I would have already run for president in 57 countries simultaneously unlike you. You're a puppet. You know, you've never really been the president of the United States. In real sense, it's really your advisors that are running the country. Say no more, you fat, you fat buffoon. Stop talking to me and try to knock some of that weight off Trump. We're in Los Santos, not OB City. What the hell is OB City? Does OB Kenobi live or what? OB City means obesity. Boomer. Joe, my man, what's with the X storm on Gaza and Israel? Barack, you know me just trying to keep up with the Kardashians. I mean, crises. It's a mess in the Middle East. It's this Gaza-Israel clash causing quite a stir. For Twitter, huh? I used to dominate that platform. Tremendous tweets, the best. People said I had the best words. Gaza and Israel are at it again, like a dysfunctional couple on a reality show. Airstrikes, rocket attacks, drama. It's like the real housewives of the Middle East. I did my part in the Middle East, you know? The Abraham Accords, historic stuff. Nobody thought I could do it, but I did. Guys in Israel have been trading airstrikes and rocket attacks. It's a mess, Barack. Civilians caught in the crossfire, tensions rising. Joe, any progress in resolving this? It's a delicate situation, Barack. We're urging de-escalation, working with international partners. But you know, it's like herding cats over there. Cats, I dealt with world leaders like a lion. No comparison. Speaking of lions, remember when I got bin Laden? Yeah, yeah, Osama, whatever. I did a lot for this country, too. Tremendous, indeed. Like the time you tried to buy Greenland. Or that Sharpie incident with a hurricane map. Very presidential, Donald. I was just keeping everyone informed, Joe. Joe, did you know Donald wanted to put his face on Mount Rushmore? So where are you racing to off exactly? Shut up, Obama. Your questions are of no value now. I am so excited now. Is this one for me? Oh. Look at this beauty. I hope it has turbo and nitro and all the goodies. Oh, goodness, Sleepy Joe. Who fooled you, goddamn demented old man? Pablo over there told me he had installed the latest tech. It's got GPS, Wi-Fi, and a cup holder that even fits my ice cream cones. GPS, Wi-Fi? What a load of malarkey. You look like malarkey. Quit fucking around and get your ass up here. Do you think you can handle this jet ski with your frail twig hands? Guys, if I do my math correctly, I can see there are only two seats in this crap. So are you bozos gonna leave me here all alone? Obama, what the hell get your black ass out the, of the fucking way? Oh shit, my head. I told you to get out of the way. Trumpy Dumpty, now watch my frail twig hands go into action. Let's see what you got, old man. Yeah, let me first turn this shitty ass radio. It's making a lot of noise and I need to concentrate. Hold on to me tight, Trump. This will be a bumpy ride. What the fuck, Joseph, that's gay as fuck. Please, can you drop me? You're better off doing this race on your own. I don't want to be in a jet ski with a sick schizo. Ah! Somebody help. Ah! Stop screaming in my ear, you hippo. I just had ear surgery, and your bellowing is more painful than the recovery process. And also, I had better carry Obama instead of you. Your bloody hell weight is slowing my ass down. What is all this nagging about? Aren't you in the first place, which is actually a great shocker? I didn't expect you to be this good. Good, well, unlike your tweets, I've got substance, Donald. And if you're surprised, just wait until I hit the turbo button. Trump, do you want to hear a story? Hell no, no, I am not in the mood for your goofy ass stories. Well, this is a tale that makes Paula Pritchard's contraband business look like a tea party. We're talking stock and gate prison, a place tougher than my attempts to keep my tie straight. Here we go again. Now in cell 34047, we've got Paula Pritchard, a gal who'd give even me a run for my money in the scheming department. Scheming? Sounds like my kind of gal, Joe. Is she a Democrat? No, you maggot. She's serving a life sentence for murder, but that's not the main act. Her hatred for rats gives you a hint of her charm. Rats? Joe, we're talking about real rats, or are we diving into Washington, D.C. politics here? Actual rats, Donald, but these rats are smart. 
They live with Paula Cher herself. One of them, Rita, even had a mate, Rolly. Rolly. That's a better name than Crooked Hillary. I'll give you that. Well, Rolly's fate takes a twist when Paula, in a drug-induced haze, hurls a radio, hitting him square on. It's like a Shakespearean tragedy, but with more fur. Tremendous tragedy, Joe, but revenge is sweet. What happens next? Rita, the rap mastermind, hatches a plan during a surprise sale search. They collect SIM cards, hundreds of them, right under Paula's nose. At SIM cards? That's high tech for a prison story. Is this on Twitter? Not yet, Donald, but it gets better. Paula, thinking she's the queen of the cell block, gets hauled away to solitary confinement. The rats throw a Christmas bash in her cell. So solitary, that's like being banned from Twitter, Joe, a fate worse than impeachment. And there you have it. Paul is facing more charges than my speechwriters on inauguration day. The rats, they won this round. Even got a security review for their troubles. But blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and Paula was fucked by those fucking rats. End of story. Nice story, Biden better tell it to Hunter. I'm sure he will love it. Hunter, my lovely son, you home. Where are we? Did I win the race? Oh, fuck. I just remembered we left our little bro Obama all alone by himself. We have to go and look for Obama Rama. Maybe he run his little ass to Michelle. Oh, boy. That lady does frighten me. I wonder what it's like for him at home against Michelle. She could probably hold him on the head and launch him like a cannonball. All right, dumbass, tell me why Melania has been ignoring your ass ever since the mugshot. It's almost like she doesn't want to be seen with you. Well, Joe, you always have your sources. Melania and I are doing just fine. You know, a little mystery keeps the spark alive. More like a disappearance act. Is she auditioning for a magic show? Sawing a former president in half, perhaps? Joe, you've got jokes. Melania's a classy lady. She's just busy with her Be Best campaign. Be Best, is that the campaign slogan or her personal to-do list? Because avoiding you seems to be at the top. Sleepy Joe, you may be onto something. Maybe she's secretly taking notes from Michelle on how to handle a president. Michelle is a force to be reckoned with. If I ever tried pulling a stunt like yours, she'd launch me into orbit faster than you can say fake tan. Joe, you're not wrong. Michelle is a powerhouse. But Melania has her own style. She's the queen of understatement. Joe, you're a character. Maybe you should give Melania some comedy lessons. Spice up the White House a bit. Melania doing stand-up. Now that's a show I'd pay to see. Maybe she could teach me a thing or two about keeping a straight face. Now, where is that bitch Obama? Trump, can you go looking for him? I found him. He was in the sewers, maybe trying to get his shit together or maybe looking for Michelle. Whatever. First, I got to deal with that asshole over there. Deal was winter gets vanilla and strawberry ice cream and candy and Legos. But this fucker is giving me nothing. And because of that, kiss this bullet motherfucker and make sure to say hi to George Bush for me. Hey, tell your buddies to remain still so that I can get a nice shot. Why the fuck are you shooting at me, Obama? Come out like a real man and... Stop hiding there like a pussy. I can't watch you shoot those good people and get away with it. Considering the fact you left me all alone. So, this is what it is all about. You should have not probably come. Joe, I needed a break from your endless ice cream debates. I swear you have more opinions on flavors than policies. Well, Brack, when you said you needed some me time, I didn't think you meant a solo mission to the golf course. You sick fuck. Joe, I needed a break from your endless ice cream debates. I swear, you have more opinions on flavors than policies. Well, someone needs to address the important issues, like Rocky Road versus mint chocolate chip. It's a tough job, but I'm up for the challenge. Can you take your fight elsewhere? I'm not going to stand here in the middle of your crossfire listening to your girly arguments. Um, off, guys, I have crystals to cook and hose to marinate. Take these motherfuckers. Mm. Hey, you're rotten hell, all of you? Fuck you, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Have you lost your fucked mind again? I better get the hell out of here. What are you waiting for, Trumpy Humpty Dumpty? Get the hell out of here, or maybe let me use this RPG, and in no time, you will be charred and be as black as Obama. Hey, he is not here, shit. So over the night, guys, I thought it hard and thoroughly and felt, if you two could do it, then it is high time I quit being a pussy and pull off my first mission. Hmm, sounds pretty exciting. More like a high school junior trying to belong to the league gang. So what's the plan today, brothers? Wait, was it brothers or buddies you called us last time we were out? Obama-rama? Well, whatever. I hope you get the point already. Well, as the smartest and sleekest person amongst the three of us and the best president the United States of America has ever had, I think my first mission has to be the most memorable. I guess we will have to leave that to our viewers in the comments to decide. But before then, can you let us in on this memorable mission so we can get started already? There is no point putting Obama-rama in an unwarranted rush. 
Let him enjoy his well-deserved first mission. He worked for this, unlike you, who won the elections in the most irrational and unbelievable circumstances. Okay, okay. I'm not cut out for the two of you acting like wives to a polygamous man. I want peace and order in this vehicle. The General Barrick is behind the wheel. Let's fuck it up. Well, I am pretty excited about two things, actually. First, finally, I get to decide the pace of our vehicle. No dumb driving nor stupid side projects based on personal vendettas. What is the second? I mentioned that already. Getting to work on my first mission. <laughs> it's amazing to see you finally become a man. So enough of the felicitations and merry-go-rounds. Our mission today is very similar to the tankers we stole from an oil bunker very recently. Are we stealing again? I thought the primary reason we began this channel was to help the United States of America solve intending disasters waiting to happen. I'm afraid we are rapidly drifting away from the scope. Well, at this point, I, I guess we just have to do what our respective sources ask us to do. We really do not have a say anymore. Well, we all get to choose our sources only, and not tasks we can complete for them. So yeah, as Grumpy Trump said, we aren't precisely afforded a luxury of options. We can opt out anyway. No doubt, however, our viewers on this channel will definitely miss us. We do not want to rob them of the unmeasurable fun we are currently having. If we continue driving at his pace, I swear, we may never get to the destination for today's task until nightfall. Biden, Barrack is driving us for the first time, so his reaction is grossly expected. It's similar to a father who just welcomed a newborn. Look at him, grinning from ear to ear. Holy fuck. I have experienced a lot of worrisome situations here in the States, but I've never seen an armed man attempting to rob the president of the U.S. The stupidity at its peak. But trust me to send him to his father's with multiple magazines. I love to do this. See him wiggling like a headless chicken. Well, the road is clear again, with vehicles passing like nothing just happened a minute ago. Truly, that is not exactly difficult to decipher. Anyway, it's been a minute driving around. What are we stealing this evening? So yeah, truly, let's get back to the details of the project. So our tugboat is currently sailing up north towards Los Santos. This boat contains hard to determine amounts of coke that are being smuggled. Our goal is to steal some of this drug and deliver it to my source. Holy goodness, do we now contribute to smuggling coke? Well, literally, yes. In the end, we all are criminals waiting to happen. Sometimes, privilege, fewer opportunities. And bad offers are the factors keeping us sane and away from crime. But as I mentioned in one of our recent missions, we are like crusaders. So yeah, you all can make of that what you think. We are ready whenever you are Obama-rama. We're together as a team, and tasks like this are only introduced to test our resilience and the strength of our bond. We shouldn't give anybody a chance to divide us using this modest operandi. Well, Biden is right, but I have a worry. How are we expected to catch up with the tugboat? Of course, swimming has never been my problem. However, what about Joe Biden? He has been sluggish since the start of this mission, and now he is getting unrestricted access to as many coke as he wants. It's time to snort so much coke that he may pass out under the water. If what happens, we'll be left then to leave him to drown and bury him by the sea. Coke or the ocean? Which of them should be identified as the cause of your demise? Biden? How did we switch from working as a team to having death talks? Cries again, truly, I have been blaming you wrongly. Driving carefully saps all the fun away from the tasks. Secondly, it is risky. Imagine that bastard coming to rob a vehicle waiting for the traffic sign in broad daylight. It is crazy, guys. Uh -huh, and you cannot be the best judge if it hasn't happened to you before. I'm glad you found out yourself, and pretty earlier. Now, I can pull crazy stunts in our subsequent tasks without anyone shouting the car to a halt. How close are we to the port? Closer than we are to your grave. Ha ha ha, that was some dry jokes, we are here already. So all you have to do is follow me behind until we get a smaller boat to sail through the ocean so we can catch up with the tugboat. I was just wondering how much coke we are stealing. Also, can we take some for ourselves? Who doesn't love free supply? Just speak for yourself, old sleeping koala looking Joe Biden. Not everyone is addicted to Colombian white powder that does nothing but knock your brain more and prepare your grave earlier than it should be. That's right, Trump rumpy. If someone needs to speak with Jill to help him make things better for him. You two are just plainly clueless about how soothing, pain-relieving, and exciting coke can be. You really do not know. Save us from the unwarranted talks, Joe. We understand your bias completely. So, again, I ask, how do we navigate ourselves to catch up with the tugboat? I know you mentioned following you behind until we get a smaller boat to take us there. But with the look of things, the smaller boat is several meters divided by water away from us. Are we to jump into the water with you, too? If sleeping off underwater is my risk, I think Trumpy's own is sinking to the bottom of the sea, thanks to his overbloated, smelly body. I am already feeling 
for the sea on your behalf. Both of you are just unbelievable. Allow me to catch my breath and watch me do my thing just as I always watch you do yours. Two, don't hijack this mission with your baseless comparisons and arguments. Trust me, Obama-rama, no one is hijacking your mission. We are a team, remember? It is really hard to talk under the water, but you two can stay there anyway. I will get the smaller boat and return to pick you two, at least saving Trump from sinking and Biden from sleeping off underwater. So come to think about it. Is that a smaller boat or a canoe? A mechanically powered canoe? What are you even saying? Come on, don't publicize your stupidity any further. Again, I will pretend I, I didn't hear you and just jump into this river. Obama seems to be having all the fun while I am here arguing with a moronic old dying man. See you soon, Joe Biden. No, I cannot succumb to peer pressure. The last time I swam with you guys, I remember how scary and painful it was. Not doing that again. If you are watching this, I promise I am not scared of water. Not exactly. Just that sometimes some battles aren't meant to be fought. Sometimes. I wonder if both of you have ever imagined your wives, children or grandchildren watching this channel by chance. What if they do? Imagine how embarrassing it would be for them and their friends at their fathers, who are supposed to be the president and immediate past president, are disgracing themselves unashamedly here. I think Barracky needs to see a doctor urgently to confirm if water hasn't seeped into his brain or something. I know you to be more coherent than this. Your last statement is a lame and disgusting attempt at taking a swipe at Donald and me. Like I said, I know you can do better, so there is definitely a problem somewhere. Back to hell with whatever you think. The real task is just beginning. We are closer to the tugboat than ever. That is true. I was already getting used to the natural breeze and the frenzy that comes with boat cruising. I almost forgot we are here for a completely different mission. I do not want to be the unserious person here, but Obama-rama, can we come back here after we complete this task to have a proper boat cruise? Well, I would be hypocritical if I said I do not feel the same way. Come to think about it, again, it would be really fun for you. I mean, you get to go on a boat cruise while feasting on some unfiltered, top-quality Colombian white powder. I hope you do not pass out because of the enjoyment. Truly, Joe Biden has a strong point. I guess we can make it a date then. We'll return here to relax after the long-fought battle on the sea and the not-too-far journey to deliver the stolen coat. Yip, let's do this. I told you guys my first mission would be the most memorable so far. You cannot beat me to this. Never anyway, guys, let's pay more attention to why we are here. These guys seem to be so good at unloading their magazine. I'm struggling with two battles here. One, the scary, seemingly endless body of water, and second, the bullets from these guys. Brothers, I hope we get out of here alive. These thieves seem to be prepared for us. Perhaps we should yell out and let them know we aren't stealing all their supplies. Just a little for Biden and our sources. I have now safely hopped on the tugboat. I hope you two are too already. I'm sorry, Baraki. I had to return to our boat. I was too scared of the water and could not handle any more capsize. I am so sorry. I am not surprised. Biden has always been a snitch and a pussy. Fuck you, bald rotting man. We can always have that conversation later. Anyways, Trumpy, I'm up here. You can deal with the motherfuckers down there. Already on that before you mentioned, I always deliver, remember? Well, you couldn't deliver yourself as the president when we went head to head. That's a huge flex on my part. I'm sure you must have to finish fulfilling your part of the contract with those you connived with to rig that election. Did you pay in cash or in kind? Wait, don't tell me you had your ass filled with multicultural ice creams. In the space of three years for a position, you are merely a figurehead. God damn it! How did we not think the Navy would meet us here? Because we never believed they could be a part of this smuggling deal. This brings me to ask again, who are your sources, Obama? Every one of us asks this question during every mission, but we never get a response. So why do you think I have to tell you mine now? Like you and Donald used to say, the less, you know, the better. <laughs> Sleek one right there, Obama-rama, the murderer of Osama. I would never believe it is this easy to take out two Navy boats. Well, you can now see and say that again. Anyway, our task is done here, guys. Coke was successfully stolen and loaded. It is time to return to our source's drop-off destination. And then come back to have a proper boat cruise. Don't forget that part. No, it is not forgettable. No one can rob us of that fun. At least a private life away from the prying eyes of YouTube. Haha. Uh -huh. If you thought we had taken down the Navy boats, then we are absolutely wrong. These guys are still firing us tremendously. That is so true. Look up the sky and see two motherfucking helicopters preparing to attack. I have always predicted how and where I would die, and not once have I ever thought of dying on the sea. But now it looks very apparent. Jill, I love you. I think Biden also suffers from bipolar disorder. At this moment, he is very active, daring, and all that stuff. But suddenly he grows cold and wants to throw in the towel. It's a gory sight if you ask me. Is that what having a bipolar disorder actually means? Whew, thankfully, the helicopters are down and sinking into the deepest part of the sea. Doesn't too much of a task for me. 
I have seen Grumpy Trump take down several helicopters in our past missions. I just simply followed how he did it. It's refreshing to know people are watching you and implementing your steps and ideologies. I'm glad you are a fast learner, Obama-rama. So tell me, what other things have you learned from the great Trump himself? Shut your fat, orangey, decaying mouth, and quit being an egoistic moron. Ari? You don't talk to your teacher like that? <laughs> <laughs> teacher, my fucking foot. <laughs> Anyway, I have just confirmed the drop-off destination. I really hope it is not too far from here. I cannot wait to get done with this task and return for the boat cruise. Stop being a hopeless romantic Joe Biden. I am not exactly sure if that word fits in properly, but you need to get yourself together and let's focus on finishing this mission first. This boat is always there. The seaport isn't folding up this minute. So at this point, I think I would be agreeing with Donald too. Joe really needs to pick a side. This minute, he is scared of the sea. The next minute, he is dying to go on the boat cruise. What exactly do you want, old man? As I mentioned earlier, I am not scared of the fucking sea. I'm only scared of bullet exchanges in the middle of nowhere. Or are you too deaf to understand the fine line between the two situations? I bet that answer can only be best answered by you. But away from that, I wonder why my source left us multiple armored vehicles for delivery, or do they think we are a battalion or something? Well, we have chosen one, and what matters now is to locate them and ask them to fuck themselves in the face. Well, not before I take my share of the spoils anyway. No one is contest that with you. You can take as much as you want so you can quickly overdose and pass out next to Jill over the night. I promise this time you won't be able to come back to live. Trump, how does it feel staying at the rooftop again? Well, it feels nice. However, it is pretty uneventful, which is good. There is absolutely no need to disturb the peace and order in town today. It is a bright, sunny morning. What do you expect? The Americans mind their businesses more than Donald takes care of Melania. How did Melania come into the mix? Joe missed his meds yesterday before we began this mission. Disregard whatever he says henceforth. But pay more attention to the road and avoid smashing anyone else's car. Otherwise, the mission might just get unnecessarily messier than this. We cannot afford to battle the Navy and cops on the same day. <laughs> Say no more, buddies. We are here already. No need for any more smashing or collisions. Plus, where we are now is one of the safest places around. Even the cops dare not enter here. Well. It seems some magazine exchanges must have happened here earlier. And with that, we have successfully completed today's mission. Oof. My first mission truly is memorable. Well, it can be even more memorable and exciting if we return for the boat cruise this minute. Say no more, hop in. And let's have the fun of our lives better than the fucked up car racing event we attended the other night. Subscribe, guys. Gentlemen, gather round. Today's agenda. We will be cruising the streets of Los Santos, but not in the Oval Office. Oh, no. We'll be cruising as taxi drivers. And why exactly am I trading my precious time for driving taxes around? He's supposed to be with my lovely wife, Michelle. In fact, today I was teaching her to dance. So how exactly are we going to do this? Watch and learn Trump. We'll communicate through the walkie talkies that I've given you in that tab containing the GPS. Oh look, I already have my first passenger. Oh boy, I pity your passenger, Sleepy Joseph. They are in for a wild ride. What wild ride? This ride is about to get presidential. Presidential my ass. Biden, you psycho. You are going to scare off people with your weird stories and unruly behavior. Uh, the people love me, Obama, unlike you, bitch. Which people? Are you sure of that, Joe? You handled that partisan divisions and governance issue like a bastard, and you still think people will like you. I'll dust you in the 2024 elections, baby. Shut up, you moron. The only thing you will dust is your way to prison. Joe, you've been in office for a while now, and let's just say the unity train seems to have derailed. Well, Donnie, I must say, you left behind quite the partisan Rubik's Cube. It's been a real head-scratcher trying to solve it. Whatever. Here comes my passenger, guys. Holy fuck. My first guy looks like a delinquent. He looks like a pusher. If you look very closely at him, you will see that is none other than Hunter. Hey, yeah. Uh, fuck you. My son is wonderful and intelligent and educated. Joe, why don't you make that guy your best friend? We have decided that we no longer need you in our circle. You are dragging us down with your old, demented brain. Come on, fellas. You know I bring the charm to this trio. Well, Joe, your charm sometimes needs a GPs to find its way. Hey now, Donald. At least I can find my way to the Oval Office without a map of your fired slogans. Easy, gentlemen. Let's remember we're all on the same team, sort of. But seriously, Joe, this club is for big league players. You might need a few more practice rounds. Practice rounds? I've been around the block, guys. I can still navigate Capitol Hill better than a lost tourist. Well, Joe, we've got to admit, your special brand of Joe and Nessus does keep things interesting. That's one way to put it. 
But hey, Joe, maybe stick to giving out ice cream cones instead of foreign policy advice. By the way, Biden having mentioned Capitol Hill, did you see The Rock went there and earlier he was approached to vie for president? Yeah, I've seen it trending in Twitter. You know, Dwayne's a great guy, but let's face it, nobody delivers lines like I do. I give him a few tips on commanding the room. Running for president demands dedication, understanding, and a deep connection to the issues. If he feels he has that commitment and support, it's a decision that requires thoughtful consideration. If Johnson's got the drive, who knows? Maybe he'll take a shot at it. Think about it. Imagine that cockhead in that Oval Office flexing his charm and laying the smack down on political issues. He's got the charisma, the muscles, and a smile that could probably solve a whole bunch of problems. But hey, politics is a whole different game. What's taking you so long, Joe? You are a sloth in that taxi. It's already been a century and you haven't reached your destination, and what's that noise I keep hearing? The sound of chaos, Obama. I was skeptical right from the moment Sleepy Joe entered that stupid taxi. I should have thrown the keys of that taxi to the moon. Thank you for asking, Donnie. I'm doing just fine. My passenger by now is probably surprised how Biden as president can be such an awesome taxi driver. Isn't that right, you scumbag? I even served him with some ice cream to munch on as he enjoys his ride with me. Jew, don't give that guy your Colombian white powder. Don't tell me what to do, Obama. By the way, I'm feeling cute. Might increase the taxes by 1.5 later on today. Not sure. Oh my God, Joe, you are so random. I might also get into another controversy regarding the tragedies I caused in the Middle East almost a decade ago. Do you see why I got an idea is the fact that I can barely read caused by something Bill Clinton did 20 years ago. What do you, how does that even make any sense? Come on now. Joe, that's not how you make up excuses. Talk to Trump as if he is a Fox News reporter or your younger sibling. You know, fellows, they say Putin used to be a taxi driver in his younger days. Oh, kidding. Wonder if he used the same tough negotiation tactics when someone questioned the fare. He probably ran that taxi like his own personal autocracy, no seat belts, and the only option was his direction. I can picture it now. No complaints allowed, or it's off to Siberia. Putin must have given backseat driving a whole new meaning in that taxi. But he didn't take any detours unless they were to the nearest KGB office. His passengers probably never dared to ask, are we there yet? Yeah, he had a strict no complaints policy. One grumble and you'd be in the trunk. Can we stop criticizing Putin's driving? Who knows where dissatisfied customers who criticize his driving ended up? I don't want to spark any rivalry with that dude. It could start a World War III. So what? Let that retarded motherfucker bring it on. Between him and you, who is the m most retarded Biden? If somehow you ended up talking with him, you would probably fall asleep mid-sentence or stutter. What the fuck? I just dropped off this bitch and he hasn't tipped me even a penny. What you call me? Take this, you little piece of shit. What the hell is going on there? I want to teach this punk ass some manners. You can't take a punch, you fucker. Yeah, that's right, I'm made of steel. Huh, me trash? Eat this, you sorry sack of potatoes. Joe, we know you will be beaten in a pulp. Why don't we order an Uber and we'll come where you out? Situation is under control, Barry. You call that a swing? I've seen scarier moves at a baby's birthday party. That's right, feel the wrath of Joseph. Too slow. I'm a tornado, fist and fury. Get ready for the Robinette Thunder Punch. Down you go, just like a sack of last week's garbage. Take some of this and this and this. I'll take that. Biden, Biden, are you okay, buddy? Are you dead? Please tell me you are. I hope you were here, lads. You could have seen me beating the crap out of that hillbilly. Was that really necessary? Necessary. Barack, Barack, Barack. It was more than necessary. It was exhilarating. That bloke won't forget the day he crossed paths with me anytime soon. Aren't you worrying that he might become the next guy to overthrow the government because he has just been beaten by the president of America? Well, that's a thing to worry about later. Now I gotta worry about evading the stupid cops. I wonder who the fuck would snitch to the cops on me. I'm going to tear them apart like a bag of munchos. Take a breath there, cowboy. What's up with that roid rage? Did you take your dementia ass pills and forgotten you were a weak ass, Joe? Well, 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 what have we got here? Looks like we've got a smashed up ride, huh? What the, is that blood? Fuck, in somebody's hands. What happened? We needed that car, and now it's in worse shape than a beached whale. Well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? You mean you turned our ride into a scrap heap? Yeah, I screwed up, okay, so we'll just take some money off the treasury and fix the damn tax. Then. You think that's enough, Biden? We're running a business here, not a demolition derby. All right, all right, enough. Let's see if this bad boy will start up. Ray, touch your boys later. Wait, Obama doesn't know how to drive. Huh, that's interesting. I've never seen you driving Obama. I mean, being the big shot president and all you'd think he'd at least have a license to thrill. But hey, maybe he's too busy making big decisions to worry about navigating through traffic jams. I can't blame the guy though. Some folks just never got around to learning. I can hear you turds.
As a matter of fact, I know how to drive, all right? It's not that I can't, it's just that I prefer to be cautious. You won't catch me careening through red lights or causing chaos left and right. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Plus, I've got chauffeurs for a reason. It's convenient. Except the fact that you still don't know how to drive. I thought I'd seen it all, but you, my friend, take the cake. What have you been doing all these years? Hiding away in your fancy mansion, afraid to put your foot on the gas pedal. You'd think a man with your smarts would at least know how to rev an engine. But nah, you're probably more comfortable reading a book than taking the wheel. Holy crap. Guys, um, at the junction, and it seems as Magneto is in the area. Huh? What are you saying? The vehicles beside me seem to be floating in the air. Did you knock your head or something, Obama? Okay, I will assume Joe sparked up a joint in here. Now it's high as kicking in. Fuck you, Obama the llama. I don't do that shit. I thought it was kind of your thing. And did you just say you were at the junction? Yes, I was waiting for the traffic lights to turn green. And you call me old. Shut up, you crackhead. See, it's because of your reckless driving this taxi is barely moving. It's all fucked up. Maybe you don't know where the gas pedal is, motherfucker. Whatever. I gotta fix this car. And how are you gonna do that, smarty pants? I bet he will pull out some juju to fix the heap of metal. Juju? Come on, man. It's just a little know-how and elbow grease. Oh, well, sure. I bet you've got some ancient voodoo spell hidden in those hands. Considering your African roots, wave them around, say some magical words, and poof, car's good as new, right? <laughs> You're too much, man. It's just good old-fashioned fixing, Trump. No sorcery involved. All right, all right, I'll give you that. But if I catch you muttering any ancient incantations to fix a tire, don't ever talk to me. I don't need no wizardry frame. Come on, Obama. It wouldn't hurt giving a little bit of acceleration to that taxi. The GPS tracking your speed hasn't gone over 10 miles per hour. Hey, Barack, I've been meaning to ask you. Do you have a secret membership to the slow and steady club when it comes to driving? What do you mean? Well, I've noticed that whenever you drive, it feels like you're in sloth mode. I think even turtles might pass you by. Oh, come on, you fool. I just like to take my time, you know, savor the drive. I get it, I get it. But sometimes I wonder if you'll ever reach your destination before the next century begins. Maybe a little acceleration wouldn't hurt. All right, all right, quit teasing me. I think I see my passenger. Someone check out Mr. Old School. Cool over here. Rocking the timeless combo of the sweater and khakis like it's still the 80s. I mean, sure, if you're aiming for that dad on vacation vibe, he is absolutely nailing it. Well, his sweater looks like puke. Yo. Biden, this guy literally understands your fashion sense. Fuck you. Oh, there. Not much for small talk, huh? Aren't you surprised um, Obama like Obama, Barack Obama? No worries, I'll just take that as a cue to share a few stories from my wild and goofy childhood. Strap in, we're going for a ride down memory lane. What the hell, Obama? No one wants to hear your stupid stories. You know, growing up, I had this knack for getting into the silliest situations. There was this one time when I thought it'd be a genius idea to try and impress a girl by doing a backflip off a swing. Spoiler alert, it didn't go well. Let's just say it ended with me flat on my back in the sand and her running away more scared than impressed. Oh, and then there was this time I had this crazy dream that one day I'd make a real difference in people's lives. I was fascinated by leaders who stood up for what was right, who brought folks together, and I wanted to be a part of that change. I remember back in school, during those debate club sessions, I'd get fired up talking about making the world a better place. My buddies would chuckle, thinking it was just youthful enthusiasm, but deep down I knew I wanted to do something more. That's how I became the president of USA. What? Is Joe asleep? Yeah, thanks to your yapping and blabbering with your goofy ass stories. What, Eric, did Obama bring me an ice cream? No, you silly. Lucky you, you slept at least. You didn't have to hear Obama's story, which are making my ears bleed. As a matter of fact, I just narrated a little part from my biography. Don't know, don't care. Good sir, we've reached our destination. Jesus Christ. What? I just brought this moron all the way and all he can do is call me a bitch. And he didn't even give me his fare. Uh-huh. First time? Maybe if you would have kept that mouth shut, he would have considered tipping you. What's up with the taxi Obama? It's clean as a whistle. Is this the same old one Joe came with? Unlike Joe, I stick to keeping this taxi in one piece. Can't risk scaring off the customers. Show off. A few dents here and there add character. It's like a badge of honor for a taxi driver. You gotta give this car some street cred. Besides, who wants to ride in a taxi that looks like it just rolled off the assembly line? People want to feel the grit, the authentic Los Santos experience? Set yourself done. Them off, guys. Or do you two need a lift somewhere? I'll give you the Trump special discount. No thanks, Trump. I think I'll stick to my own wheels. 
But hey, if you manage to make it through a day without causing chaos, I'll buy you a drink. Challenge accepted, Biden. All right, got to go now. Customers to pick up, fares to collect. Trump, the taxi driver, coming in hot. Good luck, Trump. You're going to need it. Luck's got nothing on me, Obama. Watch out, Los Santos. Here comes Trump, the friendliest, wildest, most unconventional cabbie you'll ever meet. Oh, no, Trump. You better not scare off your first customer. Remember, it's not a joyride, it's a taxi service. Who's the lucky passenger going to be? Someone looking for a thrill ride around Los Santos. Poor guy won't know what hit him. Are you sure he's ready for the Trump taxi experience? Ooh. Oh, there is my first client. Wait, is he black? Yeah, so you know me, Obama ain't racist. Holy cow. This dude just entered the taxi and disappeared into the darkness. Shit. It's like looking under the bed. OK, um, I'm going to slide off with this one. Not cool. Not cool. Mahan? Trump, you should show your black passenger your mugshot. They might pass out. What do you mean by that? People love my mugshot. They were sharing it everywhere. Last, they liked it so much that they even started making funny jokes about it. Then that mugshot. Even Jeffrey Dahmer looked calmer and more collected. And he ate like 20 people. You are lucky you don't have one of those mugshots. Yourself, you don't even deserve to be sent to prison. The judge should straight up exile you to hell. You know, Don, you should put that mugshot up on billboards, man. It's like a public service announcement. Stay away from this guy. Oh, come on, guys. Are you too jealous? It has become an internet sensation. Fuck it. Yo, Melanin, aren't you going to pay me? Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you, bitch. You want to mess with me, huh? You think you can take on Daddy Trump? I got a stack of bills higher than your IQ, pal. Taxes coming at me like missiles. Bills banging on my door like it's the end of days. I've been grinding as a taxi driver, driving around this godforsaken city, trying to make ends meet. Life's throwing curveballs at me, and I'm playing without a freaking bat. You think I'm out here for the fun of it? I'm fighting tooth and nail just to keep the lights on while you clown mess with me. That should teach you, freaking pussy. Yo, Trump, what's up? You were offline for a minute. You want to know what's up? The sky, you old stupid motherfucker. You sound vexed, Mon. What happened? No biggie. I was just asking for fare politely for my passenger, and now he has even given me enough money. Let me order my dream car. How did this happen, Trump? Is there something you are not telling us? Shut up, you degenerate. I can't hear you over my excitement, bro. I've got the beast itself right here. Trump, would you please tell us what the fuck is going on? You sound like you just hit the jackpot. Oh, you bet your bottom dollar, Biden. Um, now, not going to ride in scrap of metal. You call a taxi um, coming with the real deal guys. That's sick, man. When do we get to see it? In a few. Obama, we're having a rendezvous of epic proportions. I'll roll up in this beauty, and we'll show this town what real horsepower looks like. Count me in, Donnie. Can't wait to witness this madness. I'm telling you, Joe, hers like a kitten and roars like a lion. I'm telling you, this baby's gonna make your hair stand on end. Woo-hoo, hold on to your hats, boys and girls. We're about to hit warp speed. The acceleration on this beast is like being shot out of a cannon. I swear, I can feel the G-forces reshaping my face. It's like I'm dancing with the devil himself, but man, this devil can move. The handling, the grip, it's like I'm one with the road. Oh, oh, do I get to drive a Trump? I'll be careful with this one, I promise. Dang Biden, would you look at that ride? Well, Donald, I've got to hand it to you. That's quite the car you've got there. Maybe you should consider trading it in for something a bit more environmentally friendly, though. You fool. This is pure automotive ecstasy. The sound, the feel, the sheer adrenaline rush. I've got a smile plastered on my face that's wider than the Grand Canyon. Hey, Joe, are you well today? Get set, we have a party to crash. So you're crashing a party today. Why am I so excited to hear this? It's been a couple of boring days. Yes, Barack. There has been a report of usurpers gathering led by Elon Musk. They plan to erupt chaos and take the government. Elon Musk, the richest man in the world. What does he want with the government? Trump, are you right about this information? Yes, Joe. He has started a mission to cause great unrest in virtually all cities in the U.S. He has tweeted multiple times to recruit more people to this mission. Joe, Elon Musk is a threat to your government. He's rich, uncanny, ambitious, and very dangerous. If given the chance, he will take over the Oval Office. What I'm saying in essence is, guys, let's go show this sucker who runs the city. Let's start a trouble that his money won't be able to solve. Wow, I'm moved by your speech. You do stutter as an orator than president. Shut the fuck up, man. You just got better with your sarcasm. I wish it was your government that did. 
I would have set out enough rousting, but that's how we get the motivation to do better in each mission. And yes, we have a billionaire to roast. G.I. Joe, let's just go do this. We have gotten the location of these usurpers. Let's go crash a party. I'm a condescend. All hands on deck. Barack, I need you to step into this with your A-game, better than you did in governance. Yes, I didn't take over the government to watch the nation burn to the ground by a group of lunatics led by a crazy, ambitious billionaire. Stop trying so hard to be a good leader. We all know you are not good at it. If you had done the right thing, common citizens wouldn't dare eye the presidency just because they are rich. Why do you always have to ruin a good speech? <laughs> he's good at making speeches anyways. I hope he's good at governance too. Failed government is a peculiar thing with the Democrats. I'm not surprised you two are from the same party. This is an unpopular opinion though. I think Trump's driving style in the last two minutes is more successful than Obama's eight years in governance. Barack, no hard feeling, bro. I'm just stating the obvious. Yeah, Joe, no offense taken, man. I would say I have a better hairline than the both of you anyways. It is something that is not common with whites, especially when old age starts setting in. I don't mean to sound racist, fellas. Was your mouth bridled on the highway? Because that's where most devastating accidents happen. Let's not lose perspectives. How do we take out these usurpers when we arrive at the point of engagement? They should get a more accurate signal when we get there. We crashed this party by assassinating Musk, as acolytes will bring the part to our place. It won't be a sweet gathering. Be prepared, guys. For guys, I have gotten the perfect signal. We won't be able to engage from this point. It will bring a lot of unwanted awareness. Let's climb up to the hills. And why can't we kill the motherfucker from, from here? Sparing his life for another few minutes can be disastrous to the entire nation. Being responsible for national security doesn't suit you. Stop trying so hard. It's just like Trump trying to change his hair to black. Don't mind the old man. Not Joe trying so hard to be a responsible president. That makes me sick to the stomach. Own it, man. You are in government to fulfill your selfish ambition. I think this is a perfect spot to take him out. Barack, please say a prayer for the soul of the billionaire. I wish his money can save him now. May his journey be rough. Yeah, since I'm the one with the best aim, I should do this great evil once more for the greater good of American citizens. Roger that, boss. Joe, please don't be too relaxed. We are getting out of here the moment Trump drops the banker. All right, fellas, let's get out of here. I'm driving because the party will follow us. Can't have an incompetent man on the wheel. Our lives depend on it. Time to show some real firepower. Take some guys. This will help bring the party home faster. Yes, yeah, since we have arrived at this point, what do we do next, boys? We would have an ar army acolytes on our trail shortly. Barack, you should upgrade your brain to digital capacity. This analog thinking isn't a good fit for any past or present us president. What do you mean by what do we do next? For the good of all Americans, I think we must review Barack Obama's government. I can't believe a man of a low mental psyche ruled America for years. I hope he did not sell America, Russia, and China. Once we get to a better place, I will pull over so we can properly engage these narcissistic bastards. This is my grand plan to rescue America from the mess my predecessor got us into. You monies have good plans on paper. They fall face flat. At the face of implementation, just like most of your policies, I hope you don't fail on this one. I would suggest we prepare for strict measures. Things might not go the exact way we planned or hoped for. Shut up, man. Why is it difficult to appreciate little things? Should I have approved the rainbow-colored guys and allow the world to go into extinction before 2050? I'm only trying to ensure the continuous existence of the world. Now, congratulations. You were able to ensure the continuous existence of the world, but lost the continuity of your government. Trump, you are doing an amazing job on the wheel. Better than Barack, if I must say. Barack's poor driving skill almost ruined our last adventure. As bad as you claimed it is, I made sure we had fun. And most importantly, I ensured we got out of the place alive. We were driving through the hills and valleys. We must find something to take cover. The more psycho freaks are coming already. Let me check out this building. It looks sturdy enough. Yeah, I think this is more reliable than Democrats promised to save America. You both should get in here before you get shot in the ass. Joe, will you get in here now, Trump? I can see a vehicle approaching. Should I engage it from here? I should have a better shot at it from here. No, Barack, I will take them from here. You take cover and avoid getting shot. So sad, none of your policies can save you from the rain of bullets coming. Stay under my watch and follow my command. You will be fine. These guys are clever bastards. But I know how to dodge bullets better than Trump knows how to aim. You may need to get a little closer to get a better aim. And since you are the mighty Donald Trump, you are capable of saving the day without help. I'm going out to take on these suckers. 
Barack, please cover me and look after Joe. He seems to be a little out of shape today. That's one of the downsides of old age. Hey, Barack and Joe, watch and learn. This is how to unsit the demisal power. If you want something, go all out to take it. Don't give a hoot what nobody is saying. Trump's bragging right is even more annoying and exhausting than his cheap limericks and empty threats. We must get out of here. Our work here is done. Hey, fellas, move it. Are your legs heavy? It's Barack, stay awake and stay awake and be ready to engage. If any vehicle or bike comes closer to us, treat them as an enemy of this. It must be so easy for you to say. Oh, you sit there backing orders. That's more like the best you can do. Hide behind the glamour of your office and bark orders at your subordinate. You have hardly done a thing successfully since we began this adventure. Will you two stop that bickering and stay focused on this mission? Two grown men with failed perspectives. You easily fall off like a pack of matches. I hate to break the fun, but what are we to do? Like these groups of Mongols have gone back on our trail, and it could to be a setup for them to bring the battle to our door. I say we make proper plans just in case things go south. Well, 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 Sleepy Joe and Obamacare are trying to live up to their expectations. As much that this doesn't suit you both, it is still interesting to see that you both care about national security. Everything I did in an office was in the best interest of the good of America. There was nothing I did in my interest I gave us to America. No wonder I spent years fixing the mess I inherited from your government. After you, it will take two solid us presidents like myself to fix the problem you created and get America back on the track of growth. Enough, both of you. We need to find a conning ground for America to thrive again. Unlike you, Trump, I'm more interested in solving real world problems than starting a war with careless tweets. Sincerely, we appreciate your time in office and your style of governance can't be forgotten so quickly either. However, America needs to be on a new path to growth, which I'm more convinced that Joe would get us there. Yes, we really need to plan. Who knows what the group of Montreals are planning to do. We need to strategize better than before. So yes, I approve the suggestion that we return to base and make proper plans for our next mission. Joe, you must really think this car is an extension of the Oval Office. Your authority as us president isn't recognized here, bro. But yes, we will return to base to make proper planning for the next adventure. You mentioned one area of governance you did better than Joe. He has been able to do in the last two what you could not do in your four years in office. I am bold to say the Democrats make better presidents than the Republicans. I have been working for America for the better part of my life. It's a key part of my life. I have passed bills, fought for the middle class, and now I'm working on infrastructure. I'm not some kind of opportunist. Everything I've earned today, I worked my ass off to get them. Go check the records. Here we are. First, do know that things exactly go according to plan today. But that doesn't mean we have not achieved anything. Remember, the Affordable Care Act was not perfect, but that doesn't mean it was entirely useless. And just before we disperse, do remember who led you on such a hassle-free adventure today. It can only be Donald Trump. Like I said, it is not about victories, but about serving America. All we have done today is in the best interest of America. Always remember that first before you brag about victories. All right, guys. We did well today, better than Donald Trump's entire plan and vision for America. But remain at alert, we might be needed soon. For now, let's get some rest. Hello, YouTube. We are becoming bigger and bigger by every day, so I thought, why not to go back and enjoy our last 10 GTA 5 videos? Wow, sleepy man, you are making progress. That's a good sign, that's a brilliant idea. But before we start, I wanna shout out to all of our viewers for their comments and likes. Thank you guys for your support. Now it's time for GTA, let's move on. The last time I called you all out for a mission in the middle of the night, I remember how hard Obama tongue lashed me. Guess who just called us out here by quarter past 12 a.m.? So guys, before we move on, I wanna shout out to Sion7191. Donnie, did you catch that commentary where someone offered you $500 million for a shout out? Yeah, Joe, can you believe it? My shout out is worth a cool half billion. I've been thinking, Don, with that kind of money, you could finally buy a decent hairstylist. Joe, 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 coming from the guy who needs a GPS just to find his way through a sentence. Ha, 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 ha. Nice try, little Donnie. Anyway, guys, please subscribe, turn notifications on so you won't miss any upload. Trumpy, you may be right, but there are a thousand and one ways to welcome our viewers into the video, and this one right there isn't one of them. Are we focused on the correct way to make an introduction or actually letting either of us know when we are in the wrong? No one is disputing that. From my statement, I made that clear too. Anyway, maybe you just don't get the point. It is understandable. 
Away from this conversation, I hate how Obama-Rama continues to roam around, fooling us into believing he isn't the center of this argument. Beyond disrespectful, it shows how badly behaved this poorly educated African-American is and continues to be. Hey, hey, I would accept a lot of things, but not racism. I wouldn't stand you racially profiling me while making you believe we are on good terms. Racism is a no-no for me, too. And I am sure this applies to several other viewers watching us on this channel. Maybe an apology would do a lot of control to the damage you have caused. A minute away from that catastrophic start into the video, what exactly are we up to tonight? What couldn't wait until tomorrow that makes us dial emergency numbers to get a lift out here this midnight? I literally just said the same thing, but in different ways, but you all wouldn't allow me to catch my breath. Hypocrites! Maybe your manner of approach is what was wrong. Sometimes you might be making a very valid argument, but how you present it might be the problem why people wouldn't see you as a serious fellow. That doesn't answer the question anyway. And I am pretty sure Baraki is extremely excited. We have drifted so far off the point of the question. So I ask again, Obama, what is our mission tonight? First, we left the cars parked over there, ran about 200 meters in the middle of nowhere to end up with this rickety machine. And yet, Obama-Rama wouldn't let us know why we had to leave our wives and journey with him tonight. Enough of your shenanigans, guys. I understand we are worried about what we are up to in the dead of the night. I swear I am equally confused, too. You are what? Haven't you comprehensively discussed with your sources to know the intricacies of the task? If you are confused, how then are we, who don't know shit about your sources, understand the mission for tonight? I would keep quiet until Baraki deems it fit to let us out of this dark room. Speaking of dark rooms, we are literally about to experience that holy in a minute or two. So apparently there is an impending invasion of ghosts about to hit this city. I do not know how we should handle the situation, but we are meant to stop that calamity from happening. Wait, do ghosts die? Because I am really, really confused right now. If they don't die, how then do we handle them? This is late into the night. We have been roaming for several minutes now, drenched in the rain like a toddler who lost his way home during winter. Still, we do not have a clear direction. I think we have a very clear direction. But what may be left is deciding if this is what we want to take on or otherwise. Wait, so this time we actually have a choice? OK, this is good then. Not a choice per se, but I think we can decline this time. To be honest, I think this task is somewhat impossible, too. But I wouldn't want to think on your behalf. So, yeah, what are we saying, buddies? What are we saying, but you haven't waited a minute to have an actual conversation. From all indications, you are obviously gassed for this mission and cannot wait to actually see what a ghost looks like and maybe hypnotize them from invading the city. Invading right there sounds extremely scary. This means we have tens of thousands of ghosts right in this uncompleted building and only the three of us who are equally armless are expected to hold them off. This is peak foolishness for your sources and you, Obama, who even think it is worthy of consideration. I made this clear already. We are having this conversation primarily because I do not think on our behalf. Yes, we function as a team, but definitely we all have varying biases. In fact, I would say it is surprising to know that we all are against undertaking this mission. Mm, somehow it is thoughtful of you to take us into consideration. Perhaps I and Donald have been unnecessarily harsh then. Well, hold on, Baraki. Do not conclude yet. On second thought, seeing what ghosts actually look like and maybe even wrestling with them sounds adventurous and exciting. I mean, think about it. Somehow it even adds to our portfolio. Imagine bragging that you have wrestled a ghost before. I bet no one would believe you, but unconsciously, they would find themselves scared of you. And this itself is the basis of power. Think about it. You see why I said I couldn't just reject the mission outrightly? Don't blame me, Biden, but I think tonight wouldn't be that bad. Let's mess up these motherfuckers who have refused to remain in their respective graves. Or maybe they would mess you up instead and deprive Michelle and Melania of seeing any of you again. Think about your family for a minute, guys. Biden, technically, you have two obvious options placed in front of you to choose from. First, you can choose to go back into the vehicle and sleep your eyes out as you love to do. I swear neither I nor Obama-Rama would miss you. Or you shut your smelly mouth up, quit being a retired pussy, and let's do this together. Wait, guys, have none of you actually thought about the fact that it is almost impossible for us as humans to see these ghosts with our naked eyes? To put this into perspective, we have been in this building for about a while now, but haven't seen any ghosts. To think that we were actually expecting a battalion to rush us once we entered this premises. Or maybe they are already rushing us and causing us damage, but we cannot feel them because they are actually dead. I cannot feel any damage, and I swear all these analyses are making us sound so stupid and dumb. We are somehow bordering on hallucinations.
You are the current president, Biden. You should have information about something like this. Or, oh, I almost forgot that you are actually a puppet and not the actual person lording over the United States. That is a lame attack on my personality, by the way. But honestly, I don't think I have come across a structure like this in our documentation. Why not let us ask the self-crowned best president of the United States so far? F you sleeping, Joe. Was that last statement necessary? I guess we are still very excited because we haven't encountered any of these spirits. But think about it. What about if they weren't actually preparing to invade the city, but just existing happily until they find true rest? Or maybe there are no ghosts here, and Obama's sources instructed us to come here to distract us from any of their shady dealings. This is a very good possibility, too. There hasn't been any threat since we began. Although my legs are aching already, Baraki, I think you need to reduce your pace. We are adults running after you, not some teenagers. If we continue running around at this pace, you might be the one to take us to the nearest hospital, especially Biden. You understand how dumb and not so bright he has become thanks to old age and excessive snorting of cocaine? I promise tonight isn't about me, but all of us. We are all victims of premeditated circumstances. You should know this by now. Ah! But... Let us not drift off the point. We can run around all day and still not meet any of these ghosts. They are called spiritual beings for a reason. How about we calm our nerves down and look more carefully? We might be able to see them, but first I think we need to eliminate the fear factor. My mama used to tell me this when I was a teenager. I do not mean to speak ill against the dead, but your mama does not seem to appear bright for telling you that. And that is the absolute truth. Donald, Donald, language. I don't think there is any dignity in appearing so uncouth and uncontrollable. There are limits and boundaries that we should never cross, regardless of how bitter we are against each other. I could easily get into a dirty fight with you right now, but I am light years smarter than you are. I acknowledge this might be one of the strategies of the ghosts to create a divide among us and leave us to kill ourselves. I bet Donald cannot see this. He is too bitter to see beyond his nose. How do you know how I taste, Obama-rama? Have you sucked my dick before, or did you ask Michelle for reviews? This has to be the umpteenth time we will ascend and descend these stairs. My legs are screaming for mercy at this point. Wait, did you guys see that? I swear I saw it, the ghost, I swear. Or was it my shadow? I think I did too, but that resulting lightning didn't make my sight last much longer. How come I didn't see anything? Old age, Biden, you should know this by now. I'd recommend you include a lot of carrots in your diet. I hear they help with eyesight. Do they help see ghosts in the middle of the night in a godforsaken haunted building too? <laughs> I don't think that was as funny as you just laughed right now, Obama-rama. I know you love bombs, but I do not know you too. Now blow things out of proportion too. Okay, okay, these play on words are killing me right now. I have even lost focus on the gameplay. But please, don't stop. Keep it going. I love to see this side of you two old men. Don't stop. Right there sounds very sexual. Are you getting those orgasmic feelings already? I bet Michelle is jealous right now. See us doing what she couldn't for more than 25 years. Ha 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 ha. Okay, you both just ruined the moment with your adult jokes. But I swear you could still be sexual without having to bring Michelle into the mix. How does doing that even make sense to you? Well, it seems we have lost focus and we're basically basking in the euphoria of the moment. We needed something to bring our head back into the game and I'm glad it worked. <laughs> there are many baffling situations that I have seen and heard of, but this one right here is the biggest. How did Joe Biden and Donald Trump suddenly become patties and ganging up to make me look like a fool? Shit. Is that not another ghost in that room over there? See the bright light? It is similar to what we met earlier. What? A ghost or an animal? Did it just turn into that rhino or you saw a completely different thing? Hmm. But away from that, it is almost dawn and we have only seen or met two ghosts or animals. I thought you said this is a hot spot. Are we here for just two spiritual beings? My worry is how do we know they have been eliminated? I cannot use dead because of course, do ghosts die? We are in the same shoes of confusion. But I think the lightning that ensued after we saw them is all we needed to know that they had been deactivated. I hope that is the right word to use. Phew. Finally, there is one mission where we do not have to use our guns. Just roam around hoping to meet a spirit and deactivate them. The true definition of if you fuck around, you will find out. Well, the night is almost up, and if you peep into the sky, you will see that the sun is fast approaching and cannot wait for the moon to disappear into the cloud. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. I swear Joe Biden has just been possessed. In my 77 years of existence on planet Earth and more than three decades of hearing about and personally knowing Joe Biden, he has never sounded this smart in my ears. His metaphorical use of words is too good to be true. How about you think about it on the flip side, saying it is you who is actually possessed, 
and say the possession has made your ears clearer and you can now hear words the way they should be heard? I swear being the devil's advocate doesn't sound as cool as you think it does. At best, it makes you appear very gullible and stupid. Safe to say, you sound like a broken record right now. But his point was sleek, not going to lie. To be honest, at some point, I think I can no longer feel my legs. Is this an effect of us going up and down the stairs or the ghosts doing their sh Nah, this is definitely an aftermath of stress and has nothing to do with these poor spirits. Take responsibility for your old body and don't try to shift the blame on these innocent guys. Who also believes these guys here are harmless? We have seen two, and deactivating them was easier than a toddler learning the alphabet. I mean, we just pointed our torches at them, and boom, they were gone. But Obama-rama, I suggest changing your sources. These guys aren't up to any good, and at best deserve to be probed thoroughly by the FBI or maybe any other parastatal grader. They seem to know too much, way too much, which could be disastrous. Is there actually any other security parastatal greater than the FBI? Is that the only thing you could pick from my last statement? This selective deafness is loud and requires urgent medical and physical attention. Physical? What the f is blood talking about? I would have considered Biden a threat, but with those shaky hands that look like they are begging for rest? Nah, man cannot even clean his anus comfortably after taking a shit. Talk less of raising them to slap someone as tall as me. Anyway, Baraki, that was some Gen Z vibes. Who have you been hanging out with? Is Michelle aware of your recent escapades? Because I said blood? Come on, do not be a dickhead or on a more serious... Did any of you see that guy beside Donald Trump just a minute ago? What the f*** do you mean beside me? Oh, goodness, God damn it! I need to visit a spiritual center once it is daybreak to cleanse myself. Ha 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 ha, stop it, Donald. Do you mean you believe in those spiritual shenanigans? You do not believe in them? Trumpy, anything that cannot be proven by science doesn't exactly hold water to me. We can go all day on this conversation, but I am pretty sure it won't change my stance. Doesn't that not make you, again, sound like adult? You do not believe in the spiritual, but you are here haunting for ghosts? Can you point me in the direction of any scientific study or research that extensively explains the existence of ghosts? I and everyone else watching you this minute is waiting. Donald, you took that straight out of my mouth, of course, apart from the abusive part. I wonder how much longer you want to lick a set and how many more asses have left to lick. Even on YouTube, you cannot call out the bluff of your fellow, maybe because of a future reward. Pathetic cunt, I spit on you. Is it as crazy as this? Donald, perhaps you need to cool off a bit. Too bad even the rain that drenched us earlier tonight wasn't enough to cool the boiling Donald down. Ha 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 That is definitely not funny. I guess you have used up your comedy bundle tonight. Let's see what you will come up with by tomorrow. Speaking about metaphysics, how bad do you think it would be if the supposed ghosts in this building decided to invade the United States by dawn? Speaking about metaphysics, how bad do you think it would be if the supposed ghosts in this building decided to invade the United States by dawn? I think otherwise. What if they invade and realize we aren't harmful just as we believe they see us as? What has happened so far tonight would be the same scenario too, yeah? Another proof that you are a poorly programmed robot. Do you know what the word invade means? One, I am not a robot, and fuck you for calling me that time and time again. Secondly, yes, I know what invade means. You haven't earned the right to teach me the meaning of words. I would say this again, Joe is glitch. This is not the true version that we all know. How did you become so coherent and sleek with your words? Each of them sounds so articulated. Using Baraki's words against you, perhaps it is you who just got your ears repaired and can now hear words precisely as they are pronounced and what they mean. Who, like me, also believes we have overstayed our welcome in this godforsaken ghost environment? Well, we have no proof that this is actually a hotspot because so far tonight we have only found three. Or did anyone else see any? But yes, I think we have overstayed. This is almost 7 a.m. We should be retiring to bed this minute. It has been a long night of climbing and descending in search of what may not be lost. Well, don't forget, I gave the both of you one of your best missions ever just a few weeks ago when we went on that heavenly boat cruise. As we agreed earlier, that experience cannot be forgotten anytime soon. One of the best, if not the best so far. But that doesn't eliminate Joe's prayers. Or does it? We need to get busy with what truly matters. Sure, I get the point completely. Since none of these spirits is showing themselves to us again, I suggest it is time to retire to the bosoms of our wives. And that is for us who are still on good terms with them. If you have someone who you want to call out, speak to them directly and stop communicating in parables. Doing that makes him only appear duller, and I love to see him that way. Okay, guys, subscribe. F*** you for saying that ahead of me. That is my freaking job to do. Face yours and do it diligently instead of being a figurehead president. Did anyone allocate tasks for one another on this channel?
owe these guys a lot of cash. Listen, man, if you don't hear from me tomorrow... Guys, did you catch the news yesterday? That Terminator guy, he's not just a myth, came out of the water asking for U.S. presidents, even took out a few people. Wait a minute, guys. Joe, did you hear this guy? He's offering me a shout out for $560 billion. Now that's a deal I'd consider, unlike your rigged election accusations. Ha 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 ha. Oh, come on, Donald. You know those election claims are baseless, but seriously, 560 billion? That's a bit steep. And by the way, I'd prefer a lifetime supply of ice cream over a one-time payment. It's a better deal. What? Ice cream, Joe? Really? You must be desperate. $560 billion is a tremendous offer, much like the tremendous success I had as president. Anyway, a big thank you to Zlatan Messeronaldo for this comment. Thank you, guys. Now, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any upload. Yeah, I saw that. Looks like we're not just dealing with politics anymore. This is some next-level action movie stuff. Asking for presidents? He should be careful what he wishes for. I've dealt with worse in the boardroom and on reality TV. You think the Terminator can handle a boardroom brawl? Donald, I don't think your boardroom tactics are going to intimidate a cyborg from the future. Speaking of the motherfucking devil, here comes that tin can. That metal maniac is coming right for us. You know, I thought after leaving the Oval Office, the most challenging thing I'd be doing is writing memoirs or maybe a bit of kite surfing. But here we are, former and current presidents dodging a Terminator. I mean, isn't this a job for Schwarzenegger or someone from Hollywood? Barack, I hear you. But you know as well as I do, once you're in the game, you're always in the game. And right now, this game involves keeping ourselves off this cyborg's hit list. Game? This is better than any reality show I've been on. But I agree, I should be on a golf course right now, not in a shootout with a robot. What the? Well, Donald, at least this is one situation you can't solve with a tweet. All right, let's focus. We've got a Terminator to outsmart. And when we're done, Barack, I promise you can go back to kite surfing or whatever retired presidents do. We need to get to a car now. This thing is too strong and we're sitting ducks out here. What kind of firepower is that thing packing? It's like a bullet storm. It's spraying bullets like it's a 4th of July fireworks show. It's a machine gun, Donald. That's a machine gun, Donald. The Terminator always comes equipped with heavy artillery. It's like his version of a presidential motorcade, but with more firepower and less diplomacy. We need a plan. This isn't just about firepower. It's about outmaneuvering this metal monster that thinks it's smarter than us. Smarter than you, maybe, Joe. But me? I can't be outsmarted by a tin can on wheels. I've dealt with tougher negotiations on a golf course. How about we lure it into a trap? I've got plenty of experience dealing with traps, both in business and in politics. Uh, I'm not sure your experience with Twitter feuds is going to help us here, Donald. Barack's right. We've got to be smarter than this thing. It's not just about brute strength. Brute strength, smarts, I've got it all. Why do you think I was elected in the first place? This Terminator doesn't stand a chance. Well, let's hope your confidence is as bulletproof as that Terminator seems to be. That thing has sick aim. It's like it's got every move calculated. Sick aim? Please, I've seen better shooting at my golf resorts, but I'll admit it's persistent. It's not just about aim. It's a machine programmed to terminate. We're not just dealing with a skilled shooter. We're dealing with advanced AI. Advanced AI or not, it's not taking us down. We face tougher challenges in the Oval Office. Yeah, like dealing with the press, but at least the press doesn't shoot at you. Well, not with bullets anyway. So we're dealing with specialized AI, huh? Why don't we just ask ChatGPT or Siri how to deal with a robot maniac? Maybe they've got some insider tips. I'm not sure ChatGPT is programmed to handle Terminator scenarios, Donald, but I like your creative thinking. Actually, that's not a bad idea. These AI assistants might not have combat strategies, but they could have some useful information. Worth a shot. Yeah, maybe ask it how to negotiate with a cyborg. I'm sure it's got a chapter on that. Joe, are you blind? What are you shooting at? Can't you see that Metalhead is on the fucking roof? Damn, you're right. This thing's more agile than it looks. Joe, maybe it's time you got some glasses. Or is it just your age catching up with you? Even I can see that thing, and I'm not the one who's supposed to be the sharpshooter here. Eyesight jokes, really? We'll see who's laughing when I take that thing down. Let's go uphill so we can get an advantage of taking that thing out. Wait a minute, I remember watching the Terminator movies. These machines can't withstand extreme heat. The only way to deal with it might be using explosives. Explosives? That's a risky move, Barack. But if you think it'll work, we should consider it. Explosives? Now you're speaking my language. Why didn't we start with that? Let's blow this metal freak back to the future. Explosives are exciting you that much, Trump? I thought you preferred Twitter wars to actual warfare. Joe, when you've been in the spotlight as long as I have, you learn to appreciate the bigger bangs. And what's bigger than blowing up a Terminator? 
Just remember, Donald, this isn't one of your real estate demolitions. Precision is key here. We need to be careful. We can't just set off explosives in the middle of Los Santos. We need a controlled environment. Leave that to me, Obama. All right, let's move. We'll need to lure it in carefully. This has to be precise. Has anyone thought about what this thing actually wants with us? Can't you see, Barack? It wants us dead. That's kind of the whole Terminator MO. Dead? Well, it's going to have to get in line. I've had tougher opponents in the boardroom. Yeah, but why us? There's got to be a reason. These things don't just go after anyone. They have targets for a reason. What's wrong with these people, too? Well, I don't think it's here to discuss health care reform, Barack. Health care reform? Please, this thing probably wants to terminate that more than us. All jokes aside, understanding its motive could be the key to stopping it. If we know what it wants, we can predict its moves. We need to think about why it's targeting us specifically. There's always a method to the madness, even with machines. Maybe it's not about us personally. Could be what we represent, power, authority, the American way. Watch out, Biden. What the fuck? Or maybe it's just a really big fan of presidential history. Wanted autographs and got its wires crossed. Autographs with bullets, Donald? That's one way to leave a mark. Focus, guys. If we understand its programming, we might find a weakness. Right, it's not just a machine, it's a programmed entity with objectives. If we can disrupt those... Disrupt, destruct, same thing. Let's just get to the explosives part already. Patience, Donald. A good plan is like a good campaign. It takes time to develop. And like any campaign, it's all about the execution. Let's make sure we do this right. Take that, you metal maniac. This is for the red, white, and blue. Yeah, well, let's see how it likes a taste of good old-fashioned American ingenuity. Joe, I didn't know you had it in you. Remind me not to get on your bad side. Just adding Terminator takedown to my resume. You think that'll impress the grandkids? I'd say it's a story worth telling, but let's make sure it has a good ending first. Good ending? I'm thinking more like a blockbuster finale. Do we have any popcorn? Popcorn's for movie night, Donald. Right now, we've got a sequel to prevent. Right. Let's make sure this is the last we see of our metallic friend here. More like a scrapyard candidate. Let's wrap this up. What's going on? Have these firefighters been possessed by the Terminator? No, you fool. Terminators don't possess people, but they can mimic any human form. Shapeshifters, great. Just what we needed. Out of the ordinary? We're fighting off firefighters in the middle of a Terminator hunt. I'd say we're way past ordinary. Wait up for me. We need to stick together. It's the only way we can watch each other's backs. Well, if nothing else, we've got a great story for the press. Three presidents unite to save the world from a robot apocalypse. I can see the headlines now. Trump, Obama, and Biden, heroes of the modern age. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? As long as they spell our names right, I'm good with whatever headline they choose. Let's not count our headlines before they're printed. We've still got work to do. The heck? Can anyone actually see that thing? It's using the darkness to its advantage. Look for the glare, the reflection off its metal body. Movement, glare, got it. This is like looking for a needle in a haystack, but the needle's trying to kill you. That thing is relentless. It really wants to terminate us. Keep your eyes peeled. We can't let our guard down for a second. I've got a plan. We find the Terminator, and I throw a grenade at it. Let's see if it can handle that. A grenade, Joe? What is this, a video game? You think you're just going to respawn if it goes wrong? Let's if anything goes wrong. Here goes nothing. Did that thing just jump on the grenade? That's not exactly the brightest move. Maybe we're dealing with a Terminator from the discount aisle or a Made in China Terminator. A Made in China Terminator? What's next? Buy one, get one free? That thing definitely didn't read the user manual. I guess even Terminators can have an off day. Must have skipped the chapter on how to avoid grenades. Well, this one sure made our mission a lot easier. It's not every day you see a robot make a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake? That's an understatement. It practically gift-wrapped itself for us. Next time we're facing a high-tech threat, remind me to bring more grenades. Seems like they're the new universal solution. Let's just hope there's no next time with rogue terminators. One is more than enough for my lifetime. Agreed. And if there is a next time, let's make sure we get the upgraded model. You know, one that knows how to dodge. I'm just glad it worked, but let's not start celebrating until we're sure it's down for good. Oh, it's down all right? I will make sure it never gets to never wake up from here. I'm just glad it worked, but let's not start celebrating until we're sure it's down for good. Oh, it's down all right. I'll make sure it never gets to wake up from here. Joe, since when did you become the Terminator of Terminators? You planning on giving it a bedtime story too? No bedtime stories, Barack. Just ensuring our friend here takes a permanent nap. Well, if it does wake up, tell it I said, you're fired. It's about time it learned the art of losing gracefully. Graceful isn't a word I'd associate with a hunk of metal. But then again, after today, I'm not sure what to expect anymore. Expect the unexpected, gentlemen. That's been the theme of our little adventure today. Unexpected? That's putting it mildly. Next time I suggest golf, remind me of this day.
What is wrong with this people today? I saved them from a freaking Terminator and they can't thank me. Bow down to the Obaminator. I don't think that's the Obaminator, Biden. That's a fireworks launcher. And maybe we should focus on not hurting innocent people while we're at it. A fireworks launcher? Well, that explains the light show. But hey, Obaminator has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I better get to safety before this j lights me up too. Speaking of lighting, I'm not satisfied that this thing is dead. How about we light it up with petrol? I want to burn its ugly face to ashes. Joe, that's going a bit overboard, don't you think? It's pretty clear that it's dead. We don't need a bonfire to confirm that. You can never be too sure, Barack. These Terminators are tricky. One minute they're down, the next they're back with a vengeance. Biden's right. If movies taught me anything, it's that you need to double tap. Or in our case, maybe a double burn. Double tap, double burn, this isn't a zombie movie, Donald. It's a machine, not a creature from a horror flick. Machine or not, I say we make sure. A little fire never hurt anyone. Well, except for the thing we're burning. Well, if we're starting a bonfire, I'm not missing out. But let's at least roast some marshmallows while we're at it. Leave it to you, Donald, to turn a mission into a camping trip. Next, you'll be asking for ghost stories. Ghost stories? With our luck, we'd probably summon another Terminator. Let's stick to the burning plan. Joe. Be careful with those flammables. You know that's dangerous, right? Leave me alone, Barack. I'm not a child. I know what I'm doing. Easy there, Biden. We're just looking out for you. Don't want you turning into the human torch now. Yeah, Joe. It's not about treating you like a child. We just don't want an accidental barbecue with us as the main course. I appreciate the concern, but this Terminator isn't roasting itself, and I want to make sure it's really out of commission. What the hell, Biden? Are you trying to roast us along with the Terminator? Joe, what's going on? You could have warned us before turning this into a bonfire. Come on, you two, stop behaving like kids. It was just a little fire. You're acting like it was a blazing inferno. A little fire, Joe? That little fire nearly singed our eyebrows off. There's a fine line between bravery and recklessness. Yeah, and you just pole vaulted over that line, Biden. I like a good thrill as much as the next guy, but not when it comes with third degree burns. All right, all right, I might have been a bit hasty, but the job's done, isn't it? No harm, no foul. The Terminator is definitely out of commission now. Mission accomplished, right? Mission accomplished, sure. But next time, let's leave the pyrotechnics out of it. My heart can't take much more of this. Agreed, let's stick to strategies that don't involve near-death experiences. I think we've had enough excitement for one day. You know what? I'm still not satisfied. I think we should use C4s just to be absolutely sure. Oh, come on, Biden. This is getting ridiculous. The Terminator is already a pile of ashes. C4s? Really, Joe? What's next? Calling in an airstrike. I think we've done enough damage for one day. You can never be too careful with these things. What if it's just playing dead? We need to be thorough. Joe, thorough is checking twice, not blowing it up twice. We're dealing with a destroyed robot, not a magic trick. Let's focus on getting out of here and laying low for a while. We've attracted enough attention for one day. So what's this, Joe? We're starting a paramedics mission now? Should I start brushing up on my CPR skills? You never know, Barack. Maybe we'll save some lives along the way, from presidents to paramedics. Talk about a career change. Paramedics, I don't do well with blood unless it's in a steak. Then it's a different story. Don't worry, Donald. If we run into any medical emergencies, we'll let you handle the paperwork. Paperwork? I thought we were trying to avoid attention, not fill out forms at the hospital. Well, at least in an ambulance, nobody questions your speeding. Joe, maybe this is your kind of vehicle after all. Exactly, Donald. Quick and efficient, just how I like it. Maybe we should consider a second career after all. I'm telling you, we need to dump this ambulance and torch it. It's the only way to cover our tracks completely. Joe, do whatever you want, but torching an ambulance? That's a bit extreme, don't you think? Extreme times call for extreme measures, Barack. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Sure, Joe. But last time I checked, making omelets didn't involve arson. And what's with the sudden fascination with fire, Joe? You planning on joining the circus as a fire eater next? Very funny, Donald. But we can't just leave this ambulance here. It's evidence waiting to be found. There are ways to cover our tracks without turning into pyromaniacs, Joe. Ever heard of being subtle? Subtle? Joe wouldn't know subtle if it hit him in the face. Hmm. What a peaceful morning for a peaceful day. I sure hope that nothing could go wrong on this fine day. Sleepy Joe, stop talking to yourself and get in the car. Not a morning person, Trump? I'm neither a morning nor a night person. I don't even like today. I don't even like anything, to be exact. I don't even know why I'm here doing what I dislike the most. I guess you're an asshole then? I won't confirm or deny it. You guys should really try doing yoga. It's a great way to let out all the negative things inside your body. Well, 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 guys, we have a smart fan out here, and his name is Jonathan Acolin 2012. You know, Jonathan, I am the oldest here, and of course, because of my long journey, I am also the smartest. <laughs> is this a comedy show or something like that? Or maybe you are commenting from another device, so someone will be on your side sleepy? 
Nah, Donnie, I am honest player, so this shout out is 100% fair. Ha 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 ha, good comedy show. Guys, please subscribe now so you won't miss any new upload. Jill and I attend a yoga class near our house. Our neighbors are yoga instructors and they were great enough to teach us. I don't think yoga can exterminate such a negative being like Trump, though we could try. Quick, do a flip. Ha ha, very funny, Obama. And actually doing a flip isn't a yoga move. Actually, I don't even think you can do yoga with that big belly preventing you. You really are trying to kill yourself, are you, buddy? Fuck you, I'm not fat, I'm just big bone. My weight is practically normal. Tell that to the 12 Big Macs you just ordered. Even watching you eat that is giving me a heart attack. Oh my God, who did we just fucking hit? Is it a person, what the actual fuck? Uh, maybe it was just a deer. Oh my God, what will we do? Maybe we should just check it if they are still alive. What will we do if they're still alive? He is definitely dead. Look, there are people over there. They are probably going to call the cops. We should kill them. You have done enough. We should all just run. Just get in the car and let's think of a plan. Fuck. We should just ran before they still haven't noticed. Michelle would be totally pissed if she finds out. I think we better get into the car and ram his body before he wakes up. I think he's still alive. You really think that hitting him twice would solve all our problems? Just drive the damn car? It would solve one problem, that's for sure, a dead problem. Fuck you, Joe. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here in this situation. And you're laughing. If you only had given me a heart attack also, then maybe we wouldn't be in this situation. It's all your fault, you know that. Really? You're blaming me. He's got a point, Donald. You should have just killed Sleepy Joe if you had gotten a chance. But of course, you just had to let him live. I'm not the one at fault here. I won't dirty my hand for that guy. Maybe I should just strangle him instead. Wow, wow, I'm not that kinky, Donald. Fucking come here and I would attack your heart, literally. I will fucking stab you and let you bleed in this bloody road. Hey, this is not time to fucking fight. They have probably called the police right now. I think we should all lay low for now. Maybe find somewhere peace and quiet where no one would be looking for us. This ladies wouldn't get any work with them hoeing around. They all have that bad posture, SMH. So am I not your friend? No one is my friend, neither Obama nor you. No one in this goddamn car is my friend. You are all my enemies. I'm not your friend? You know, I'm just bluffing. You are literally my homie. We've been together through thick and thin. You are like a brother to me. Hey, what about me? So am I not your friend, your compadre, your chingu, your tamagotchi? I cannot give you a fucking heart attack, Sleepy Joe. Just fucking stop with your weird obsession. Then you aren't my friend at all. True friends give each other a heart attack, and right now you aren't. That is what I have been trying to say. You weren't my friend in the first place. You're an idiot. That's who you are. I don't know who I am anymore. I might as well change my career and be a farmer. Now that I no longer have someone to call my friend, a lone farmer, that is who I am. How is that going to help? You just can't do that. You have responsibilities. I can and I will. I will be the best farmer in this farm has ever seen. I will drive this tractor and resurrect the dying economy of farmers worldwide. You are just destroying the crops at this point. You aren't even helping them. Stop. Hey, the man has been heartbroken. At least be a little supportive, Donald. I don't support being an idiot. Look at him. This guy's an idiot. Farewell, my friends. I might have been the best president in the entire galaxy. Matt, I wouldn't say you were the best. More like the Stan. Actually, a baby would do much better. You were the worst for sure. One of the worst. I don't even know why you got voted. You were worse too, Donald. Oh, please. Your term wasn't perfect either. And I wasn't hiding the fact that I was the worst because I'm not. End of story. But I think I should just move on and be a farmer instead. A very handsome and charming farmer. I think you shouldn't be any of that options. Actually, you shouldn't be anything at all. You are just a menace to society, intentional or not. Hey, buddy. I think it's not really a time and place to change jobs. I know we are in a pickle right now, but you are really just ruining the crops these ladies planted. I am not ruining the crops. I am reinventing them, giving them new life and hope. Do you even know what reinventing means, shithead? You're just destroying everything. Sleepy Joe. We really need to get out of this field. The cops might have been looking for us right now, and being in this fucking field is really not helping us at all. At least some of us are thinking straight, because I sure think this dickhead isn't. Shut up, Donald. You aren't helping at all. Joe, just get out of the fucking tractor. Who says I'm here to help? You know, the only way for us to get out of this fucking mess is for Joe to just surrender. We don't even have to be in this trouble for hiding on this goddamn farm. I won't surrender. I'm not really a jail person. Look at me. I'm stunningly handsome. I will definitely get rape. Trust me, Sleepy Joe, they won't even touch you. You might touch them. No one is going to jail. If we surrender Joe, they will know that we were in the car, too. We are accomplices in this crime at this point. Well, I am totally getting raped. Look at me. Look at my lumps. I have a really pretty face. You aren't going to jail if we all just stick together and let this all die down. 
You are totally getting rape in you sell, Donald. You kind of look like one of the Jersey Shore kids. Who? Ronnie. People said I look like him. I mean, I can see why. No, more like if Snooky were to be in a car accident that wrecked her entire face and accidentally got tanned in the process. I do not look like that bitch. That girl is literally a gremlin in disguise. Just don't drop your soap, guys, and we will be fine. Joe, just get out of that tractor. Get out before I fucking clip your hand of. Why? I'm a farmer. I'm Farmer Joe to the rescue, saving all the crops. You just stole and illegally drive a tractor and ruined the hard work this people had done. Oh, now we're being racist. We are not you people, Donald. Believe it or not, we are alike. There isn't a we in here. You don't even belong here in the first place. Now you're trying to steal the place, typical colonizer, tick, tick, tisk. You do know that you are a colonizer too. You are the whitest of the three of us. Not helping, Donald. Screw you guys. I'm going to take a bite in that shabby taco place stand because you know what? I know I deserve it with all this hard work I've been doing. Joe, get away from that suspiciously looking Mexican or else I'm going to tell Obama. Oh, shit, guys. I think he's an undercover cop. Don't worry. I got this. Stop, you undercover cop. Sleepy Joe, stop harassing the guy. I'm sorry, sir. He's got dementia. Oh, it's on now, you shithead. You bark at the wrong grandpa. This is why we were here to begin with. It's because you hit a dude and I'm not afraid to do it again. Can just both of you lay low? I swear to God, you guys are driving me insane. The service here is fucking bad. We better find the manager so we can have free tacos. This isn't a restaurant, Sleepy Joe. Oh, fuck, his dementia is kicking in again. Donald, do you have his pills? I don't fucking know, Obama. Oh, look, your video is starting to reach five mil. Are you live? I said, stop filming. Give me your phone. Fine, fine. I'm just saying we can turn this into profit. I'm just trying to make the best in this bad thing. This is a really large Taco Bell. I have to find the manager before it's too late. This isn't Taco Bell, Sleepy Joe. This is a fucking farm, so please stop harassing everyone. Then what's with the large number of Mexicans? Or maybe the Taco Bell is just a front, and this is actually a drug cartel. This isn't a drug cartel. It's just a simple ranch with a very normal amount of Mexican employees on it. Actually, is this a Mexican farm or something? I think it's a drug cartel. Look at all those Mexicans just standing menacingly. That's racist, Joe. Mexicans standing menacingly don't equal drugs. Joe has a point, Obama. Then how do you explain the Mexicans? We do know people don't employ Mexicans. They are lazy as fuck. That is literally a racist thing to say, Donald. Actually, I'm not even surprised you would say that. You see, Obama, me and Mexicans don't really mix well. Why do you think I keep on reinforcing borders and making them leave this great country? Because you are a fucking racist who has this fucking colonizer ego, or you are just a prick? No. Hmm, maybe, but that's another point. But it's because the only people who should be lazy in America are Americans like us. Don't put us together. I am not like you. Clearly, we aren't in the same level. I seriously need the Mexican manager right now. I'm starting to have the munchies. I better film this. This would really boost up my following in my YouTube and TikTok. Donald, no one is filming anything. Joe, that isn't their manager. This is just some dude. Sir, I think one of your employees is showing too much skin. She's clearly seducing me. That's Hooters, Joe. I think that's how their uniform works. They are literally paid to do that. What? Let's just go. We have done enough damage here. Joe, stop harassing Mexicans. But I'm still talking to the manager. Hey, manager, sir, give me the tacos and we can just forget everything here. Oh, shit. He has a B on his kneecaps. Let me help you, sir. I'm trying to help you. Help him, Obama. The manager is in pain from the bee string. I'm trying my best, but the bee keeps on flying. Just stay still, you goddamn bee. I ain't gonna live in this fucking place. This place is filthy, even for me. Come on, guys. It's fun here. We can drive trucks and feed the animals and such. It fucking smells like someone died here and has been resurrected to later kill it again. Oh, wait. That's just my perfume. Sorry about that, everyone. I'm not living here, Sleepy Joe. I have a family, a wife, and more importantly, I have a life. But I thought we were farming buddies. We had a deal. You guys, come on. We are not farming buddies. We are just staying low because someone fucking hit someone with a car because he was high and wasn't paying attention. Oh, was it Donald? Because Donald has some problems with his addiction this past month. It was fucking you, Sleepy Joe. I don't have a fucking addiction you have. Was it really? Yes, it's fucking you. You were the one who hit the guy while you were on drugs. You are to be blamed. In all of this mess, you dingus. Look, I'm sorry if I hit that guy with a car. It's not like he had a family or something. You don't know that. You didn't even see his face. You just ran past him. That is the point. Anyway, I'm just trying to make things work if things go south. You know what I mean? Actually, no, because you are fucking insane, you dimwit. Let's just focus on getting this farm back on track. The managers have already left, and as presidents, we need to take the lead and manage this fucking farm. I'm fucking tired, and clearly this fucker wouldn't stop. I bet you five dollars that this guy would go fucking insane in the last three minutes. Five minutes tops. I bet you he will spiral for five minutes and just get high again. 
10 minutes. I bet for 10 minutes and make it 20. Wait, who are we betting on? Fine, Joe, you win. Let's be fucking slave owners. I never thought that those words will come out of my mouth. Great. And look, the weed that I planted a minute ago has grown. Wait, is that weed? Are we selling weed? I guess this is really a drug cartel. Where did you get the seed? You know what? I'm just not going to question it. We're going to be fucking rich boys. We will be like the show Breaking Bad. I will be Walter White, of course. Obama would be Gus and Donald. You could be Skyler. How am I, Skyler? That's a fucking girl. I can't be Jesse. Well, you have to be likable first. I mean, you are really annoying at times, so. Get out of the fucking tractor, you scum. Give me the tractor, I said. Sleepy Joe, get back here. No, I do the collecting. And besides, you were against running this farm in the first place. Woo woo, Joe. Easy. Are you trying to kill us like you did with the guy? Well, you were the reason why we are here in the first place with your awful driving and your fucking weed. Oh, look, classic Skyler bringing out the past now that I'm starting to thrive. You are not going to bring me down. Hey, I fucking drive better, you dumbass. You can't even drive if your life depends on it. Can you fucking please be more careful, Sleepy Joe? You are literally driving over us. Seriously, why do we even let you drive at this point? He had already killed someone. Joe, just step out of the fucking vehicle and let us drive. I will be doing the transporting. I'm not finished collecting my weed yet, partner. I need to collect this before the debtor comes. Why are you trying to act like you're a cowboy? I thought you were a farmer. You just wouldn't understand this simple life, city boys. The life of a cowboy never rests, like a horse who just had broken its legs. You are not from here, you dingus. And horses who had broken their legs get shot in the head. You guys think I will look good wearing a cowboy hat. I can start wearing one since I'm already a certified cowboy. You don't, so just stop already. Just give me the tractor and I would be doing the collecting. Got it? Jill and I always role played like we were in Western times. She really has a nice back to look at whenever she does reverse cowgirl. I do not need to know that. Too much information, Sleepy Joe. Fuck, now I can't erase it from my memory. Oh God, this is like the nightmare I once had. Ott was also in a farm and was also filled with Mexicans. What nightmare? Is it a good one? Hurry up and tell me. Nightmares aren't good, you stupid hoe. They are never good, nor something to be excited about. Actually, that nightmare was good because I got to strangle you. That's a bit kinky for my style, Obama, but you do you. I know you and Michelle have been spicing up the bed. I would literally kill you, Joe, if you don't stop talking your ass off. Actually, I should have just killed you. Actually, this farm looks a lot like the movie me and Jill watched, the one with the alien and everything. Is it the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Because that is one great film. I like it when people start screaming and shit. No, it's not Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's greater than that, actually. Very beautiful work. It's not Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Then what is the name of the film? Nope, the film. Have you seen it? It has a very good cast, a very good director also. What? What now? What film? Why aren't you saying the name of the film? Tell me the name. Nope, the name of the movie. It's nope. You have heard of it. People on Twitter keeps on tweeting about it. Well, I haven't heard of it because you aren't saying the name of the movie. What is the name of the movie? It's fucking Nope. Can't you hear me? The name of the movie that I was talking about is Nope. You are stupid, Sleepy Joe. You are and you always will be. At least I'm not the one who gave free health care to people. Who's the idiot now? You, you are still the idiot. Hey, Obama, is this the switch we are looking for? What? Why? Okay, look, I'm actually doing this to make it up to you guys. I know I'm an idiot, but you know I have some charms. At least he is self-aware. No, this isn't the switch that is just a noose you were tearing in the ceiling. But that doesn't mean I don't deserve a second chance. There are things I shouldn't have done. Actually, you shouldn't have been born to begin with. That was really the root of all of this mess. Look, I'm not that great, but now I'm trying to make things better by selling this weed for all of us. Better like what? Making us walk in the fucking dark to satisfy your ego? Take a hike, Sleepy Joe. Yes, but I'm selling this weed for us to have a better life, a better future, and a better beginning. We had a better life, you just fucking ruined it by hitting that guy with a car. Well, I can't say I'm perfect, but we all aren't perfect. We just have to believe in ourselves. Just fucking stop, Joe. You are literally hurting my brain with all of this nonsense crap. Joe, stop shooting the sky. It's just clouds. There are no aliens. You are just scarring the farm animals. Suck me fucking up, I dare you. You have no power here. I have the gun. I have the power to kill you. You really shouldn't shout that in public, Joe. We can't have another complaint of you sexually assaulting someone. Go run, Jean Jacket. Go on and distract that motherfucking alien. Go and make yourself the living bait. Camera? What can a camera do with a fucking alien? Have a photo shoot PR something? It isn't real, Joe. Listen to me. Just come over here and let us just get out. There are no aliens. Get out, like the movie. Get out, oh God, I'm a black dude in a white guy's body. Damn, that's every white guy's dream ever. I guess that's why the movie was a hit. You are not a black dude stuck in a white guy's body. You are just an idiot flailing a gun around. I better get out of here. First, 
An alien is trying to suck me up, and now a white chick is trying to touch my body. Seriously, without context, it does really look like you are talking about an R-rated film. The road is so dark, I can't get out of this place. Help, guys, the white chick would certainly come and get me. Donald, come and help me find the switch. It must be here somewhere. I can't fucking see you right now, Obama. It's like you are completely invisible right now. Very funny. Just fucking find the light, you shithead. Why do I even hang out with you guys? Why can't we just get out without Joe? Clearly he had lost it, and to tell you the truth, he isn't a loss to us either. Let's just fucking go before any of you could kill yourself with your idiocracy. I need a drink. I think I might have fried my skin. Look, my skin is starting to turn orange. Your skin is already fried. That is just normal. Let us just go and find a vehicle. America, you will rue the day you crossed me in the world war. Your towering cities will bow to my vengeance. All right, Adolf, let's not do anything we'll regret in the next, oh, say, 80 years. You cannot stop me, American leader. Your police are nothing against my will. Listen, pal, I've seen my share of tough situations, but shooting at folks, that's a big no-no. Let's talk this out. Ever tried a good old-fashioned ice cream with chocolate chip? Ice cream? You offer me ice cream while I seek vengeance? You should get off American soil, you animal. Get off me, you sicko! So before this epic adventure, guys, let's shout out our friend Santa Scientist Cameraman 8701. Wow. Doc, can you ask Santa if he got my message? Ha 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 Nice try, Joe's, of asking Santa for an ice cream island. Not funny. Anyway, guys, thank you for your support. Now, please subscribe if you are new here, and let's move on. You should get off American soil, you animal. Well, that was a humdinger of a dream. Me, negotiating world peace with Hitler over ice cream. What in the Sam Hill does that mean? What the fuck? Maybe it's a sign. Could it be a metaphor? Ice cream? Diplomacy? Or, wait a minute. What if it's not just a dream? What if old Adolf really did time travel to America? That's a national security situation if I ever heard one. I gotta tell the boys about this. We might have a code back to the future situation here. I'm sure that motherfucker Trump will think I'm crazy. At least Obama will be on my side. I'm telling you fellas, Hitler was right here. I saw it clear as day in my dream. Joe, my man, I think your dreams are getting a bit too vivid. Maybe lay off the late night snacks. Or maybe it's time for some extra strength vitamins, Joe. You know, for the memory. Or have you skipped your dose for dementia pills? F you, Trump. And no, no, you don't get it. It felt real, like a premonition or something. Look, Joe, dreams can be wild. I once dreamt I was skydiving with Lincoln. Doesn't mean I started checking parachutes. And I dreamt I was the best president ever. Oh, wait, that wasn't a dream. All right, all right. But if I'm right, you two owe me an ice cream. And not just any ice cream, but double scoops. You know, maybe he sneaked in with his submarines planning something sinister. We can't just brush this off. I should ask around, see if anyone's seen anything unusual. Joe, you're talking about submarines now? LMAO. This place is a tourist spot, not a naval base. Sure, Joe. And maybe we'll find these fine women here. And since you are retarded, I bet you will ask them too. Yeah, that's actually what I will do. Excuse me, ladies. I'm on a bit of a mission here. Have any of you seen anything out of the ordinary today? Maybe someone who looks like they've stepped right out of a history book? Lady, wouldn't you mind me asking a few questions? It will be quick, I promise. Well, Take this lady, you should not walk away when I'm talking to you. Hey, you hear me? Will you leave that lady alone? She has nothing to do with this foolishness. You look like foolishness. I'm telling you, Trump, I'll prove there's more to my dream. You gotta have a little faith in old Joe's hunches. Old Joe, you could sell that story to Hollywood, but out here, we might need a bit more than a hunch. All right, all right, but when I get to the bottom of this, you'll see. Sometimes the wildest tales are the ones that turn out to be true. That's the spirit, Joe. Keep chasing those dreams, but maybe after we get some lunch, huh? The way he just ran to the car. Man, he runs way fast for a man with 90 years. I'm 81, you fat blob. We have got to find this bastard. My instincts never lie to me. I know it. I can feel it in my stomach. Something is not right. Stop blabbing, old man, and start thinking where we are heading to. I wonder what is wrong with that fuckwit. Why does he keep staring on us like that? Does he have a problem? It's better if we keep going. Sleepy Joe, you don't want to pick another fight with a random guy, do you? And you know you will get your old ass beaten. Oh, shit. Look out, Biden. What the fuck? Ah, uh, guys, a little help, that please. That car doesn't belong to you, asshole. Thank me, Joe. There was no need to shoot him, Obama. I had him. Now, see, we have a dead body to deal with. That fool tried to hijack our car anyway. Trump, as you entered the car, I hope you had a very good look at the license plate. What's on the plate? Joe, 2024, baby, in your face. Joe, you're incorrigible. But seriously, we need to focus on the situation at hand. Joe 2024, huh? Make sure the campaign trail has plenty of rest stops. You know, for the senior moments. Looks like someone is jealous. So Joe, where to next? 
You got us on this wild goose chase. What's the plan? If Hitler did time travel to today, he'd probably be doing what he did best, giving a speech. We should find where the biggest speeches in town are happening. Siri, find me the nearest large-scale speaking event happening right now. Joe, you're not seriously thinking Hitler time traveled to the 21st century to give a speech? The guy's been gone for decades. Think about it. With all the technology out there in Germany, who's to say someone couldn't have revived Hitler to start another revolution? We can't risk another World War III. Joe, that's a pretty big leap. But in the interest of covering all our bases, let's keep our eyes open. Reviving Hitler, huh? That's one conspiracy theory I haven't heard on the golf course. We have to be vigilant. If there's even the slightest chance of a threat, it's our duty to investigate. No stone unturned, especially with stakes this high. We all know Hitler was a very bad man. If by some wild chance he's here, we have a duty to stop him. Joe, you mentioned this started with a dream. What exactly did you dream about? It was bizarre. I was on Hitler's back trying to put him in a chokehold while he was shooting at the police. And they were shooting at us. That's some dream, Joe. Sounds like a bad action movie plot. I'm more curious about how you managed in your dream, Joe. Did you navigate your way through time with an old school map and compass? Very funny, Barack. But in the dream, I was like a one-man army taking down Hitler all by myself. A one-man army? More like a one-man comedy show? What was your weapon of choice, Sleepy Joe? A stern talking to? Come on, Donald. Give Joe some credit. Maybe he used his diplomatic skills. You know, talk softly and carry a big stick. Exactly, Barack. Diplomacy first, but I was ready for action. It was like I was in my own action movie. Biden versus Hitler, the showdown. Now that's a movie I'd pay to see. Biden takes on the bad guys, forgets why he's there halfway through. Or maybe it's a new strategy, Donald. Confuse the enemy with friendly conversation and then bam, hit them with the hard facts. Right. And what would your strategy be, Donald? Build a wall around him and make him pay for it? At least my walls work, Joe, but let's face it. If we're talking about taking down villains, I'd just hire the best people, the best. The best people to do what exactly? Get lost in time? I think we'll stick with Joe's dream team for now. So, Joe, let's say for a moment your theory is correct and we actually find Hitler. What's your plan when you find him? Well, Barack, it's simple. I find Hitler, pull out the good old sniper, and bam, right between the eyes. Old Sleepy Joe with a sniper rifle? That's a picture. What are you going to do? Ask him to hold still while you put on your reading glasses. Come on, Donald, let's give Joe some credit, though. I have to say, Joe, that's quite a direct approach, not... Direct and effective, Barack. No messing around. We're talking about Hitler, after all. Effective. I'd be worried about you just finding the safety on the rifle, Joe. Well, Donald, maybe Joe's been practicing. You know, all those Secret Service training sessions could come in handy. Exactly. You might be surprised, Donald. I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Tricks? The only trick I want to see is you trying to remember where you left the sniper rifle. Hold on, Trump. Series navigation has led us here, and according to my great investigative skills, I can tell that here there is a very big meeting held here, and not just any meeting. You see how there is tight security. Maybe it could be another prominent person in the area other than your imaginary friend. Biden, you need to chill a little bit. You remember that ice cream we were talking about? Two good scoops of your preferred flavor, eh? How about we go for that? Shush it. Osama, I get it now. You now want to defend your fellow terrorist. I think you are overreacting, Biden. Maybe just a tad. Listen, this is serious. We need to get into a hidden vantage position. I need a clear view to scope out the area with my sniper. If Hitler's here, we'll spot him. Joe, I think you might be letting your imagination run a little wild. It's important to stay grounded in reality here. Yeah, Joe, a hidden vantage position? What is this, a spy movie? Next, you'll be asking us for gadgets and a secret code. This is no time for jokes, Donald. If my hunch is right, we need to be prepared. I'm not taking any chances. All right, Joe, but let's approach this cautiously. We don't want to cause a scene over a hunch. Especially a hunch based on Siri and investigative skills. Let's just keep our heads and not jump to any wild conclusions. Fine, but I'm telling you there's something going on here and I intend to find out what it is from a safe distance. I can see that there are a lot of cars and if you take a closer look, those are not from this country. And someone seems to be addressing the people there. And look, what is this? Are those Nazi soldiers? Just have a look at their disgusting faces. Stop being racist, Biden. Look, they even came with their armored vehicles, and they all look they are from the past or something. Holy shit, guys, what did I tell you? There is that bitch over there with his stupid stash. Let's get nearer. I can't believe my eyes. Oh, shit. Careful, Joe. You don't want to hit your head again and have another of your fancy dreams, which hypothetically comes to reality. You fool. Haven't you had a look at the scope on your rifle? Holy fuck. It is him for real. Now what are we going to do, Joe? Don't worry, guys. I will take the shot for our country America. 
Oh, come on, Joe. With your frail hands, you're going to miss. You can't just take a shot like this on a whim. My hands are steady enough, Donald. This is about taking a stand for our country. I won't miss. Great. Now we have every dirty cop in the city hot on our tails. We have to escape them. Hurry. Come on, guys. I'm 81 years old, and I'm still faster than both of you. What's your excuse? Well, Joe, not all of us spend our free time chasing after old time villains and sprinting from crime scenes. Hurry up. At this rate, we'll get caught before you two even reach the car. I thought presidents were supposed to be quick on their feet. Barack, come on, fucking move it. This isn't a stroll in the park. We need to get out of here now. Do you believe me now? What did I tell you? Hitler back in 2023, you saw him with your own eyes. But how? How in the world did Hitler end up in our time? And where did he come from? This is beyond comprehension. How could something like this happen without any intelligence reports? The Secret Service, the CIA, nobody knew? I don't have all the answers. All I know is what I saw, and we did what we had to do, and all you had to do is believe me. But why are we being chased by the police? We did the right thing, didn't we? Shouldn't we be hailed as heroes? In a situation like this, the right thing isn't black and white, Donald. We've altered history in a way that's hard to explain. Plus, from their perspective, we just took down a man on the street. Exactly. We can't expect everyone to understand or believe what just happened. Right now, we need to focus on getting to safety and figuring out our next move and losing this fucking pigs. Safety? Our faces are probably all over the news by now. Former presidents in shocking assassination. We need a plan and fast. I don't think they know it's us. Remember, we were in a hidden position from where I took the shot and we were far away, so I don't think they've identified us. You mean where you took the shot, Joe? Let's be clear, you're the one who pulled the trigger. This is on you. Right, I did, but we're in this together now. We need to stick together and figure out our next move. Together or not, this is a mess. We can't just drive around aimlessly. We need somewhere secure to lay low. Agreed. We should find a discreet location to assess the situation. And Joe, we need to be careful. If they haven't identified us yet, let's keep it that way. What the fuck? Why did you just ram into that poor lady's house? That's just great, Biden. Now that lady has seen us, and she'll probably report us for destroying her house. This will lead to an investigation, and before we know it, everyone will know we're responsible for what happened to Hitler. Calm down, Barack. We're gonna get out of this. We just need to handle the situation smartly. Let's make sure she's okay and figure out our next move from there. Exactly. Let's avoid drawing any attention. The last thing we need is to turn this into an even bigger spectacle. A spectacle? Joe, you just assassinated a resurrected historical dictator in broad daylight. It doesn't get more spectacle than that. Donald's right. We need to think strategically and fast. Our first priority should be avoiding any further public exposure. I just saw a cop just behind us. These guys are just relentless. Where can we cool down this heat? We need a place off the grid, somewhere they wouldn't expect to find us. Any ideas? What about one of my properties? Surely we can find a discreet spot there. Donald, your properties are probably the first places they'll look. We need something low profile. Right. What about an old safe house from our days in office? Somewhere secure but forgotten. An old safe house? You think those are just lying around waiting for us? You know what? Just leave it. We'll drive over these train tracks and see where they take us. On the train tracks? Well, that's one way to avoid traffic. And I guess no one would expect us to be there. Driving on train tracks? That's actually not a bad idea, Joe. It's so crazy, it just might work. Exactly. It's unconventional, but we need to be unpredictable right now. Keep your eyes peeled for any trains, though. Who was actually responsible for Hitler's death back in 1945? The official story is a bit murky. What do you think, Obama? I have an idea. Maybe we should go back in time and check that out with our own eyes. Sound like a plan. All right, gentlemen, I hope you're ready for some real action tonight. And no, not just this kind of action. You know you, Biden, you don't cooperate well around bitches. Dude's such a wimp, he gets nervous around chicks. I wonder how he pulled Jill. All right, guys, before watching this video, I want to shout out to NoFam. Well, Donald, not everyone needs a shout out. Some people appreciate substance over showmanship. Substance, Joe? Coming from the guy who can't resist a scoop of chocolate chocolate chip lies. Oh, whatever, guys. Thank you for your amazing support on all our videos. Now, please subscribe turn notifications on and let's move to our video oh come on barack you know i've got my ways besides i thought we were here to discuss politics not my smooth riz politics please we're here to escape that circus speaking of escapades i've got something that will really get your engines running 
If it's anything like your last big plan, I'm already skeptical. Does it involve Twitter and a lot of capital letters? Or maybe it's another YUG idea that ends with us on the front page. No, 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 much better. I'm talking about street racing. What do you say? A little competition to see who's really the boss? Except I am driving today. You know you two can't race as your driving is shit. And last time Biden was in the wheel, I had a nightmare and was sick for days. That's because you're not used to someone driving who doesn't take directions from Russia, Donald. And let's not forget, the only racing you do is in the weighing scale, bro. How many pounds are you? Racing to hit a new personal best? Joe, I'd rather be racing on the scale than forgetting where I parked my car. Besides, my weight's perfect for a heavyweight champion in business and politics and now in street racing. I have to agree with Joe here. The only thing you've been driving lately is the country up the wall with your propaganda. Oh, please, you two drive like you're in a parade. Slow and cautious. The only thing missing is a marching band, especially you, Obama. Fuck you. Well, at least when I drive, I don't have to worry about being impeached from the driver's seat. Whatever, Biden. Shut up. Listen, boys, we're going to hit the streets of Los Santos. And it's not just us. We're racing with the big dogs, other cars, real competition. Sounds adventurous. But where did you get this race car, Donald? It looks a bit too flashy for a rental. That's a stupid question, Barack. Where do you think? I'm rich, remember? I own more luxury cars than you've had hot dinners. I have cars you've never even heard of. Yeah, we get it, Donald. You're rich. We've never heard the end of it. But having a fancy car doesn't mean you can drive it well. It's like giving a toddler a space shuttle. Watch and learn, Joe. You might not have a space shuttle, but I'll show you how to fly on the streets. Just remember, Trump, this isn't one of your golf courses. You can't just drive around doing whatever you want. And let's hope this car is more reliable than some of your business ventures. We wouldn't want it to stall halfway through the race. LMAO, oh, don't worry about me. Just try not to doze off so you won't miss any action and make sure you gobble up some of your pills so you don't get a seizure ahead because this is going to be one hell of a fucking ride. Jesus fucking Christ, did you see that? This is getting way too wild. Goodness, this isn't a race, it's chaos. That poor pedestrian. You want to hit the cops too, Trump? Damn, he missed them by inches. Fuck the cops. They have to catch me if they can. Come on, stop behaving like little girls. It's just a street race in Los Santos. What did you expect, a leisurely drive in the park? There's a difference between a race and reckless driving, Donald. This is turning into a demolition derby. Exactly, Barack. I thought this was about speed and skill, not causing a pileup. Relax, it's all part of the game. You need to toughen up if you want to keep up with me. This is how winners race. Winning isn't about putting others in danger, Donald. It's about skill and control. Right. And right now, the only thing out of control is this race. We should be careful or we'll end up on the evening news for all the wrong reasons. And speaking of the evening news, I definitely don't want Michelle seeing me on it, especially not like this. And the kids, they'd never let me live it down. You got a point, Obama. I can already hear Jill asking me if my midlife crisis had to involve illegal street racing. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? This is America, baby. Live a little. Adventure is one thing, Trump, but I prefer my thrills a bit more responsible and preferably legal. Yeah, I'm all for a bit of fun, but I think we should stick to racing within the speed limits and maybe on a real track next time. Fine, fine. But if you ask me, you're both missing out on the real excitement. It's not every day you get to race like this. Maybe so, but I think I'll stick to basketball for my adrenaline fix. A bit safer, and Michelle approves. And I'll stick to my morning jogs. At least there. The only thing I risk hitting is the snooze button. Fine, but don't expect me to slow down. Speaking of which, have you seen the other racers? They're driving like they've got nine lives. Fearless is one thing, Donald, but this is bordering on foolhardy swerving through traffic like fucking pinballs. Hold that thought, Obama. Look at that. A Pagani right there. Now that's what I call a car. Donald, keep your eyes on the road. Admiring cars at this speed isn't exactly... What the... Donald, what just happened? That idiot hit us, my beautiful car. Did you hit your head, Biden? You just saw that fool hitting us. So, Donald, where exactly are we racing to? Or are we just speeding around Los Santos without a plan? Like fools. Barack, in street racing, the journey is the adventure. It's not about the destination, it's about the speed, the thrill. It sounds to me like another way of saying you have no idea where we're going. What's next, asking for directions at 100 miles per hour? I wouldn't be surprised, Joe. Donald's idea of a plan is like his tweets, fast, furious, and without a second thought. You're just jealous because you can't keep up. In racing, as in life, you've got to be quick and decisive, Titi. Quick and decisive? More like Russian regret. Last time I checked, winging it wasn't a recognized racing strategy. True. I think the only thing we're racing towards is a traffic ticket, or worse, a spot on the evening news. Well, if we do end up on the news, at least we'll look good doing it. This car is a beauty, even if you two can't appreciate it. 
Oh, we appreciate it. All right. Appreciate that it's a rolling disaster waiting to happen. Next time, let's stick to something a bit more low key. Maybe a game of golf, Donald. At least there, the worst we can do is lose a ball, not a bumper. Listen, this car belongs to me, not you, Barack. So maybe worry a little less about the bumper. It's my problem, not yours. Well, when you put it like that, I'm almost relieved. I'd hate to be on the hook for a sports car's bumper, especially one that's seen better days. And let's not forget, Donald, we're more concerned about our own bumpers. You know, the kind you can't replace at a body shop. Oh, you two are such warriors. You should enjoy the ride. You're in a car most people only dream of driving. Trust me, Donald, my dreams usually involve a bit less adrenaline and potential for property damage. Yeah, I prefer my dreams to be a bit more peaceful. Maybe something about ice cream, not high-speed chases. Hey, Donald, since you're so proud of this car, how about letting me take the wheel for a bit? I want to feel what this beast can do. Yeah, that's a good idea. We could take turns. I wouldn't mind seeing what all the fuss is about. I don't know about that. It's not just any car, you know. It takes skill to handle this kind of power. Come on, Donald. You've seen me drive. I handled the vice presidency and the presidency itself. I think I can handle your car. And I've driven plenty of times. We promise we won't scratch your precious car, Donald. It's not about scratching it. This is a high-performance vehicle. It's not like driving your typical family sedan. Are you suggesting we can't handle it? Barack and I might surprise you. We're full of surprises, you know. Exactly, and how hard can it be? It's driving, not rocket science. Unless there's a button here I shouldn't push. No, absolutely not. It's my car, and I'm not taking any chances. You dimwits can only look, but not touch. Oh, come on, dumbass. What's the point of having a fancy car if you're too selfish to share the experience? You're being a real jack about this. Yeah, Donald, it's just a car. Besides, from what we've seen, your driving could use some improvement. No offense, but you drive like, well, let's just say it's not your strongest suit. I'm not selfish, motherfuckers. I'm cautious, and for the record, I'm a fucking excellent driver. It's just that you guys can't appreciate my skills. There it is, the Pagani that hit us. I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. Wait, Donald, hold on. That's not the same car. Look, this one has a yellow strip. It's different. Whatever. Sweet, sweet revenge. Sweet revenge. Trump, you are a sick man, a very sick, sick man. Come on, let's take that Pagani. Take this, you fools. Yeah, that's right. No one messes with Daddy Trump. What the fuck? Who are these bitches? I always tell you, Trump, people don't like you. That's why you are being beaten up by random civilians. I don't want to hear any of it, especially coming out from that dirty mouth of yours, Obama. Who the fuck is this nerd? Get the fuck out of my face. Okay, boys, let's get going. Okay, where were we? Oh, yeah, Trump, you were boasting about your skills. The only skill I've seen is your ability to dodge responsibility and maybe dodge traffic laws. Exactly. If driving skills means turning every street into a potential accident scene, then sure, you're a pro. You two are impossible. You can criticize all you want, but this is my car and my rules. End of story. Fine, keep your car, but remember, it's more fun to share. Maybe next time, bring something a bit more user-friendly. Agreed. Something that doesn't require an ego the size of the fucking Trump Tower to operate would be nice. Let's change the topic. So, Joe, out of curiosity, what's your favorite car? Oh, let me guess, it's the ice cream truck. Right, Sleepy Joe? Very funny, Donald. But if you must know, it's actually the Corvette Stingray 1967 model. Now that's a car. Classic lines, powerful engine. It's a beauty sitting top at my car collection. A Corvette, huh? I would have taken you for more of a minivan guy, Biden. Well, you know what they say, Donald. Never judge a book by its cover or a president by his ice cream flavor. Huh? That's a great choice. Corvettes are iconic. As for me, I'm more into SUVs. Practical, roomy, and still stylish, and they still have a presence on the road. SUVs? Come on, Hussein. I always pictured you in something more presidential, like a limo, maybe. Where's the flair in that? I'm more into the old school classics, like the 50s Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. Now that's elegance. Well, Donald, not all of us need a stretch limo to feel important. Elegance, sure, that's a bit on the nose, don't you think? Can it get you from point A to point B without needing a team of mechanics on standby? A statement that says, I have more money than I know what to do with? I prefer something a bit more understated. Understated? You might as well drive a toaster on wheels. A car should make a statement, be an extension of your personality. If that's the case, I'll stick with the Stingray. It's sleek, powerful, doesn't require a chauffeur and a red carpet every time you park. You're just not appreciating the finer things in life. A Rolls Royce isn't just a car, it's a work of art. To each their own. But at the end of the day, it's not about the car you drive, but the way you drive it, uh, and hopefully that's responsibly. 
agreed. Whether it's a Stingray, an SUV, or even a Rolls Royce, the best car is one that gets you where you're going safely. Safely, sure, but where's the fun in that? A car should excite you, make your heart race a bit. You guys are missing out. There's nothing like the feeling of a powerful engine and the freedom of the open road. Freedom is great, as long as it's within the speed limit. Remember, we're role models, not stunt drivers. And let's not forget about fuel efficiency. That's important, too. You can't go wrong with a car that's both stylish and good for the environment. Fuel efficiency? That's like saying you prefer a hamburger without the meat. The whole point of a car like the Silver Cloud is the luxury, not counting miles per gallon. Well, I guess we all have different priorities. For me, it's about balance. A car that's practical, yet enjoyable to drive. Speaking of driving, do you guys prefer being driven by a chauffeur and the usual presidential escorts, or do you like driving yourselves? Ever taken a spin on the streets anonymously without the presidential fanfare? You know, there's something liberating about driving yourself. It's a sense of normalcy I miss. Sneaking out for a drive without the escort, it's like a small adventure. I agree. There's a certain freedom to just being behind the wheel, blending in with everyone else on the road. It's a rare but cherished experience. Well, Sleepy Joe, just make sure you don't drive alone too often. We wouldn't want you getting lost out there, and I've heard about your struggles with Google Maps. Oh, I can handle Google Maps just fine, thank you. It's not chemistry, Grumpy Trumpy. It's about being patient and paying attention, something you might find challenging. As you say so, old Joe, from all the driving around the city, I need a boost. Don't you boys need some refreshments? Do you mean ice cream? Of course, Biden. Biden, you can take all the scream you want when we enter this store. All you need to have a Glock in your hand before we storm the place. Oh dear, here we go again. This isn't the day beautiful? Beautiful enough to make history? History? What history? Do you mean like how your presidential term is history? Is it always normally this bright? I should have brought my aviators. So guys, we want to thank you for your amazing support, guys. And it's time now to shout out our boy Bing Tai 1173. Appreciate it, man. Please don't forget about the promise. <laughs> what promise, dementia, man? Promise. What promise? Dumpty, are you okay? Oh, crap. Anyway, guys, please enjoy a new episode, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. <laughs> Idiot, let's move on. Well, not for long, Obama. Ooh, tables will turn. What's up with the phrases? Can you stop beating around the bush and get straight to the point? And hey, finally, we get to ride in a presidential car. All right, let's get moving. I'll fill you in on the details as we go. You remember me telling you that former presidents, we have certain powers, powers that make us more than a match for a god, don't you, Biden? When was that? Oh, are we talking about the power to veto or something? I hope it's the power to remember where I left my keys. I'm serious. We've led the free world. If anyone can take on a deity, it's us. You do realize he's a god? Yeah, I slept on it like you said, took a nice cold shower, did some breathing exercises, and I still think we should hunt and kill that motherfucker. No, like that was the opposite conclusion. Even how are we supposed to find him? Sleepy Joe, we will just drive around looking for the god of war like it's Black Friday and he's the last discounted TV. Or maybe we should just use GPS, God positioning system. Maybe we should just ask Siri. She seems to know everything these days. We'll summon him, idiot. And how are you gonna do that? Well, I'll just tweet at him, Joe. You know, I thought the hunt would involve less uh, vehicular mayhem. I just hope this god of war knows we come in peace and sort of. His name is Kratos. Biden and you gotta be bold, not a pussy. He'll respect that. We're presidents, after all. Yes, because if there's one thing mythical deities respect, it's political office. Hey, do you think the people here have seen a god around here? Maybe we should ask for directions. No time for that, Joe. We're on a mission. The god of war won't know what hit him. Let's just hope it's not us hitting a lamppost at this speed. Speaking of hitting, how do you fire the rockets on this thing again? That's the spirit, Obama. But let's save the big guns for our divine showdown. Remember, we're here to negotiate first. Diplomacy is key. Right. Diplomacy, then rockets. Got it. Diplomacy, my ass. I have to admit, this is quite the upgrade from our usual less than presidential transportation. Now, this is how a president should travel, pure class and power. It's definitely an upgrade. Though I'm not sure how low profile we can be in this. Look at this thing. It's like Air Force One on wheels. Does it have an ice cream bar? Better than that, Joe. You know that's the only thing you care about. It's bulletproof, rocket proof, and has an ejector seat just in case. An ejector seat? In case we need to make a quick presidential exit? I just hope the GPS is better than the last car. We ended up in the middle of a desert. Well, as long as it gets us there in one piece and maybe a little style, I'm on board. I call shotgun. Unless, of course, there's a Secret Service driver hiding around here. No Secret Service, Joe. Today, I'm the driver. Let's show Los Santos what presidential power really looks like. 
This thing has more buttons than the Oval Office. What does this one do? Joe, don't touch that handsy. It's the rocket launcher. We don't need to cause a scene yet. Hey, they've got pretzels here. You think if I press this, it'll make a milkshake? Stick to the snacks, Joe. Let me handle the gadgets. You know, we really should have used this presidential car last time when we went off-roading with our So what wives. do you guys think Kratos will do when he sees us rolling up in this thing? Well, considering he's faced gods, monsters, and titans, I'm not sure presidents in a limo will phase him much. He'll be impressed, no doubt. I mean, who wouldn't be? It's not every day you see former presidents teaming up in a limo. Correction, the president and two former presidents. Maybe he'll want to join us for a joyride. Imagine Kratos in the back seat asking for a turn at the wheel. Ah, guys, do you see that donkey? What donkey? Great. You just hit your wife, Donnie. Shouldn't we stop and go check on her if she's okay? <laughs> Fuck you, Biden. You're a putrescence mass, a walking vomit. You spineless little worm deserving nothing but the profoundest contempt. Take a chill pill, Trump. I was just joking. Joking? Oh, I get it. Like your presidency? I've seen more leadership in a kindergarten sandbox. Oh, Donald, you're such a card. Ever consider a career in stand-up comedy? You already have the clown part down. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's keep it civil. Do you think he'll want to arm wrestle? I've been working out my muscles. An arm wrestle, Joe. Last time I checked, Obamacare doesn't cover injuries from mythical god battles. How about we stick to rock, paper, scissors? It's more your speed, and the only risk is a paper cut. Oh, Hussein, I guess you're right. But, you know, if Obamacare did cover mythical god battles, it'd still be less complicated than explaining the plan to Congress. Rock, paper, scissors it is. At least I know the rules to that one. You know, this feels like one of those scenes in a movie where you start thinking, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, I have to agree with Joe. This feels less like a divine appointment and more like we're about to hit the climax in a blockbuster suspense movie. What's the matter, guys? Scared of a little atmospheric drama, wimps? It's just setting the stage for our grand entrance. If by grand entrance you mean getting swallowed up by this storm, then yeah, we're right on track. Just a little storm. It's just nature's way of rolling out the red carpet for us. I think nature might be overdoing it. This is more like a scene from a horror movie than a red carpet. You sure this is the right road, Donald? It feels like we're heading into the Bermuda Triangle. Come on, Joe, a bit of rain and thunder. It's the perfect mood for meeting a god, adds to the drama. This hill's a bit steeper than I thought. Guys, we might need some extra muscle here. How about you two stepping out and giving us a push? And with this darkness, who knows what's lurking out there? You know what? Just leave it. We have arrived, actually. All right, where's this Kratos guy? He can't be that hard to find. You know, I thought meeting with world leaders was nerve-wracking, but this this is a whole new level. Just stay close, Joe. If things go south, we'll use the old diplomatic playbook. Smile and nod, then slowly back away. Come on, guys. He's probably more scared of us than we are of him. I mean, how tough can he be? Famous last words, Donald. Famous last words. Looks like our mythical warrior has been here, or he's just a really enthusiastic biker. Either way, let's tread carefully. This isn't exactly a stroll through Central Park. Whoa! 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 I think I preferred it when we couldn't see him. Well, this just got real. Time for that diplomatic smile, Joe. Who dares to challenge the god of war? Do you think you will battle me? I am the god of war for heaven's sake. Get him. He's just a guy like us. What's wrong, you sleepy Joe? You swing like a bitch. Can you tell me again, why are we beating this bald head? We're here to end this once and for all. Don't let him get away. This is our chance. This punk should eat our wrath. All right, Baldy, let's see what you got besides that grumpy face and those weird tattoos. Mortals. Your arrogance will be your downfall. Shut up, musclehead. Let's see if you can handle a real fist fight with your fancy weapons. Whoa, that's a nice toy you got there, Kratos. Compensating for something? And this one's because I really don't like your attitude. You fight with the fury of Ares, but it is not enough. Oh, we're just getting started, Baldy. You haven't seen crazy yet. What's the matter, Kratos? Can't land a hit? I thought you were supposed to be some sort of legendary warrior. This motherfucker swings like a blind man at a pinata party. Joe, focus. This isn't a game. That thing looks like it could chop a car in half. This is no game, mortals. You will face the wrath of a god. Oh, I'm shaking. The wrath of a god sounds like a bad movie title. Trump, seriously, shut up. We need a plan, not your commentary. This guy's relentless. Your insolence will be your undoing. Man, this guy just won't stay down. He's like a walking, talking brick wall. Time to bring the thunder, Baldy. How's the ground taste, huh? Not so mighty now, are you? This changes nothing. I am Kratos, the god of war. Trump, I think you're actually enjoying this too much. Yo, T, we don't want to kill the guy. We end what we started. Your mortal blows are but a nuisance. A nuisance? I'll show you a nuisance. We need to back off, Trump. This guy's not normal. Yeah, T, this is getting out of hand, man. You cannot defeat a god. 
Your efforts are futile. I am beyond your mortal comprehension. Comprehension? Buddy, the only thing I need to comprehend is how to kick your godly behind. Stay down, Kratos. Los Santos doesn't bow to anyone, God or not. This is not my end. It's not about ending you, it's about sending a message. Yeah, and that message is don't mess with our turf. Okay, that's it, bitch, eat this. Fuck. Trump, what if you could have missed and hit me? I don't care as long as this freaking maggot is dead and looks like you boys could use some help. Well, that was one way to handle it. Trump, we were trying to resolve this without resorting to that kind of violence. You could say that without having to trip over the body, Mr. Clumsy. Well, it's over. Kratos is defeated. It was a tough decision, but it was for the greater good. Trump, what are you doing? That was completely unnecessary. Donald, the battle is over. There's no need for that. Just making sure, you know. Can't be too careful with these God types. Okie boys, I am really proud of you. Turns out you aren't a bunch of pussies after all. This calls for a celebration. See, I told you we were doing the right thing. Kratos' presence brought the storm. With him gone, peace returns. It's symbolic, isn't it? The storm representing turmoil, and now the sun as a sign of calm and order. It's like the world's breathing a sigh of relief. No more God of war, no more storm. Exactly. His presence caused nothing but chaos and destruction. It was our duty to put an end to it. It's a heavy responsibility, deciding the fate of a god. But sometimes leadership requires tough choices. It's amazing how quickly nature responds. One moment a raging storm, the next, this beautiful calm. It's a testament to our decision. We did what was necessary for the greater good. Uh, nothing like a good cigar to celebrate a job well done. Want to puff, Biden? No thanks, Trump. I'll pass on that. What's the matter, Joe? Too much of a clean living guy for a victory cigar. Let's just say I prefer my celebrations a bit less smoky. How about you, Barack? Ready to join the celebration? I think I'll stick to my own ways of celebrating, Trump, but you go ahead. Afraid it'll ruin your image, Mr. Health Conscious President? Or will Michelle know you smoked and will give you a spank? Something like that. Pussies, is this a health convention? Suit yourselves. More for me, this is how Daddy Trump celebrates victory. Get in the car, Presidents. You know what time it is? Noob time. No. Is it lunchtime? Because I'm really hungry. The six-foot sub didn't really give me the satisfaction at all. That's what she said. No, Sleepy Joe. It's adventure time. But before me, move to our adventure, guys. Hmm. We hit it. Guys, thank you for 10,000 subscribers. That's a huge milestone for us. While you guys are amazing, folks, we've got a special announcement. That's right. Instead of the usual shout out to one lucky subscriber, we want to shout out to everyone who helped us reach this incredible milestone. You guys are tremendous. Absolutely, folks. It's your likes, comments, and subscriptions that make this channel great. Without you, it would be just me and Donald arguing in an empty room. Keep spreading the word. Keep liking. Keep subscribing because the Trump show is only getting started. Maybe we'll even hit 20. Who knows? That's the spirit, Donald. Cheers to our incredible audience. I have never seen a man so lame that I want to grab a revolver and place it into my mouth. Didn't you watch guys watch the show? My kids love that show. What show? Venture Time. Never heard of it. I'm more like a Rick and Morty kind of a guy, which I know you guys wouldn't watch because of how complex the show is. Donald, you watching Rick and Morty doesn't equal that you're intelligent. It just shows how fucking condescending you are, which is true. Fuck off, Obama. You watch your retard show with your kids anyway. At least I'm not an asshole who looks like an exact replica of Annoying Orange. Wait, is Adventure Time about a kid and a dog who fights and travels the post-nuclear land that created strange creatures while tackling about his boyhood grief and silliness of a regular boy? Oh, wow. Yes, Sleepy Joe. Never heard of it. It sounds like shit anyway. Who would want to watch that shit show? You dickheads really know how to ruin my mood. Where are we going anyway? You said you have something fun to show us. Is this it? Oh, you dumb broad. We are going to the go-in air balloon and watch the skies. Did you and Sleepy Joe got a brain transplant or something? Because have you seen the fucking weather today? Well, fuck. I can't control the weather, Donald. It's not like I'm God or something. Well, you better be. How do you expect us to go in this weather to go in an air balloon where there is a fucking possibility we could die or perhaps fall? Or have thoughts of jumping to see if we have fall damage. Everyone have fall damage, shithead. You aren't special. Well, I'm a president that can amount to some specialness. Sleepy Joe, the only special thing you have is that extra chromosome. Anyway, just follow me, guys. That just means I'm stronger than both of you. You can't even walk the stairs without falling. My knees were just sleeping that day. I don't even know how to respond to that. Anyways, it doesn't matter if you like it or not. We are going to ride that damned air balloon. I have already maxed both of your credit card. You fucking used our cards. What else am I supposed to do? 
The taxpayers' money have already run out. Use your own money, shithead. Michelle wouldn't let me. She says I'm buying too much crap. Well, you are. You have a spending problem. A giant balloon isn't crap. It's an investment. Look at that beauty with all its glory who wouldn't invest in this. No one, not a single sane person, would fucking spend someone's card in an ugly-ass looking balloon. Yeah, even get a better color? Seriously? Well, it's a side looking balloon. It's even better looking than your sorry ass. It does look better than looking at Donald's distorted face. I must say, fuck you, I ain't coming with you guys. We're going to Kim Jong-un's neighborhood. They fucking less. I didn't know he can run so fast like that. He fucking looks disgusting. That's the beauty of love, Sleepy Joe. A disgusting 100 kg man running in this awful weather. Fuck you, dickheads. This trip better be worth it or I will fucking both push you out of this balloon. Oh, better switch to creator mode so that I don't fall. There is no creator mode in real life, Sleepy Joe. There fucking is in 19p? There is none, you dimwit. Oh, yeah, then how do you explain how God did all this? I tell you, creator mode. I don't even know why I'm arguing with an idiot. Guys, stop arguing. I can literally feel your stinky ass breaths. See, this is a fucking awful idea. We can't even move in this shithole. This is not a shithole. This is an investment. Fuck you. Give me my money back, you fucking clown. This is it, you fucking dingus. This is your money? I swear to God, I will fucking rip this air balloon. Wait, Trump, I'm still looking for my creator mode. Let's see, nope, that is my penis. Maybe if I push my butthole on, if I will be able to trigger it. Don't fucking stop touching yourself. You are making us uncomfortable. Oh, you want me to touch you and find your creator mode? Look, guys, the sunset, I told you it will get better. Don't come near me or I will make you in-game in real life. Then I better save for that. Let me see, is this the save button? Joe, just fucking stop. Nobody is kicking nobody in this hot air balloon. We will all watch the sunset in Egg Trump's ex's house. How would you guys would do that for me? I mean, Kim Jong-un is not my fucking ex. We're exclusively business partners. But yada yada. Whatever you fucking say, Trump. It doesn't really matter. Come on, Obama. Donald is clearly not over him yet. That is why we are helping him move on. It's not really healthy, you know? Stop thinking about the long, hard nukes, Donald. His toxicity is not worth it. Shut the fuck up, Biden. What did I tell you guys about fucking arguing in the hot air balloon? Don't touch myself. That's not the fucking rule. Obviously, it's stab the fucking hot air balloon. If you ever feel frustrated, you should really use your fucking head. What the fuck, Donald? That wasn't even a rule. That's what you shouldn't do. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, you fucking didn't stop this fucking air balloon where we are hundreds of feet in the air. I kind of have misinterpreted what you were saying. How can you misinterpret that? Are you fucking dumb? Look, I was bored. You kind of have this awful speaking voice and clearly I just want to stab something. So, you know, I just did. You fucking don't just stab something just because you are bored. Don't worry, you worry, Ward. It's not like I ripped this lame ass hot air balloon. I was just stabbing ice picks on it. It already looks a fucking death trap. Wait, so we are not stabbing the hot air balloon, is what I gather. Sleepy Joe, what the fuck did you do? Oh, I didn't do anything. I was just asking. Okay, new rule, so you better listen the fuck up. Donald, I am looking at you. Yeah, yeah, just get on with it. Rule one, don't stab the hot air balloon. I could not stress this fucking enough. Can I put a knife in the balloon? No. Are you even listening? But you said no stabbing. There isn't a rule where you said I couldn't put it in. You know what? I will fucking revise it. New rule, there shouldn't be any knife or sharp objects inside the hot air balloon. So just fucking throw every knife you have or any sharp objects. What about my knife collection? Why the fuck do you have a knife collection in you? Just in case someone needed to see my knife collection. Nobody in this earth would want to see your creepy ass knife collection. Just throw everything, Sleepy Joe. Dodger that. Okay, next rule is that no one fucking argues. And you all listen to me. Why would we fucking listen to you? Well, I am the captain, so you should all listen to me. Who made you captain anyway? We don't even get to vote. I'm the one who bought this hot air balloon. So naturally, I will be the captain of this ship. I'm done. I've thrown everything, even the hot fire thingy in the middle. Hey, you what? Fuck, Sleepy Joe. I'm out of here. You be fucking Captain Trump. Fuck you, Obama. Does this even have insurance? You better believe me that when we get to the ground, you better wish that you're dead cause I'm gonna fucking strangle your con ass. What a crybaby. It was just little cash anyway. A billion isn't little cash. I thought you were wealthy. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. You guys got bankrupt. Don't worry. Michelle would Venmo you the money. Guys, I think I'm in creator mode now. I'm levitating. See? So is this the creator mode you guys are all talking about? No one is mentioning anything about creator mode, but you fucking dimwit. This isn't creator mode. There is no fucking creator mode. Oh, yeah. Then why do I levitate and look? I can walk through the air. Sleepy Joe, you aren't in creator mode. 
Look guys, I will have my knife collection. I'll just empty my pockets. Uh, Joe, fucking don't. You just popped my parachute. You fucking idiot. Fuck, this is really gonna... <laughs> where are you guys? Fuck, that really hurts. Anyways, where was Kim Jong-un's house anyway? I really need to egg his house. Obama, where are you? There are so many cars here and they all want to talk to me about my car's extended warranty. Don't worry, Sleepy Joe. I am coming to get you. Just stay there. Who? good thing. You are here, give me money. I need it so I can invest in a pyramid scheme. Where's the annoying orange? Don't tell me he ran towards his ex's house. I told you guys, he isn't my ex. And I just saw him down the street. We better get out of here. I can really feel the dictatorship he implemented in this town is like North Korea all over again. Let me get a car. You should really get a car whose owner is a pussy. I tell you, they wouldn't fight for it. Bonus, they might even pee there. That is not even amusing in the slightest. Oh, you should get a car whose owner looks gay. It's Pride Month after all. What are you fucking saying? Pride's month is in June, and it's fucking December now. Oh, sorry, Donald, I know you're a very integral part of the LGBTQ. I'll educate myself. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. Fuck, you fucking punched me in my face. I thought pussy boys don't fight back. Fuck, just drag him down. Man down, man down. The ego has been compromised. Fuck, that hurts. We see. Free car ride, everybody. Oh, you okay, buddy? This shit had just made everything worse for us. Fuck you and your family. I will nuke this town and eradicate all the living body in this place. Oh, dude, we just kissed. That car made us kiss. Fuck, why is your lips like that? It's so wrinkly and very moist. I think I'm going to puke Issa Yigigi. Is that tuna? Don't worry, Obama. That doesn't count. It's Pride Month after all. Let's just say you are just experimenting a little. I know Michelle wouldn't mind. For the last time, Sleepy Joe, it's not even fucking June. For someone who hates the gays. You really know a lot about LGBTQ. I did not kiss Biden. It was an accident. It wasn't even intentional. My fucking legs almost got crippled from that crash. What do you mean? I thought we had a connection. We fucking didn't. A car slammed both of us. We almost fucking died. Oh, come on, Obama. That is pretty harsh. You shouldn't have played with Sleepy Joe's feelings like I did not played with anyone's feeling, you dumbasses. And you're a married man, Joe, with Jill, remember. Stop being so close-minded, Obama. I thought you were supposed to be with the people. Shut the fuck up, annoying orange. It was a fucking accident. I shouldn't have sued the guy. How oh, so you are trying to sue the guys now? The people would really hate this one. You shouldn't pressure Obama, Trump. Clearly, he isn't connected with his feminine masculinity yet. Let's practice. Kiss me like a homie right now. I will not fucking kiss you right now. Are you scared for a little homie kiss? Just kiss the homie. How is that even remotely hard? Me and Joe do it all the time. We're not gays. We're just bros appreciating bros. What? You guys kiss? Mm, now. Just cut it out. I don't want to kiss anyone. I just want to get out in the city. The cops are really going to find us. If you guys don't fucking stop. That is very homophobic of you, Obama. I'm not homophobic. God damn, you're homophobic and you can't even drive. You keep on getting nails, bro. Whatever. It's not like you kiss guys, also Trump. I know you fucking keep kissing Kim Jong-un's ass as you guys talk about nukes and stuff. I do not kiss his ass, and even if we did, it would be him kissing the ass, not me. So you guys do butt stuff then? Yeah, we don't fucking do that. We aren't in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, right. We all fucking know that you guys slept with each other. What do you guys think about role-playing? Very inappropriate topic, Sleepy Joe. But role-playing is what keeping me and Michelle have active sex life in bed. It keeps things spicy. Melania is very sexy. She really suits the North Korea costume. Hmm. As the outfit resembles like the North Korea's president costume. Fuck no. Uh, maybe. Joe really loved role playing, but it's really hard wearing the uniform. The tongs keeps chaffing my butt. I don't really need to fucking know that. Anyway, all this running made me hungry. Let's stop at this parking spot and get food really quick. Guys, I've made a huge mistake and a really bad one. Joe, what's going on? You look like you've seen a ghost or worse. Guys, I have to confess, this all started as a project to help the citizens of America. And now, well, look outside. Okay, hold on for a sec. I want to shout out to user ij 3 pd 6 Well, what a unique username. Whatever. So we have great question for Donnie Donald. Describe America in two words. I'd go with fantastic and a terrific. Fantastic and terrific. Are we talking about America or your hairstyling choices? How about reality and TV? Joe, at least I had a successful TV career. Your two words could be snooze and fast. 
Enough of your sleepy talks, old man. Guys, we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, guys, let's hit that milestone with this video. Please subscribe as your support always motivates us. What's there outside? It's this project I was, we was working on at Area 51 with a group of scientists I hired from Ohio. We were trying to infuse a special chemical into the town's water supply. It was supposed to add minerals that help people think more clearly, but... But what, Joe, you turned them into zombies instead of geniuses? Yes, exactly. The chemical, it backfired. And now, well, you can see the result. Great. You turned everyone to be like you, Joe. At least you don't have to worry about zombies getting to you because you literally have no brains for them to munch on. Joe, are you saying this is your doing? I thought we agreed to stick to health care, not zombie care. And did you just say you hired scientists from Ohio? And I thought my tweets were dangerous. Joe, you've literally raised the dead. Hey, I didn't mean for this to happen. We need a plan. I just wanted to do something good for the town. We, more like you. This is all your fault, boy. Got to carry your own cross, Melonhead. All right, guys, enough. We've got a town full of zombies now. We need to fix this. From running a country to running from zombies, what a retirement plan. All right, first things first, we need weapons. And Joe, no more science experiments for you. So how do we save Los Santos from the Biden apocalypse? We could build a wall, keep the zombies out. Great idea, and who's going to pay for it, the zombies? Your mess, so clean it up. Guys, check the trunk. I've got a stash of AKs and plenty of ammo. Well, this brings a whole new meaning to the right to bear arms. Remember, aim for the head. It's the only way to put them down for good. Aim for the head? Please, I could do this with my eyes closed. And now what do we look like? A bunch of kids who have never pulled a trigger before? All right, this is it. Stay sharp and cover each other's backs. Come on, guys, this isn't a spectator sport. You have rifles, shoot. Joe's really going at it, huh? Yeah, he's like a one-man army, who knew? Hey, this isn't a coffee break. Help me out here. You should have thought twice before experimenting on the people. Donald, we better start running or we'll be zombie lunch. Right behind you, Barack. Watch it, Joe. You should move out of the way. Donald, this isn't a game show where you can take your sweet time. That was too close. Next time, let's stick to the plan and cover each other. Agreed. No more standing around. I had no more zombie surprises, please. This suit wasn't made for apocalypse. Let's move. We've got more ground to cover and more people to save. Can you believe this? The whole city deserted. It's like one of those apocalypse movies, but real. All because of these zombies. It's hard to take in. Los Santos was always so full of energy, life. Now it's just empty streets and chaos. This is on me, guys. I never imagined my project would turn into this nightmare. But Joe, we're past the point of blaming. What's done is done. We need to focus on fixing this mess. Trump do something? I've got to admit, this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Joe, what on earth did you give those zombies? Instead of trying to eat us, they're just screaming. I honestly have no idea. The chemical was supposed to enhance cognitive functions, not turn them into whatever that was. Maybe it enhanced their vocal cords instead. They're like a zombie flash mob. A flash mob of zombies. Now I've seen everything. Well, at least they're not biting. That's a plus, right? Yeah, but I'd take the silent, brooding type of zombie over these screaming ones any day. Maybe they're just trying to communicate, you know, express their feelings in a very vocal way. We're calling for backup. Boys, let's go. Fuck. They're overpowering us. They are too many. Let's go. Let's go. We need to regroup and find a safer spot. Agreed. This is getting too hot to handle. I never signed up for a zombie marathon. That was too close. We need a better strategy. We can't keep going like this. We're gonna run out of ammo if these hordes keep coming. And what's with the sheer number of them? It's like they're multiplying. We need a place to catch our breath. Maybe find more supplies. Any ideas? Pro Let's take care of these followers. Look at Joe with the fancy submachine gun. Where'd you find that? A secret presidential stash. Yeah, Joe compensating for something with that sleek gun. Just trying to keep up with you younger guys. There, that should give us some breathing room. We should keep moving. Can't stay in one place too long. Right, stay sharp, guys. We're not out of the woods yet. You know, maybe these zombies keep following us because of you, Joe. After all, you're kind of their daddy now. That's right, Daddy Biden and his zombie kids. No wonder they won't leave us alone. Now, now let's not give the zombies any ideas. I've got enough on my plate without adopting a horde of undead. Just imagine, Joe, Father's Day in a zombie apocalypse. What would they even bring you? A nice hand or maybe a foot? Probably whatever they haven't eaten yet. You guys are impossible, but if I'm the zombie daddy, then you two are the uncles. So welcome to the family. Uncle Barack and Uncle Donald on zombie babysitting duty. Now there's a reality show I'd watch. Guys, a little help here. They've got me pinned. Hang on, Joe. There are just so many of them. This is like a bad game of tug of war and Biden's a rope. Careful with the shooting. I'm not trying to be zombie bait. We're trying, Joe. Just try to stay low. Stay low. He's practically part of the pavement now. 
Very funny, Donald. Just get these things off me. These zombies have a thing for me. What did I do? Sign their yearbooks. Go. Just keep moving. We'll cover you. It's like you're their zombie magnet, Biden. Yeah. Well, I didn't sign up for this kind of popularity. Joe, stay down and crawl towards us. We'll clear a path. This is insane. They're ignoring us and going straight for Joe. Great, just great. I lead in the polls and with zombies, apparently. Hey, Joe, at this rate, you won't have to campaign for the next election. The zombie vote is all yours. Great, just what I needed. The undead demographic. I guess every candidate has their base, Joe. Yours just happens to be a bit more literal. Just think, Biden, zombie rallies, zombie fundraisers, you'll be unstoppable. I'd rather stick to live audiences. Thank you very much. Don't worry, Joe. We'll make sure your voter base remains above ground. Yeah, we can't have the headline Biden zombie apocalypse, but loses election. Fuck you, Lawrence. Can we focus on surviving first? Politics can wait. You know, I've been thinking about our zombie friends back there. They're quite the persistent bunch. Friends, Barack, that's one way to put it. Friends who try to eat you, just what everyone needs. Exactly, Joe. But have you noticed? They don't seem to tire up. I miss the days when my biggest worry was a filibuster. Watch out, you too? And why the hell are we fighting these freaks on our own? Should we call the police or the army or something? Stop acting like a little bitch. Trump, we just gotta deal with this Biden mess. I appreciate Obama. Hey, Brack, look at this one. It just looks like you. Are you brothers or something? Trump, you are a goddamn motherfucker. Let's see if you survive this, you pieces of shit. Joe, watch it with that grenade. Biden, what the fuck? You're supposed to throw it away from us, not at our feet. Not exactly the plan, guys. Blame it on these freaks, but at least it did the trick, as you can see. I'll well, that was closer than I'd like. Next time, let's stick to guns, shall we? Yeah, Joe, leave the explosives to the action heroes. You're more of a diplomat. You know, Joe, this whole zombie apocalypse thing is really bad press for you. I, I can see the headlines now. Biden's blunder brings about zombie doom. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Donald. And let's be honest, running for president in 2024 after this, I'd say this gives me a clear advantage. The people want a leader, not a zombie maker. Come on, Donald, let's not politicize the apocalypse. Besides, we've got bigger problems than the 2024 election right now. You're just saying it's an interesting turn of events, from debates to dodging zombies, eh? Politics has never been this exciting. Well, at least I'm making history. First president to fight a zombie outbreak. That's got to count for something. If only you, Joe, could find the silver lining in a zombie apocalypse. Let's focus on getting out of this alive before we start planning any future campaigns. Agreed. Surviving this is the top priority, but if we do make it, I'm expecting a great memoir from both of you. Let's make sure it's a memoir about how we save the city, not just how we survive. Okay, folks, let's get in this car. We gotta go clearing up these streets. We dang it. Barack, come on, move like you're running for office, not taking a stroll in the park. Easy for you to say, Joe. I didn't just nearly blow us up with a grenade. Well, Barack, at least I didn't promise to close Guantanamo Bay, and then, oops, forget about it. Now, where did that even come from? Forget about it. This is one way to clear the street, Sleepy Joe. Zombie bowling, courtesy of Biden. Hey, whatever works. We've got to thin their numbers somehow. Just make sure we don't end up part of the zombie pin collection. I have to admit, this is more action than I ever saw in the boardroom. Who knew retirement would be this lively? We're not just going to survive this. We're going to end it. Los Santos needs us. Joe, do we really need to hit every zombie in the street? There's got to be a better way to do this. You got a better idea? Time's not on our side here, and we need to keep moving. Well, if we had one of Obama's bad boys, we could just strike them from above, call it an Operation Zombie Freedom. Are you talking about my babies? Yes, now, whatever you call them. As tempting as that sounds, I think we'll stick to ground operations for now. Donald? Look, we do what we have to do. If that means clearing a path with the SUV, then so be it. At this rate, we'll need a new car soon. This one's gonna be a zombie magnet. Let's just make sure we don't turn into a zombie hood ornament in the process. You know, in my administration, we would have built a wall so high. Not even these zombies could climb over it. Uh, but remember, Donald, we'd still need to make sure the zombies don't send us their best climbers. And don't forget, we'd need a plan for the zombies already here. How about zombie reform? I just tell them they're fired. Works every time. Well, at least they're part of a base that doesn't argue with your tweets. Guys, can we focus? I feel like we're in a bad episode of The Walking Dead Politicians. Dr. Virus, White House edition. I'd watch that show. I think we're living it, Donald. Minus the comfort of the Oval Office and plus, you know, actual zombies. Peaking of comfort, anyone else miss Air Force One? These zombies definitely wouldn't have been cleared for takeoff. I miss my own plane. It had gold-plated seatbelts, you know? That's great, Donald, but can your gold-plated belts take down zombies? 
Let's keep moving, team. Remember, we're doing this for the future of Los Santos, or what's left of it. When we're done here, it's going to be the greatest zombie-free city you've ever seen. Believe me. Joe, your grenade-throwing skills are like your whispering. Not quite as subtle as you think. Hey, Barack, at least I'm keeping things interesting. You never know when you might need a big fucking boom. Joe, watch out for those dogs. I've got a soft spot for dogs. And we don't need any more casualties. Sorry, didn't see them. And tell me you didn't infect them, too, with the zombie virus. We need some humanity left in this world. FF, don't talk about humanity, Obama. You kaboomed almost half of Middle East. Who am I? Do I? I was revenging the 9-11 tragedy. That's just an excuse. You want to talk, Biden? Do you think you are a better place and look what you are doing? In the Israel-Gaza conflict. I have nothing to do with that. Every situation is complex, you see, and I did what I thought was best at the time. And it's not like any of us had easy decisions. Being president is about tough calls. Sure, but some of us made tougher calls than others. You have to be strong, show no mercy when necessary. Strength isn't just about showing force, Donald. It's about making the right decisions for the greater good. Fuck Donald, you fucking bastard. Why didn't you shoot it? You're supposed to cover my back. I'm sorry, Joe, but it looked too funny. For a second, it seemed like the zombie was going in for a neck kiss. This isn't a comedy show, Donald. Help him out. It is a comedy show that he brought it upon himself. <laughs> Shut up, you are not funny. Stop running away, Biden. The zombies just want a nice and pleasurable gangbang. Just cooperate, it will be fun. Yes. All you have to do is drop your old ass pants and let them lead you. <laughs> Seriously, guys, a little help here would be nice. What's up, Joe? Normally you don't pull a hose, seems you got that charm to zombies only. <laughs> Maybe they just like you, Joe. Ever think of that, you're a very likable guy to the undead that is this isn't funny i'm trying to keep us alive and you two are just sitting back making jokes i were just trying to do, lighten the mood joe but all right we'll step it up yeah joe don't get so worked up it's not every day you get this much attention attention i can do without i should have come alone at least then i wouldn't have to deal with you two being useless in a crisis okay joe point taken we'll focus more on the task at hand Right, let's get serious. After all, we can't let Biden have all the fun with the zombies. Right, Biden? Guys, look at that. Those zombies are eating each other. What's going on? We've got fresh meat right here. Especially Trump here can feed the whole population. Very funny brat. Either they're not as mindless as we thought, or maybe they just don't like the taste of politicians. I guess even zombies have their standards. But seriously, this could mean the virus is affecting them differently than we thought. Or it's just zombie survival of the fittest. Either way, it's good news for us. Maybe they're running out of food and turning on each other. It's zombie eat zombie world out there. Let's use this to our advantage. The more they focus on each other, the easier it'll be for us to move around. Right, let's keep our eyes open for any opportunity to get the upper hand in this situation. Look at this, making the undead dead again. Donald, we should throw your fat ass out to the zombies as a sacrificial lamb, but don't let them bite you. We wouldn't want the zombies to catch your Twitter fever. Who is the black one here, nigga? Yeah, that's right, you only, so you're the odd one out, which means you should be the fucking sacrificial lamb, nigga. He called me nigga twice. You are such a racist, orange-ass motherfucker. Bitches, can we focus? These zombies are multiplying faster than my gaffes at a press conference. You know, if we built a wall, maybe these zombies wouldn't be such a problem. Think of that, Joey. <laughs> well, Donald, considering these zombies can climb, maybe we should have invested in education instead. Education, how about teaching them the importance of a good health care plan? You two fools hear yourselves. If this was Trump Tower, we'd have gold-plated zombie traps by now. Gold-plated traps? That sounds like a metaphor for your administration, Donald. Boys, boys, can't we all just get along? After all, we're just three amigos fighting the undead. More like two presidents and a reality star. Guess which one's the star? Sure, Donald, in this script, you can be the star. Just don't forget who wrote it. Joe. For the last time, I'm telling you to stop shooting those doggies. Continue it, and I will shove that act up so deep in your ass so hard. You will have to take laxatives to get it out. I dare you. Is it me, or are you feeling the, uh, those gay vibes in the atmosphere? Now, what's the plan, Biden? Guys, there are just too many of them. Maybe we should leave this to the army or water dial 9511. Here is zombie police we can call. Zombie police, Joe, what would their uniform look like? A mix of riot gear and garlic necklaces. And let me guess, their patrol cars are hearses. Joe, you really outdid yourself this time. Hey, I'm just trying to think of solutions here. It's not like there's a handbook on zombie apocalypses. But Joe, you're the one who got us into this mess. Running away now would be like leaving a party early that you started. Blab all you want, we're taking to the skies. Next stop, Honolulu, Hawaii. I have done my part. The Secret Service should take over. 
Classic Biden, you chickened out, coward, but at least I will need a good tan after all of this. Oh, Hawaii, aloha, here we come. Home turf, baby. Welcome back, favorite U.S. presidents. We have another presidency vehicle here with us. Why do I have a strong feeling that today is about to move from bad to worse? Bad to worse? Barrick, what's up with you? Any domestic issue with Michelle? A bad day doesn't have to be connected with his wife or thereabout. Not everyone is the disrespectful, troublemaking Jill. Joe, I swear I do not support whatever Trump has said. I wouldn't disrespect your loving wife in that manner. But before we move on, guys, I want to shout out to Radraksnik Pal 2744 for an interesting question. America in one word? Mm. Joe, they asked you to describe America in one word, not take a nap. Come on, give them something with a little more energy. United says it all, something we could use a bit more of these days. Sleepy, united, really? The only thing you've united so far is the country's collective ability to nod off during your speeches. United, just like the flavors in an ice cream cone. Different, but when they come together, it's a taste of something truly special. Ah, this clown knows one song, and that song is about ice cream. Anyway, guys, we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. So please subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's move on. Nothing Donald says moves me anymore. I'm just worried that Jill now watches this channel. I only hope she understands that Grumpy Trump is an old moronic idiot who really doesn't mean what he says. He just opens his mouth and allows anything to come out of it. I hope so, too. Anyway, what are we up to today? Hop into the car and you will find out for yourself. I do not like the sound of that. The last time this kind of randomness happened, we know how catastrophic the evening was that day. It is so recent that we shouldn't have forgotten yet. I literally still have PTSD. Well, Donald, Obama is right. I understand there is a place for surprises, but I don't think we need any now. No surprises today, none at all. Just some fooling around to have some fun, you know, and maybe putting some people in their place. Away from that, where the fuck is this? I could have sworn on my life that you wouldn't know, and I would still be correct. I mean, what do you expect from a puppet who disguises himself as a president when in reality he doesn't even have access to the presidential seat? Anyway, if you must know, here is one of the infrastructural projects I commissioned while I was in power. I could have done more, but people like you deprive the good people of the United States of the privilege. Posterity would judge you. Say all you want, but one thing is right and remains true. I am the current president of the United States of America. And should things continue this way, I have a better chance of getting the ticket for a second term. This is what I call peak fooling. No one in their right senses would vote for you anymore, at least not after the shambles you have created so far. Moreover, what is the guarantee that your old ass would still be alive by then? This is a fucking stadium. What are we here for? More importantly, when exactly was this structure built? Two questions and two separate answers. First, yes, it is a stadium and we are here to put some professionals in their place. Two, how would you know when this was built when you could care less about what is happening to the people you lord over? Your only focus is funding war causes and all of those shenanigans. I spit on you. One day, you will all trigger the third world war you have been seeking, and I will be here to tell you how stupid and crazy you are. Why do you think he didn't want to let us in on that information until we got here? Man, he knows we would never follow him to a place like this. You see, deep down, I think we are slowly losing our focus on this channel with the tasks we have been completing lately. I think maybe we should return to our drawing board and speak again with our sources. Let's be sure we are on the same page. Sounds like a very smart thing to say, but I am very confused about how taking time out to flex our muscles is making us drift off the primary purpose of this channel. Stop discouraging our viewers, you cunt. Your death date is nearer than you will ever believe, so have fun while you still can. Hmm, your death date is nearer than you believe, so have fun while you still can. Donald 2023. Yeah, that's right. You can say that again and again, and the quote will never grow old. Come to think of it, why is your opponent acting like a dummy? Are you sure Donald hasn't bribed him to take things easy with him so he would appear like a good fighter in our presence? Joe Biden is an irredeemable idiot. How is that even possible? I haven't been here before now, or have I? Just admit it, I am good with my hands. Come on, see how sleek my dodging skills are too. I bet you are jealous right now. I do not know about Joe Biden, but I am seriously jealous of how much fun you are having inside that ring. Man, I would want to take on a fighter too. Maybe when you are done finishing this dummy-like amateur fighter off. Baraki, I never knew you could succumb to peer pressure this easily. Biden, this isn't peer pressure or anything. I have always had it on my bucket list since I was a kid, even before I met and married Michelle. 
And now that I have the chance to tick it off, why should I hold back? Valid reason, Baraki. Don't mind that old moron. Biden dare not step foot into this ring. I am cocksure his first punch would land him in a state of cardiac arrest. Nothing else, just that. Trumpy, please be quick about your business. My fingers are twitching already. Obama, what would be your explanation when Michelle asks you why you are returning home with a broken nose? Obama really has no explanation to give. He is the man of the house, or isn't he? Do not make it look like he is answerable to his wife or something. Stop making him appear like jelly. Well, while Donald might not be completely wrong, I think he is exaggerating this masculine thing and might be bordering misogyny. I do not want to be a party to that. Is this another eggshell or does Obama just want to make me appear bad despite having his back in this conversation? Honestly, Donald, no one wants to make you feel bad. And no, it is not an eggshell. Perhaps it is just the truth, a hard pill you do not want to swallow. Both of you should shut your trap before I order this guy to finish you up. He might appear like a pussy against me, but honestly, I think he would look scarier against you two, especially against Sleeping Joe. Donald, no matter how much you taunt me, I am not getting into that ring with you, never. It's not against a random WWE fighter I have never heard of before. Check around the stadium. It is almost empty, and there are no medical services around either. I cannot risk my good-looking face for this. I would pass. And if you ask me again, my response remains the same. I am passing. Well, Joe is right. Why are there no medical services? I think there are. There definitely should be. Maybe they are behind the scenes and would only be summoned when need be. I learned about a popular conspiracy about these kinds of fights. Perhaps it is true that they stage it after all, because it looks so easy to me. Donald is having the time of his life putting this motherfucker in his place. Away from that, guys, I have heard sirens outside the stadium repeatedly. Are the feds against us again for coming to have fun in an open stadium? Anyway, I think my business in the ring is done. This motherfucker made it easier than I thought. I feel I am playing against a beginner on FIFA. But, yeah, I won, and it is what it is. Of course, it is always it is what it is when things go your way. Anything else, you find yourself blaming everyone but yourself. We know the type of sore loser that you are. Obama, are you still going for it? Ha ha ha, I am missing this for nothing. I am so close and wouldn't pass it up for anything. What about an emergency from your wife? That is such a silly and kindergarten-like imagination. Joe Biden, what exactly has come over you? This isn't fear. I think it is something worse. I hate to see this part of you. Well, my wife and emergencies are two distant poles. I may safely say they are parallel lines that cannot meet. I have not seen any person as meticulous, disciplined, and attention-oriented with their business as much as Michelle. Before an emergency happens then, perhaps someone from the inside is the brain behind it. Some power words backing your wife there. I believe you. It is beautiful to see how much you will stand for Michelle, even if the whole world is against her. Well, at this point, it seems Joe Biden is driving at something. Can you say it already and stop going around in circles? I have known Michelle for decades and have always stood up for her every chance I get. So respectfully, none of these words from you are special or hold water as you think in your mind. Hoof! That one right there is an absolute hit. I bet it would take Biden more than a month to recover. To be honest, I wasn't driving at anything. I am just excited to see someone stand with women. I mean, unlike Donald, that guy is just an ass. Stop the damage control already or risk sounding like a broken record. Allow Obama to focus on this fight. I think I needed that. I mean, this guy right here seems to be more active than your opponent was. Don't blame me, but I think there is something fishy right now. Donald, like Biden mentioned, did you actually bribe that guy, or is he just a pussy who doesn't know how to throw his hands? Whatever you say, young man, I really don't care. I won clean and fair. Now it is your time to focus or return home with a bloodied face. It is easy to think Baraki went to a boxing school. I mean, watches blocks, dodges, and punches. Very precise. Reminds me of Mike Tyson, I'm not going to lie. Obama's punches aren't as sleek as mine. Stop being hypocritical. Ha <laughs> ha Is someone jealous? I have killed this guy off already. I think I may need another person to take on. My adrenaline rush is taking me to crazy heights. Better heights than what cocaine does to Joe Biden? Do not bring me into the mix. Coke doesn't do any good to the human body. Not only Biden, especially when one is addicted. I wouldn't like anyone to compare my current mood with what cocaine can offer. No. But Barrick, aren't you too hyperactive for this? This is supposed to be a friendly game, man. Exactly what I was trying to drive at all along. Well, that was a bait for you, Biden. I thought you were going to respond with some insults around the high school kid line. What the fuck are you talking about, Orange Head? Well, you know, maybe some of your cliche bants that include the high school setting. Something around Obama-rama is acting like a high school kid who just had sex or something. Do you now get the point, Biden? Donald, you are a catastrophe waiting to happen for bringing this up again. 
Why would you even think of that? Man, I have been waiting for you to say that all along. We are almost done here, and you seem to have forgotten. And that is why I brought it up for you. So, yeah, don't be ashamed. You can use the line now. I swear a kindergarten has a more functional central nervous system than you do. You mean to say a high school kid? <laughs> I mean, it is obvious even to the blind. Stop fighting it. Respectfully, why did you two allow me to drive? I mean, your silence is surprising. Sometimes you allow kids to enjoy themselves, too. Grabbing the keys from my hands when you stepped off the ring was all I needed to know before concluding that you were actually dying to ride the presidential vehicle again. I mean, it is understandable. It has been more than eight years since you last had such an experience. Fuck you, Donald. Stop making scenarios where none exists. Anyway, what are we doing here now? To unwind and let go of the extra energy we gained in that ring, of course. It is what professional fighters do, too. So why should ours be different? I have never heard of that before, though, but let's just get to it. How do we begin? Haha, <laughs> Joe Biden is already having a great time doing those push-ups. Shouldn't we stop him before he collapses and goes to his early grave? Shut up, you demented, overfed, rabid dog, and stop dancing like a trapped alligator in front of me, Baraki. Move farther away to embarrass yourself. Ha 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 ha. Oh, goodness. I guess that is all for this video, guys. I hope we get to do a proper mission when we meet next. Enough of the faffing around. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Boys, thank you for your willingness to help me on this mission. Without the slightest hesitation, unquestioningly, you all came with me, but this time is slightly different. We often quarrel for small things, but I knew I could count on you both. Oh, I smell something fishy. No, 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 I won't be your decoy here, and I got no idea what's going on here. What awaits us herein? Tell me. But before we dive in, guys, I want to say big thank you guys for amazing support that you show with likes and comments. Sleepy, you are absolutely right. Guys, your every comment and like means world to us. And now it's time for shout out. And today we want to shout out to Dragon Army 500. Well, Joe, looks like people are waiting for these videos more eagerly than they waited for your next big idea. Maybe you should start a series on how to stay awake during a Biden speech. <laughs> Not funny, orange head. Viewers know everything, old man. Anyway, guys, please subscribe. Help us hit 10,000 subscribers milestone. Okay, old Joe, as usual, looking for a safe bet for thing like this, huh? Now let's focus on mission. Our mission today here near Boreal Forest of North America is to work together with me to kill Sasquatch. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Bigfoot, hurry up, get in the Jeep. So I am landing here looking for a creepy idiot big monkey who can gliding up four meters high and rip my fucking skin off my fucking body like in the movies? Wow, fans of Primal Rage and Willow Creek cannot miss to see us in action. Whoa, this army jeep looks cool, buddy. How could I not sever your tongues that are as venomous as the serpents? Your goddamn tongue would dig your grave when you're dealing with this thing. Hello. Point map, got it. Go, go, go. I am aware that occasionally you may not spawn in the intended place. It happens to us a lot when we are playing adventure map. Crazy Jeep adventure play, where you got this? Yeah, I'll entrust this matter to you, Joe. Just love it, this machine gun. It can expose all area as well. Same with Humvee, but I don't see the harm in mythology and folklore. What a local sentimental hogwash falls from your flaccid lips. Don't you think that I would look so cute on the Jeep with machine gun finding mythology and folklore fucking thing? What a creep. Fuck you, Donnie. Well, Joe, a few years ago, my wife mailed me as a special gift Norwegian Iveco LMV, modular armor packs, mine protection, and armed with a 40 millimeter automatic grenade launcher. I enjoyed all things military. I'm surprised she has a source to get this rare engine. And it's even got some rare option, which was the CB radio. Now cross the bridge. On this island, you can climb the hill, stay calm, control it to climb hills with most realistic control, and face the challenge of unique uphill and downhill environments. Are you ready for the show? I got no clue what this fucking show about. Yeah, you believe in urban myths. Stop believing in myths we dawdle. We will find ourselves right in the middle of it. Can you shut up? We almost there. Once we begin, you have to be prepared your weapon and armor before going into battle. We wait too long. I'm going down to hillside now. The day begins dark and I heard thunder roll up there. Follow me and listen up. It's fast, remarkably strong, hairy being with animal characteristics, and has the capacity to render its victims essentially helpless within seconds. Like I said already, just hurry, run. I think I see something through my scope. 
I need to know. Why would we have to kill Sat? Oh, holy shit. I forgot the name. Oh, yeah, the big foot. That name is easier to say. I'm going to shoot. Holy shit, he's pretty big. Ah, uh, bang, bang, bang. Transhumanism as Michelle's friend plays journalist Ernest Hemingway hunting Sasquatch looking for the big news. In her debut as new reporter, she leaves obviously unsettled. Now he's running like a scared rabbit. Come on, I'll take the car. Hurry up, get in now. Michelle asked me for help. Her friend must be found dead or alive. Joe. Could be she had eloped with the married BF, though the couple was able to wed only after his wife committed suicide means she is in Vegas now. Hey, what the fuck? Ah. Jumped in the car. Now, or I will leave you here. Ouch! Donnie, I know it must be hurt like hell. You need help. Keep your bullshit that nobody likes for the campfire, fake asshole. Keep going down this area. Clean this R. As you know, it's a gray area. Keep alert. I got an instinct we're getting closer. Bingo. Footprints of a giant. Well, what do you think, Tweety? Still think it's a myth or a joke? Quite large, no less 230 kilogram. No, he's a giant gorilla with a mean backhand. Barrett M82A1 ready aimed. I'm gonna tear the cock of that Sasquatch and shove that up your fucking ass. Idiot. Wow, Barry. Stress can fly off the handle. Do the far away from the lovely one, particularly if you are the kind of person who loves to die with Michelle. Eyes up, Barry. Bang, bang, bang. I shot you, bastard. Back off, Barry. You're too close. Get your Terminator ready in position. Good. God damn it, he is so powerful. Hit him, Barry. Come on, asshole, eat this. All right, let's move. Come to Papa. I'm going to punch you out, bloody bastard. Boys, get in the car. We need plan B. Oh, for fuck's sake. A thousand times firmer and more invulnerable. I couldn't count how many bullets made their way into his goddamn body, but he fought every fucking one of them. Great, smooth move. Uh, I was getting sweating bullets, but I won't be a sitting duck in case he has ever attacked me brutally. Barry vibe check. Yeah, on the spot of bullets target, I am in full of energy. I can run circles around you, bastard. Safe and sound. Let me sleep on it. I'll get him sooner or later. Watch out, old Joe. Make some room for me. You're blocking my view. Back off. Keep your distance, boys. Careful, Joe. Not so close, Donnie. And Barry, any other more potent weapon? I have no idea why he is not dead yet, but I'll take a shot in the dark. Maybe you need prepare to fire the bazooka. Good idea. I will manage somehow, as my catchphrase, Chinsuko bazooka on the way. Wow, I am one smart cookie. All good, but you often run off at the mouth. I really wanted to vomit right now, top knot. Fuck it. Watch out, Barry. He is running into the car. Get him. Well, old Joe, at least I am not a hypocrite. Cheesy joke. Oh, shut the fuck up. Let's get a check what's going on in that Jeep. Oh, no, Barry falls down from the car. Help him hurry up. You only get jealous for what I have now, dude. We need to get more of this. You're the one who needs to shut up. You did nothing. Shoot from the hip and get thing messed up. That is you. Military shooting range. Set firing lines left and right. Focus fire on him. Big, ugly, hairy beast, come and get me. Let me show you something fun and how I fit in here. I am here for the big show. Boys, into the car now. Hurry up. If bullets won't kill him, we have to do this the way Armored Jeep did. Hey, Donnie, what's up? Are you OK? Automatic control system of air pressure in the tire makes it named Invincible Monster and how agile and open this Jeep is on the track. How shameful you don't deal with it quickly. Trumpy Lolly. What's your back, Donnie? Oh, shit. Hurry, Barry. He is coming back fast to you. I am sick as a dog. I can't. All right. Barry, punch him up for me. I put bullets in him with cleaner shots. Let's party in mid-era bullets. We will all dance the Hora I. By the way, have you visit Bulgaria? You must bring Michelle and try the Hora dance. Down he goes. Cool. Boys, let's go and get the car. Our best chance. And now it's time I demonstrated the full power of this automobile steel sheet. It's only a matter of time. I gotcha. Barry, if he comes attacking, pull the car around back, might buy ourselves some time. Hey, Tweety got thrown again from this Jeep. Careful, fella. I can't imagine if he has a concussion, he is going to get severe and hallucinating. Agreed, and let's see whether his body could stand being hit many times by this armored Jeep, and this one too, bang, bang, bang. Life has its unexpected twist and turns, Donnie, so you have to learn to roll with the punches and keep going. The show must go on. Hey, you, listen up. I am not afraid to go into politics, media, or opposition. Can't dig to find some skeletons in my closet because I am able to keep it well hidden. But if you drive this fucking Jeep like a maniac who got desperate and haven't thought about suicide, go fuck yourself, because I don't want it to join with. You people are fucking bastards and totally insane. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. Why you take it personally? Get the car in reverse. And then Operation Flash, Splash, and Crash is a go yee -haw. Honestly, I didn't get your joke right away. I was slow on the draw, you know? I feel like a round peg in a square hole. Let's make it short and sweet. There are boundaries you shouldn't overstep. If you go on like this, you won't hear anything about me, asshole. For me, this joke isn't funny at all. Now you have understood how it works. Look like you enjoy a lot to grind that poor big baboon many times. You're psycho. 
After everything he did, God knows he deserved it. Where is he? You think he's dead, Barry? Oh, no, there he is. Do we have enough bullets? So how we can know about Michelle's friend? Uh, what's her name? You didn't mention yet, and of course you wouldn't get from that baboon. It's like looking a needle in haystack. Beth, Elizabeth, that's her name. I got a colleague that's up in northern British Columbia. He is a private detective, Jim Rockford. I called him a week ago, and he undertakes to investigate on her, where about after that she missed. Now turn left. Climb and moving on up to the east side. Bullets are enough for one battalion Sleepy Joe. Hey, hey, look up. That fucking tree could kill me. One ball and no brains. Joey, there is no brain in him. Let's get out from here after this mission accomplished. Look, it's almost dawn. Who knows when it will be finished? Calm down, Tweety. Roma wasn't built in a day. Just give him some time. Oh, come on. I think you're overreacting on your situation in your own way. I'm going to stop and find some place on the hill to hold him. So you have your brain, right? Just put your goddamn head in, that's it. Hey, old Joe, you should not spoon feed him. Baby need to be feed, but adults should be able to feed themselves. Look, he's here, hurry up. Is this the place for the dead? I smell a rat. Once you left off guards, you're six feet under. Be not far from us, for the trouble is near. Boom, oh, stay down. More and more of fun ways of like playing war, but it's unfortunate, but it's true. Do you know what was going on in the world while you were playing your command and conquer games, Tweety? Yeah, yeah, what the hell? Wow, spread wildfire. He's on the verge of dead, but survived. He was hit several times by me too, but never bailed out. That's crazy. What this thing made of? Is he made from hell of fire? I moved closer. You guys cover me. Fired bullets at him, bazooka, M134 rotary gun and M240 machine gun. What the fuck? I thought we need witch hunter or some kind like Harry Potter to set a trap for some kind of hell spawn. Let's see whether his body can handle this grenade. Holy hand grenade, eat this, boom. I'm not sure, but I wanna put oil on him, hope it works. Big baboon, come over me, go happy eye. Barry, look up! Barry, look up! Babe, that's a great spot for a punching bag, you know. But you forgot I am Rocky in the suit, not pinatas. Eat this bullet ugly baboon. Sleepy Joe, you better be careful shooting this thing. Barry too close with him, avoid improper targeting or we will suffering with the consequence. He is former POTUS like me. Bang, bang, bang. Hey, hey Trumpy Dumpy, even my background as a lawyer and riding Harley Davidson is a heavy habit. I'm good enough in weapon. Don't you see how I use weapons like machine guns and AK-47 rifle? Attention, no more fight. I fish hook him there, Art shoot him down. Stay low, keep firing, running. Let's go attention, we are going to detonate. Take this. Keeps firing, we will keep trying, okay? Ouch, my back, shit. He's gonna try too and cuts us up. Watch it, he is coming after you again, Barry. Run, hooray, he was hit by bomb. Now my turn, bang, bang, bang. Donnie, get to the car, you've gotta help Barry shoot that bastard from the roof of the car. Hurry up, to the top, I pulled my rifle from other way. He's out of under the car now. Good idea, Sleepy Joe. Bang, 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 let's get moved, Barry. Turn the car in the direction that is easy for you and then turn around and hit this steel to his body. I've got plan I will crush on him by moving backwards. Wow, we're gonna have an event of racing, cool. Not too bad, oh, oh no, you just crushed Sleepy Joe. Joey, are you okay? Sorry, comrades, seriously, calculated fault the distance. Ouch! What the fuck are you doing? No, I'm not Tweety. Whether or not the grievance between you and me, Barry, you're son of the bitch. For the time being, let's put down this matter, Joe. I want to make sure whether or not he's alive. Strike when the iron is hot. It's not only once, but twice. I can't take it. We need to talk. Oh my godness, however, I am not too certain this thing's still alive anyhow. Just when I was about to check the Sasquatch, he is too danger to ignore. You got that sleepy Joe? Hell, I kick you, bastard. Who would care? A needed shot in the arm may not save you. I kick you bloody moron. Come on, Barry, look. I already said I am sorry, and this is bad timing for any argument or fighting. Stop it! Barry is right, Sleepy Joe. If the Sasquatch still alive now, you would spin in your grave and you can win with your shitty argument. Sure, Donnie. This time you're safe, Barry. Next time you won't. Plunge a knife into his heart and he will share. The pain he feels sometimes compared to a knife stab on the back and the knife being repeatedly twisted in intervals. At least it does not end on a cliffhanger. He's dead now, something that is a relief. So Barry, what's your next plan? Yeah, horrible place. I need to contact and having a meeting with Jim Rockford again. Let's go. After a 10 hour hunt this goddamn Sasquatch, it's good to look for nice resort. Safe and sound, I can't wait for massaging my body.